Welcome in, everybody. Uh, just, yeah, ignore the wall of commands. <laughs> okay. So, supposedly, Kriegs is available. Literally just waiting to hear from him. So, I figured in the meantime, hang out, watch some videos. There is a K's cooking from two days ago. Or... We can find something else. I will leave that up to you guys. <laughs> if you particularly do want to watch Kay's cooking or particularly don't. And you might have got me just a little bit with that. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, also, for anyone here that's interested in this, I did actually figure out... Apparently, Twitch has built-in CC. So, I just, you know, added the plugin to OBS, and theoretically, that should be going. So, we should have a functional closed captioning, for those of you that want to use that. Well, if you're going to leave the decision up to me... We'll see what a small Sunday dinner is, and then see how we're feeling from there. Hi people, oh. and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing, well, somebody's asked me to do like a chicken meal. So, How's that volume be not just a chicken meal, um, it's going to be going, because that was like a sort of ranked when I first started it, so I don't want to one. blow your eardrums out. So, let's get on with it. As you can see, all the ingredients there, there's the chicken, the spud potatoes are boiling, I've got some green beans, some broccoli. What is that ice so, right there in, in the green beans? Cauliflower. And Looks like that some, it might still be frozen. I say green beans? Okay, well I can still green turn it down beans, just a touch. Uh, it is not difficult for me to adjust OBS volume levels. And obviously my <laughs> salt and pepper. It is very easy to do. As you can see, I've got an empty pan. So I'm going to put some carrots in. Yeah, the, These are a bit big for me, but they'll those look like up. they're very then frozen still. They're cauliflower florets. I know I said broccoli. I do get mixed in. I don't know why, because I can't stand broccoli. But that's it's, just me. It's, I mean, correct and me if I'm wrong here, but it's just I'm albino broccoli. That's all some... cauliflower is. Oh, yeah, that is still very frozen. Get out. Green beans. And I'm going to put some water in. This should have been a lot more, but never mind. The, um, I do feel like these vegetables might say, actually yeah. turn out pretty I'm good. I'm going to put some water in these. I'm just gonna boiling add some these vegetables. Two, Not a bad is call. Salt and pepper. I'm going to add these two, and then I'm going to put it on the boil, the chicken, which I've shown you but didn't tell you, I'd shown you, well, I didn't tell you, has gone in the oven, the oven said I'm warm enough now, I'll put the chicken in. So I'll put the chicken in, and now I'm going to put the uh, veg on. As you can see the things in the pan, I'm going to put plenty of salt in, and I'm going to add a bit of pepper as well. To give it more taste right as you know everything is cooking nicely i've got spud potatoes and in this pan i've got vegetables and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some bisto gravy granules oh uh, they it's are for gravy. granules if you don't believe me interesting i will take the lid off and <laughs> if you, you don't believe me they are granules no well, they are granules, I... and i'm going to put some I believe you. The vegetables. As you can see, it, no, you can't. You can only see steam. Okay. As you can see, I've it sounded <laughs> sounded like a really good idea. Steam, Not sure see, how it looks it, though. You? I mean, you can see that there's gravy in there, but it's all Not steam. at all sure how to feel about the look of that so, one. So, yes, yeah, so I've added the gravy granules. That lid hot, yes. Yeah, so, so now I'm just going to put it back on the boil. And well, put it back on the boil 
and mash the potatoes, food potatoes. Stop! If you kick that camera once more, Kate, I'm going to kick you. Right, that's the, the <laughs> potatoes that have boiled and She just threatened herself and, and boiling since I'm not sure how to feel about that, but I kind of time. like it. No, they haven't. They've been boiling. Hey, that's a good cooker, that. Um, so, yeah, they've been boiling, so I'm going to mash them now and, well, get it all sorted. Now, as you can see, I've just got the chicken out. Hello, beautiful. You look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to hmm. take one off and put that it on a plate. doesn't look half which bad. Will be, get the middle one. Uh, excuse me. Can you lift up? Will you lift up? Thank you. Then give it a good drain and pop it. All right, let's see what it looks like when it's cut <laughs> open. It's a shot of camera. Actually, you can just see <sighs> the ending part of the plate. Oh, yeah, the ending part of the plate. But yes, I'll just show you the plate. And the commentary on, on her well, own camera angle. On it. There's a certain charm As about her videos. The Whether the cooking is good or not, there is a charming aspect on. about these videos that I'm I actually kind of like. So, get... I've added some spoon potatoes. Fucking sticky potatoes. Hold on, let me take the lid off there because it's already red on. And I'm going to add a bit of everything. Oh, and the gravy's dripped all over the plate. I mean that doesn't really matter, does it? It's going to get everything. Get that doesn't even look bad. Yeah, you're going straight into wash now. Ba -doop. So that, oh, hello. Welcome. And as you can see, there's yeah. gravy in we it. We are... Are you familiar with Kay's yeah, cooking? So, no, I am we're, not. Well, we're watching some Kay's that's cooking. That's the meal. That's <laughs> the chicken <laughs> meal. Done. All right, what is it that we would like right. to play? I've shown you oh, the I'm end down product. With pretty now, much whatever, if you have any I'm opinions. I'm going to eat a bit. Dude, oh, right? What... For, for a Kay's cooking secret. video, that actually looks you mustn't good. Turn you on. I love mashed potatoes. Well, I have Hearts of Iron. I have Mountain right. Blade, which we never did figure out how to do the together thing. True, we haven't tested that yet. And we have yet. No Man's mm, 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 mm. I'm down for some Hearts of Iron. Um, yeah, we'll we can run some of that. Let's do that. And that I believe machine. we have a save game going and things are about to get spicy. Yeah, I think so. Oh, why did that black it out? A bit of chicken and a bit of mashed potato. Yes. We could do the uh, world's worst dual streaming and I could share my screen so no one can see what I'm doing. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, do I, <laughs> I kind of want to do it just as the really Just for the hell of it. I'm not like just for the lols. It's gorgeous. I'll show my age and say do it for the <laughs> You'll show your what? I haven't. Age. Uh, and say but yes, do it, it was for a the lovely vine. meal. Fantastic meal. I mean, That's that also I shows thought. my Camera age, is but. Slanting. Yeah. I know yeah, it is. I have to admit moving, that, though. You could have just slanting. like, what's that? You see, I didn't what's fine? Well, yeah, that were a lovely meal. <laughs> okay, no. So Why are you talking about grapes? I'm going to link in the description grapes. to my merchandise. Now, I do not make the prices up. I do not make the prices She's up. She's got merch. And people have been saying they're buying the ones with the faces Yeah, no, I'm, on, I'm pretty sure I look ones. old enough that I should um, know what Vine is, so I can't so just like say, it. what's Please Vine? I've never heard of me. that. If you want to I will be give right me a back thumbs up, that's screen. one of them. Please do. Deal. They are all appreciated. If you want to leave a recipe, I know I have. I'm not yeah, lying. I have got the other about monitor. ten pages. Yeah, what's full fine? Recipes, oh my god! But I am getting round to Don't you them. fucking do that I mean, shit to me. I mean, you know I can have. You know I can't have chili, ginger, paprika, oh. things like that. So don't bother sending recipes with them on because I will just delete you and block you. So I'll give you four warning. Oui. Um, so yes, if you we want snow. to leave me a comment, uh, leave me a comment on a recipe. Please feel What's free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't Everything. subscribed, or you know you someone hasn't do? subscribed, get well, them subscribing. We'll get see if this blacks out the screen again. Get everybody subscribing. I hope so. Get the world subscribing. Probably be no more wars anyway. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Well, no, let's not replay. Cancel that. Um, I 
I'm going to launch Hearts of Iron. No, you're not. And we'll get that going. Hey. No, so we had nobody got first and Kriegs coming in slow tonight. Got second. Oh, I'm not too bad for running behind. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm still going to give you shit about it. That's fine. I just reject your shit and substitute my own. That can't be sanitary. It never is, but that's not that's not the point. All right. I mean, I suppose. It's not the point at all. All right. Where are the buttons I'm looking for? I'm going to mute myself quick. I'll be right back. Oh, fine. Be that way. All right. So if we go... Where the hell? Oh, there's my game capture. <laughs> Couldn't find my own damn game capture. Isn't that just, you know, the best? Totally normal. It's what all the pro streamers do. Have troubles finding game capture to set it up. <laughs> and then I have to find it. There's the volume. Boom. And I can turn off internet volume just in case it decides to do something weird like an ad. Turn that off. And then due to some technical complications, I have to actually manually set my shit. So I have to tell it that I'm playing a game now. It doesn't do it automatically because there was a bug with the it updated and now it's not working. Ah, yes, the screen is shared. I should probably go for that. We will pull up your screen share. Go back to OBS. Actually, I should make sure that that's capturing. It should be capturing. Oh, oh, it is. Good. That, oh, Kriegs, you've been challenged. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, it's a little slow. Um, it checks for current users every five minutes. So give it a few minutes and you can always try again. We're, we're waiting for the bot to update, and then you're going to get challenged, apparently, is what's going on. Boom. Oh, you motherfucker. That one. Join. Do this. There's only so there we go <laughs> i was gonna say there's only so many variations that i'm gonna have to go through <laughs> oops then come to think of it i can probably pull up my bot Should be under platforms, events, yeah. I can probably drop it down to live update every one minute. I don't think it has to be on five minutes, that's just the default. And quite clearly, it's too damn long. Oh yeah, I was doing this one. Boom. Now I remember what the fuck I was doing on this. Because I'm not sure. That's the secret. Now I guess it's my turn to say I'm ready when you are. Because I'm ready. Are you ready? We're going to destroy everything. Was I actively in a war with Turkey? Is that, is that what was happening? Or, oh, no, 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 it's, I am Turkey, I have a civil war going on. That's what's happening. <laughs> Yay. Oh, no, you're good. You are good. You're... <laughs> 
<laughs> Your little screen share is so tiny. It works for FPSs. It does not work very well for games like this. But it's amazing. Just how jank it is, is great. Is it though? Is it amazing? Yes. Is it truly amazing? I don't know if I believe it. Well, so Are you you're... ready to enjoy your Civil War some more? Ugh, no. Um, Good. But you're, you're looking at the stream on your phone, right? I am. And then look at how tiny your little screen share is. Yep. It's fucking terrible, but I love it. That's kind of why I like it, because who the fuck does I, that? Why I would you do that? For the yeah, pretty so much. So you can see some crazy front lines. If I start doing some weird shit, it will be apparent. If Well, if you zoom in, like, all the fucking way, then we can see what's happening. You mean like this? Uh, Actually, even at that, I can see what's happening on my... OBS That's monitor, fine. Everyone else but on the, it, it's fine. I have a mini monitor that is my stream instead of it being like in OBS, it's coming from yeah. Twitch so I can monitor that. Yeah. That's not terrible. It's actually. I am going to unpause. Because it's you're about the size of a phone screen and it's fucking tiny. It's yeah. the most pointless screen share I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, fuel storage is done. Why did I research fuel storage? Uh, right. Because, yes, you should I, be able to call me to arms. I needed you synthetic. Ah, uh, we need to. We need more world tension. I can. Yes. I can fix that. We need world tension, and I'm actually not doing half bad on my oh, own. Fuck! I can't somehow. do that because I can't declare on anybody yet. We'll get there. Don't worry. But you should be fine to do it on your own. Yeah, I'm. Oh, India and Free India are fighting. Mm hmm. Interesting. I wish I could send volunteers. I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. But for once, I'm in a civil war that. Have you got the option exactly to decent. allow the whatchamacallits back in? Uh, no, not yet. I'm gonna basically take everything except for the little bit that has Istanbul, and I'm just mm -hmm. gonna hold just them wait. there until I get the option. Fair enough. Hopefully you're in, we're in a run-through where you can. We are, because remember... should be able you... to. I don't know why. I know we made it happen. Yeah. I just don't know if that has... Oh, been like an a issue chance since thing. I forced it to happen. Well, I don't know. Because I forced it to happen, I don't know if that messed with it. So maybe we start over, maybe we don't. I don't know. Ooh, I can award a division a medal. How the fuck does that you work? Uh, you use political power to give them a medal, and if you hover over the medal, it will tell them what they do. I can promote to field officer. Brigadier Kevdek, field officer. Don't know what that means if I hover over the metal. So if you go yeah, to your officer viewer. core, which is the hot, the hat button. Uh, no, 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 no. So I can give the division a medal. I hover yep. over that. You click to open the medals view. I yep. clicked it, and it's now in the. Did I misclick? Cause that's. I think you misclicked. So the way I do it is you click the hat button. And hat then button. you go click officers. And then where? click the metal button. The hat button in your hot bar at the top. Yeah, where's officers? Oh, oh I see. Okay. Adam White. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they added a whole new layer with this shit. German colonialism once more? Probably. All right. Okay. Oh, that's the details. Do I have to promote them to give them a medal? Is that? No. Oh, so grant citation. Yep. Click the grant citation that brings up different medals. Can I? There should be a little. Can I put a bunch of button. decorated war veterans into a single unit? Uh, you can put those units into a single army, but you can't put more than one officer per division. But you can take Damn. those divisions and put them in an army. 
Yeah, I just wanted to have all of them, like, basically have the decorated honor guard unit type of a deal. Yeah, you'll just have a bunch of decorated divisions Ooh. in one army, which is actually what I do. So there's recovery rate, supply consumption. Dude, throw supply consumption on some marines. Supply consumption and recovery rate are the two most useful ones. I don't know what your other two are. I just know what Germany has. Experienced soldier losses uh, go down. And That's better reconnaissance good. and division, division defense. Huh. National Park is completed. Whatever. Okay, so there's some fun options in there, I think. Oh, there's some very fun options. Can't do that, right? Because I'm waiting on the thing. Superiority of arms. Ah, support artillery. Yes, I will take artillery research of any form that I can. We. Oui. We, oui, we. Oui. Butterfree. Damn straight. Skippy damn. Damn skippy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, I kind of sort of see how they did this. Kind of, sort of, but not really. I'll give you a... Can someone have multiple citations? Yeah, you can stack as many citations as you want, but each duplicate uh, starts to cost more political power. However, there is a spirit of the army uh, that is accomplished heritage and it reduces the cost by uh 50% to grant a medal and reduces the cost to promote by 100%. Okay. Which is incredibly useful. I think we'll give you No, we won't. Considering where we're planning on fighting, I'm going to go with Legion of Honor for that supply consumption. Fair enough. Get a couple others with Legion of Honor on them. Uh, you should put a troop or two on the border where Istanbul is so they don't push. It's unguarded currently. Eh, that's fair. Oh, I know it's fair. That's why I'm telling you to do it. No. Okay, then don't. We will also draw a no, we won't. Line. No, you won't. Right there. Suppose we can take you. No, we can't. Uh, assignment mode. Right there. No. Okay, assignment mode. Right there. Right there. There we go. I have someone going there now. Worry not, worry not is happening. Oh, I'm very worried. Okay. What the fuck even was I doing? Right, I can't do aircraft. Mm, we'll get some better artillery going. Then... Right. I also needed to do trains. Indeed. Ew. Okay. Why does it say there's no division? Ice is bullshit. Fuck Utter. you, that's why. Bullshit. If you haven't got the decision yet, I think our run is bugged and we need to restart. Because you should get it instantaneously when I watched a handful of playthroughs. Okay. So I think oh. now would be a good time to restart now that you've got half an idea, but let's review the uh, can, uh, the tree real quick. The other thing you want to do is you want to drive up traditionalist support in your territories. When there's decisions. Okay. The non-aligned? Uh, no, so there should be decisions in your territory before you go to a civil war. 
where you can drive up traditional support or democratic or whatever the case is. You want to oh. try and get the traditionalist to get as high as possible. Okay. And then oh, okay. just go down the left side of the tree. Uh, you want to integrate the bank. We led you wrong on that one. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. So I'm going to back out and delete the save. <laughs> and we're going to try again. All right. Deal. Oh, uh, nobody. You can probably issue that challenge now if you like. Do I need my sound on for this? No, you do not. Just a matter of, uh, pay attention to chat. You're not my real dad. If you get challenged, you'll know. Will I? Yeah, you'll know. Will I? All right, it is back up, sir. Jesus Christ, I just got out. That's what she said. That's what I was afraid I was gonna have to say when I got out. Uh. You gonna... what? Okay, there we go, we're working. Shit, I hit the wrong button, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna have to do this again. <laughs> Nerd. What button did That's you why hit? I'm incompetent. Back. I'm currently in there. It says you're Germany. Uh, well, that is no longer the case. You're going to have to back out because you're not in line. Uh, fine. You'll be fine. Will I, though? Probably. <laughs> All right. Is it good? Probably. Probably, you say. Yeah, probably. It's not guaranteed, but it's certainly not bad. Well, I suppose we'll find out. I suppose, I suppose. we will now, won't we? Yes. Wah? Wah. Wah? So many countries. So Are you, many you, you know which one you want to You know. I do know. You know. Yeah, I do. Do it. Okay. <laughs> do it. I'll go for the Ottoman Empire again. Do it. One of these days, I will rebuild the Persian Empire, though. I know. It will be a thing. It has to be a thing. Eventually. Because if it's not a thing, I'll be upset. You'll cry. Yeah. Who is dummy wami gonna cry? I'll, uh. I'm gonna cry, piss and shit, maybe come a little. Ah, uh, so good. Right? No, that one. I need. That. I don't think that's enough. Damn it! Just drop one more. Um, oh, I suppose you could have these guys too. Who's gonna be Hill Fighter? I think Hill Fighter, yes. Cav Officer, eh. Mountaineer could also be good. Could, but Not it's alright. All it's of these bad. have it's War hard. Hero. Uh, War Hero is not bad. It just sucks if you ever have to reassign the general. But it's not the worst debuff ever. I mean, but it's it's not useful. Unless no, I want to really. promote them. And I don't yes. necessarily plan on it. I really wouldn't do anything with your generals other than... Uh, just just assign them to an army but don't sink anything into them because you'll get a whole new batch of generals when your civil war goes mm, that's fair oh I know it's fair alright fine I'll go hill fighter yeah you will dirty dirty oh, 25 of 24 I have to ditch one more fine I mean you don't have to if you want to maximize you do but 
What's the point of maximization? It takes all the fun out. I'm a min-max here, all right. You're a max minner. <laughs> I am not a min-maxer. <laughs> not even remotely close. Yeah. Not even fucking close. All right, research that. Somewhere in here, which is why I got excited about going down the not left side of the tree. Somewhere in here, was it in there or was it over here? I got my extra research slot very early on. Uh, there's a handful of ways to get your extra research slots. Some of them take longer than others, though. True. And I want it sooner than later. How does it feel to want? Not very good. I don't like wanting. Wah. All right, we'll do that. We'll ride out the gate, get armored train. I think we'll go construction because we're going to be doing a lot of that. Speaking of construction. We are going to pump some of those out. Some military factories scattered about. And then put out more civilian factories. Why? Because civilian factories build things that I need. Indeed. Therefore, they must be built. Built they must be. Indubitably. Probably pull that down a little bit. Uh, no, don't click care about recruit and deploy. I want production. Boom. I'm gonna need artillery. I don't want trains. I have no tanks. I have transport planes, but I don't care. I don't have any dockyards. So, I think that actually covers it for the moment. Well, I do want... No, because artillery does go there. Oh, I th think I'm good. Me too. Oh yeah, is this the non non historical focus one too? Uh I think so. Yes, I changed it to be the presets that it was from the last game because I I saved it to have all of the major powers kind of do their own thing. Okay. Because why not? Because chaos. I mean, yeah, I do I do appreciate the chaos. Me too. It is quite enjoyable. Now we just wait and see what fucking batshit crazy chaos happens first. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> or actually, I don't even care about these planes. I'm, I need to wait for my joint strike fighters. Oh, which I have to develop from scratch. Or you can wait and you can buy one from me and produce it until you get all the researches made on your own. Get up to speed. Because I am also going to be doing joint strike fighters. Possibly. Possibly.
I don't care about it. I don't care. Italy can go do Italian things. I'm Turkey. I don't care about the Italian things. It's That's not actually right not now. true. As a Turk, you care very, you care very, very much about the Italians. Well, just not right now. I will Fair. later. But right now, I don't. Oh. Do you have a dockyard? Oh, 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 oh. I see. I'm gonna use that to make convoys. Said the blind man picked up his hammer and saw. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna be producing convoys for the moment. Events or decisions, timeout. Kurdish resistance escalates anti-government efforts. Uh, you can try and roll the Kurdish lottery. It's up to you. Just when you start getting the options to go with Kurds or loyalists or uh, fundamentalists, you want the fundamentalists. Yeah. The issue is I don't have the command power for any of these. That's fine. Oh, well. You'll get there eventually. Someday I'll be a real boy. Someday. Today is not someday. that day. Yeah, no, today is not that day. Me but either. Someday the time will come. Soon. Soon. Soon, my children. Oh, how kind of me. I'm... I'm guaranteeing Romania's independence. You could stop doing that, but that costs uh, XP. Yeah. Alright, we will integrate the bank. Because fuck military researches. I don't need a military where I'm going. No, you don't. That's a lie. I'm going to need a military. <laughs> Probably. And we'll just throw you guys under a field marshal because I can. Put you in there because I can. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I can't even afford that yet. Why are you. Oh, you're not lit up. You're lit up. You just think it is. Artillery designer. Oh, I have to sponsor the. Keely Gill armaments through the industrial projects decision. Okay, where is the... I apparently don't have those yet. Damn it. Why is all the fun stuff locked? Because you have to earn it. I don't want to earn it. I know, me either. I just want it as an option. I'm earning the right. command points and the political power. <laughs> All right. If I do... This is range-focused. At least I have range-focused um, aircraft designer is unlocked out the gate. That is pretty nice. Yeah, so that is... That is a good thing. Oh, I fully integrated the bank. Very nice. Now I need to ratify the six arrows. Yeah. The six arrows are being ratified. Do I want to modify the officer core? Oh, that's only a theorist. Meh. We can wait on that. We don't need a theorist. I mean, we No, really... not until you start doing doctor. Yeah, we'll need a theorist later. Just not right now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I could just out the gate put on a silent workhorse. You could. Although I have a captain of industry already that I can get. Captain of industry is always worth it early on. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with the captain of industry. Oh, hey, I can almost afford my uh, aircraft designer. Nice. 
wait. And I can afford the silent workhorse already. Who do I have on here at the moment? Uh, you want the silent okay. workhorse as well. Yeah. If you haven't already. I wasn't expecting to be able to already afford it. Hey, Gangles. How's it going? Where's my auto shout out? The fuck? The fuck? Is everything broken now? Ooh. How are you doing, Gangles? Uh, armored trains are done. And are my support weapons. Alright. Do that because why the fuck wouldn't I? And. Yeah, both those are ahead of time. We'll do trucks because we need that. Okay. I think it's under plat. Yeah. That should be running. And that runs under here. That's enabled. Oh, what happened? They were just being rude. Was this in stream? Because I didn't see you go live, which is kind of annoying. Oh my god. There's no advice, like unsolicited advice. Those people. Well, actually, you should do this to align your chakras. <laughs> like, oh my god. Hell crystals, yeah. They just make all of the difference. Fucking Bitch, the only block crystal you want is that. Alright. We'll see if that does the trick. Theoretically, it should do the trick. You're a trick. Yeah, no, in, in that situation, yes, block the fuck out of it. Good them. call. Good call. We'll a wise choice. Going. I'm inclined to agree. Mm. Oh, this is some of the stuff I need, huh? Yes, I will get that one. Oh, the poor puppy. I mean, like, I'm sure everything's fine, but like, still, poor puppy. And I don't know what the fuck is going on with my auto shout outs. Do you ever know what's going on? No. And like in general. All right, Spain's doing Spain things. Hell yeah. It's about damn time. Unless. That's completely fucking it up. But I trust that the puppy is uh, all good. Even though. Puppy's a little sad from the shot. What kind of shots are you doing that They're makes puppies sad? Sick. Alcohol is the best. Well, I hope the puppy starts feeling better soon. Because that is what we want. We want a happy puppy. We want a pappy puppy. Yes, a pappy puppy. So I'm actually kind of curious. Um... Can you clip things with the way things are set up? Like, I, I have no idea how, like, anything works, like, if me being on mobile. Yeah, no, I bet. Sometimes taking care of a puppy is definitely very stressful. 
Oh, that's super fucking stressful. You do need to stream again. Get some more clips. Do it. Indeed. Although you have a clip, and that is all you need to get a video shout out. <laughs> hey Dom, I'm 23k gun short. You want to give me some? I'm 12k guns short, so no. That just sounds like an excuse. Besides, I don't think I can do that until there's much higher world tension. Well, it's true, but that's not important right now. Nation's opinion. Mm, yeah, I don't need to change that out for the moment. I'm going to get my aircraft designer just so I have it. Get a pretty good amount. Pretty good amount of political power as it is. Oh, cooperate with the Debt Council. Next. Yeah. It's get this us. way and then up. Hey, oh, Vala. Thank you for the lurk. Ah! It was not Why a secret it one. It wasn't you fun. It's not. The... Oh. Pork angles. Did I misspell your username? Probably. Hold on, hold on. Now I need to look at this. I refuse to hold. That's fine. I can hold for the both of us. <sighs> Gangly. Yeah. Equation. Yeah. And then there's a one. Yeah. I don't know why. Auto shout out wasn't working for you, but it worked instantly for Vala. So I'm just confused as to what the fuck. Oh well. I'll probably have to look into that later then. Oh, research slot. Perfect. <laughs> I found where my extra research slot lives. Good. Go for that. We're about to do the thing. Are we? It's okay. Sometimes technology hates me too. I just beat it into submission <laughs> over time yeah I'm doing the thing as soon as I get another military factory what thing are you doing railway guns motherfucker Jesus <laughs> all right all right what do we need think yeah we'll start with this research speed uh i also have a uh up-to-date strike fighter if you so choose uh i can't produce it anyways fair so eventually Eventually I will, but I can't even produce my railway guns right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright. I don't think I want to throw anything... To military yet. I can 
do that shit later. For now, I want my government in order. Material designer. Yeah, I want my artillery material designer. I can't get it yet, which makes me sad. Oh well. I'll just stockpile stockpile political power for the time being. Not a bad call. I suppose. Oh yeah, so Kriegs, you want to see something cool? I think so. Look at my chat real quick. Yep. If I do that... If... Boom! You can challenge people to duels. Aww. That's bullshit. That, that is bullshit. I'm not surprised by any of that at all. <sighs> Alright, we are unpausing and I'm about to start a war with Poland before too long. Oh boy, that'll be fun. It will be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Nobody asked you. <laughs> I am very well aware of what happened. Wait. Why did you just get welcomed? Oh, I know, because I reset it. That's what happened. I was like, you were already here. You already got welcomed. It shouldn't be going a second time. Oh, God, what broke now? <laughs> but no, I reset it because it wasn't working for Gengles. But yeah, I don't know why. Yay. Germany went to war again. Who would have expected that? Not me. Certainly anybody knowing that you were playing Germany would have expected that. Also, anyone knowing that we're playing a World War II game would have expected that. Trying to recreate that. World War One? Weird. Who'd have thunkered? Eh, certainly not me. It, but it didn't. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh. Uh... You're right, it didn't. What the actual... The fuck. The fuck. The fuck. The fuck is in the air. The fuck. The fuck. It's fucking everywhere. Um. Because I have this set. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah, it's supposed to reset after 12 hours. And I wasn't streaming 12 hours ago, I can tell you that. You don't know that. I guess I don't think I was. You probably were. I was on my way to work 12 hours ago, so... Gross. That's awkward. Who does that? Me? Gross. Who does well, that? Nobody does... Jill does. What? If you look at your left hand, it spells Jill. And you're left-handed. So Jill does you. Okay, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm here for you. <laughs> Gangles gets it. Fuck yeah. Gangles always gets it. Gangle knows what life's about. That is... That's fucking incredible. I love it. Is okay. It not? Okay, so... Cheese. What you're gonna do is you hold up your left hand and... I just suppose I hold up palm. my right hand. So for me, the right hand's... Actually, no, because it's... If you look, if you hold out your right Flipped. hand and look at the back of your right hand, or if you look at your left hand and look at the palm, they both spell Jill. J, I L L, Jill. 
It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Is it not the best thing since bread that was apparently sliced? Old man Gangles knows things. Yes. Yes, this is true. Gangles the Wise, I believe, is a nice way of saying that. Gangles the Wise. Oh. Uh. Dom, have you uh, told your followers my wonderful D&D idea? Uh, no. For the backup character to uh, my Go goblin for it. in our campaign. Fucking, why don't so, you uh, let them know? So, I saw a meme, and I found a way to make it work. Uh, I'm going to play a duct tape wizard. I fix everything with duct tape including wounds and the idea is that duct tape is just this wonderfully like magically absorbent device that i cast spells into and just hold on to them until i need them so if i want some very, very angry angry duct tape i just cast fireball on it stick it on something <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense it's kind of a fun campaign but i do enjoy it more than i should so what you would effectively be doing. I'd be kind of like an alchemist that's not an alchemist. You would put... Like, you would cast Fireball into duct tape. And then yep. you would walk up to something, just smack a patch of duct tape on its forehead and walk away. It's going to look at you confused and then... <laughs> fireball. Boom. Yep. And remember, cool guys don't look at explosions. Never. Which is probably why you Unless watch of all of this. Of course, it's the way I'm facing that I'll bask in my brilliance. <laughs> that is fair. I'm confused. Is it waiting for me to do something here? Probably. What am I supposed to do? Because there's no buttons. Actually, I don't think uh, you should just be able to say confirm and exit. I don't have. I have a pass that I can't hit. No. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Winning. What am I winning? I don't know, but I'm winning. That's how it works, right? Indeed. Um, I think we start going military. <laughs> I'm going to say army maneuver. I don't want to be a bit of a speedy boy. Speedy boy with lots of artillery and Kaz support. I do rather like the music in this game. Me too. It's just fun. There's not necessarily a whole lot for me to do at the moment, is there? Oh, good. That's being built. Well, that'll get trucks going. That won't even get my railway gun going. Ugh, fine. We'll bump another one of these up. Yeah, that'll be good. That's 12. Actually, by the time we hit here, I have two stacks. I throw that there. Actually, no. Throw that there for what it is. Should be good with I'm that. I'm going to pause, Dom. I will be right back. Okay. I'm kind of interested to see what happens with the Soviet Union this go through, because last time it had a civil war. And the Soviet... civil war. Oi! No, I'm not. Maybe. And the Soviet Union side of it lost. The Soviet Onion. Yes, the Soviet Onion lost. Do you remember Hopefully who won that, that civil good. war? Uh, the provisional Russian government won That's the civil right. War. That's what it was. It was strange. Quite. 
kind of interested to see what happens this time. Also, I'm a little disappointed that Spain only did the Spain thing once. Yeah. I find it entertaining when there's like four or five different Spains all fighting each other on this same area. Mm -hmm. And then just for the fuck of it, we need Portugal to get involved. Indeed. Why? I don't know. Ma mainly because chaos. Mainly because fuck everything else. Yeah, fuck everything else. Fight. That is all I ask, is just fight. Mm-hmm. Just fight, damn it. Yes, I've privatized. Now we lift the ban. Maybe? I don't know. So I can go down this without issues. Oh, that requires peace home. So what is this? Wait, is that and or or? One of the following must be true. Um, <laughs> fucking gangles. <laughs> what did the notorious equation do now? That sounds like fun. I want to say fuck too with a yay emote. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful <laughs> what the actual hell i love it okay um fatherland first i don't see that oh this one achieving the dream it it is way funnier than it should be <laughs> I don't know why, it just is. Oh, okay, I can get this. Oh, and that gets me down here. Yeah. Oh, I think I need to go down that way anyways. Okay, so that's going. slot was this? What goes in this slot? That's what she said. I don't remember what this one was for. Yeah. Also what she said. Construction speed? Oh, I'm going to need to get oil building. That's what I'm going to need to do. If I plan on having a mighty air force, I'm going to need oil to support that. Yep. And I want to have enough oil being produced in my country that America wants to invade it. Now, I hope they don't try I would lose that they will. fight. Oh, right, well, I didn't get to do it. fight in time. Oh, I tried. Fine. An attempt was made. An attempt was made. That's fine. It'll pop up again eventually. And who knows, maybe I'll join in on the next one. Yeah, I think inventive leadership is still going to be the way to go. Right? Don't uh, inventive leadership is always good. Yeah, the other ones are just, like, stat bonuses. Right. I'm going to pause because I need to do the shenanigans again. Oh, you got a challenge. Damn, nobody out here being undefeated. Yet. I mean, yeah. We'll we'll put it this way. Nobody is two for two, you are one for two, and I am O oh for two. <laughs> so How uh, I should be one 
I'm one for two, you said, right? Yeah, you're one for two. I am oh okay. for two. I was confused, sorry. Yeah. I get confused easily in my old age. I lost to nobody and lost to you. And then... Well, are you really surprised that you lost to me? No. I let you win. Good. Uh-huh. The only downside with this, because I know it's going to come up, um, so I still have to try to get this shit to work, um, I, I don't have a way to challenge the bot. Because Why you not? have to accept or decline... And I don't have it you set up. You can't just command the bot to always accept. That's what I have to figure out. I thought I, I like I had the concept going, and I had it all set up in my dashboard. Um, but it wouldn't work, even when I logged into my bot account. Hmm. I I could type accept, and it just wouldn't go through. So I have to figure out a way to make it so that way. All right, pretty much what it does is it will set the challenger's name as a variable and the defender's name as a variable. Fair enough. I need to have it find a way that doesn't break it that will check if the defender's name is Botanic, it will accept. Fair. And I might be able to jankly cobble together. Yeah, that's what the command wall is about. I was testing this shit and trying to make it work. Um, I could probably set up some form of a trigger, so that way if someone puts in the text for, like, the command challenge botanic, mm -hmm. it spits out a response of accept, which is all ooh, all it should take. Actually, I don't know if I can do that, because I don't think you're allowed to have the bot trigger itself with other commands. Because mm -hmm. that then makes it very easy to end up with an infinite loop. That is true. So I have to find a more elegant solution, I guess. A more elegant solution for a more simplified age? Yes, exactly. I think ground support for my air officer is going to be the way to go. You can go infantry because you're not going anywhere. Oh, I can't afford anything else. Still can't get the material designer I want. I don't care about my ship designer. For the moment, don't care about the tank designer. Because <clears throat> it's probably going to be a long while before I'm able to actually produce tanks. So that one Correct. can definitely And again, work. I will have some very cheap tanks for you. Uh, that you can lease the design until you get your own native designs. The thing that I found is you want to start the production lines as early as you can. So while it sucks that you have to pay for a licensing fee, it's worth it so you actually have some efficiency built up when you make your own native designs. Yes, with the caveat of... I can't. Lease? Because you don't have enough factories or what? Um, so I hardly have any factories. I also don't have any form of a tank design, so I couldn't produce them even if I did lease them. Yeah, all you need is to research the first level of tank, and then you can start uh, leasing. And really all you have to do is just cheese the system so you end up not giving me my paying licenses. How do I do that, pray tell? I want to uh, cheat you I out of factories. I don't remember. I think you just stop paying or you, like, cancel. Interesting. And unless you revoke the licenses, I can keep them? I think so. That's weird. It is, but it's sweet. All right, so if I check my... Actually, no. My production. Because... Oh, wait a second. 
I do have a basic tank chassis. Good. Oh. So you should be able to I lease can, one from me. I will let you know when it's built. I can even produce my own shitty tank design. I'd wait till you get your research is done, but that's just me. I mean, I can throw on a small cannon onto a light yeah, tank and call that a day. It's true. It's I possible. still, I still can't produce it. But that's fine. Still need a buttload more factories for that shit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have anything interesting that I can do at the moment, which is sad. Maketh me saddeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad whatever. boy hours. Shut up about the toad artillery. I'll have a template for you soon enough. And very sad boy hours. Actually. Mm. Can I do anything with that? <clears throat> I can support artillery. I can afford that. Yeah, we'll throw in support artillery. Alright, so now here's the question. Do I go with my standard massive division build with inbuilt artillery? Or do I slim it down and have artillery as its own division? Uh, That's difficult because there's benefits to both. Yeah, the main thing is what's going to be ideal for my production. Um, I would keep two to three on your artillery. Keep two to three on support equipment. And Wait, two to three on anti-air if you're making anti-air, which you hopefully should be. Oh, for inbuilt? Uh, for your production lines. Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking division design? Division design. Uh, one un one division of artillery, and then support artillery is good, and then your anti-air can just be a support company. Well, no. Do I have them built into my infantry divisions, or do I have them set apart as their oh, own Oh, yeah, you division? have them built into your infantry division. Absolutely, eh. without question. I think I'll do that then. Massive division block it is then. Because, you know, there's nothing quite like having 15 infantry with three artillery and uh, two anti-tank. Are you playing the infantry game? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense now. I had concerns. Why? Because that's very expensive. I mean, yeah. Why can't I get this? Oh, I, don't know. I haven't had an election, that's why. Cool, time for the military tree. Ooh. Yes, I want that. Okay, well that's out of it. Actually, which slot is this? Where's that slot? Can I get... Nope, that's still ahead of time. Ugh. Might as well start getting some of the basic support companies just so I can throw them in and upgrade them later. I like how effectively my standard um, basic bitch division design for the U.S., is the epitome like, oh, this is my grand army design. 
or literally any other country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's amazing. Isn't it great when you get used to playing like a competent nation and then it just it's re- you realize slowly over time that holy fuck this is every insane. other nation sucks balls yeah yeah mm. kind of wanted this is unconstitutional shut it down I'm going to unconstitutional shut it down. Oh, uh, we need more political power. That, or not political power. Command power. Fine. Be that way. Fucking land on be that way. Resistance to occupation. You can't do that to me. I'm not occupying uh-huh. you. You belong to me. It's my territory. Allegedly. My territory cannot be resistant to occupation. That's it's not occupied. I don't understand how that's racist, but, you know, okay. How dare you tell the Kurds that they uh, must bow to you? I'm not saying they must bow to me. I'm saying they are part of me. They are my people, you too. are just a part of me. Yeah, exactly. They don't have to bow to me. They are my people. They belong with me. In a very possessive manner. Yes. Very, very yandere manner. (laughs) Soviet Union declared war on Russia. That was quick. Ah, That's about right. Wow. And once again, provisional Russian government is bigger than Soviet Union. It has the shitty half of Russia, but it's got the bigger half of Russia. This is interesting. Um, we call it borderline treason? I think we call it borderline treason. I'm telling everyone that democracy is allowed, but when the Democrats start to do something, I call it treason and say no. <laughs> Beautiful. Like a true dictator. I'm excited for this next vote. Like a true like a true penis potato. <laughs> God damn it. What? A dictator? A penis potato? You've never heard that? You've never I'm, heard that? I'm sure I have, like, way back in the day. I'm pretty sure I've said that around. You have. I just forgot about it, and so I found it absolutely hilarious again. Well, it's because it is absolutely hilarious, so. Oh, yeah, that is true. I know. Yeah. Fuck you. Yes, more national focus time. Expand the air bases. I like that. I need them air bases. And we can get another one of these guys. We can do... Hack bombing, that'll be helpful. No, not the Hindenburg disaster. What a shame. What a sham. Not allowed. Um. So you said I want to go... Traditionalist, if you can. If you have the option to build up support, build traditionalist support. Ooh. 50% that the uh, Kemalists will take over as uncontested administrators of the state. 50% chance that the traditionalists will cooperate more with the government. You want the traditionalists to cooperate and build their support. Yeah, but is that worth the gamble on that one? Yes, it is always worth the gamble. You need it. Let's put it this way. Even if you don't think it's worth the gamble, you don't have a choice. Fair. Let's see what other options. Liberalism, no. Reformism, no. Nash. 
Ha! Ah! Democracy's not allowed to get more popular. I already did that one. Nationalism does nothing for me at the moment. Populism. Republicanism. Yeah. Oh, wait. I want unaligned, right? Correct. Daily support for unaligned goes up. Take that. Uh, the rest of those can wait. The Kurdish rebels will increase intensity. Uh, increase intensity. Oh, traditionalists will increase intensity of their resistance. Uh, and then you need to start playing the Kurdish command or the Kurdish Kurdish lottery with yeah. your command power. Or not your manpower, your command power, because you should be getting most of it back if you're successful. I think I want this one. Because this doesn't make the traditionalists resistant. Although, I don't know. And it just auto-chose for me. Great. Um... Assuming this is the thing you're talking Make about. Make the sand you know, potatoes great again. Oh, I fucking will. You fucking know it. Yee, yee better free. I don't like this democracy thing. Why is it growing? Fuck you, that's why. We can't have democracy. Sure you can. I mean, we can, but I don't want democracy, you know? I want what I want, like a true dictator, under the guise of democracy, because it looks good. Sure. Kind of want to discuss some investment opportunities. You can. Hey, Amelia Earhart disappears. It's what she deserves. <gasps> Actually, that is true, because I'm not playing as the U.S., so no Amelia Earhart. When I play as the U.S., I like to have Amelia Earhart. She's a great ace, and that's why I don't want anyone else to have her. <laughs> All right, well, I have other shit to be doing here. Sure, we'll take that. Research. Oh, right, 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 right. I need to make sure I have set up for oil production. Resource efficiency gain. Might as well. I guess that's what I want to do. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Do you ever? Nope. That's my secret. I never know what I'm doing. Ooh, yes. This is how I start getting the military factories and shit. Yep. Oh, and this starts getting me stockpiles of shit. Fuck yes. <clears throat> Do I want to be in a faction with you? I don't know. Do you want to? Probably. Great War, Modernizing the Army. Yeah, I want to go with that one. Boom! I suppose. I just don't want to get dragged into any bullshit. You won't, yet. 
Yeah, that's that's the issue. I can't handle bullshit right now. Nerd. I will get crushed beneath the bullshit. Why are there 18 of these now? What the fuck? I get it, I get it, go away. I want to see if the U.S. wants to invest in me. And hopefully they do. That would be very cool if they did. Thanks, Kanye. Very cool. I mean, I feel like if the U.S. invests in me, that's more of a thanks Obama situation. No, thanks, Kanye. Very cool. <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. I think I want to go that way. Ooh, Uzbekistan declared war on both. Come on, man. The fuck are you doing, Uzbekistan? You can't take on both of them. Pick a side to help take out one. Yeah, you, you just carve your way into Russia. Well, Soviet Union. Leave the provisional Russian government alone. Because once you're caught between those two, you're going to get fucked. Hard. Yeah. More air bases, I will take that. I'm here. Who the fuck is this? Oh my god. This is a tiny little piece of the provisional Russian government. Yeah. <laughs> it's so little. That's it's what she said. So far away. That is what she said, actually. Also what she said. Also true. I've heard it many times. Many, Same. many times. Samesies. For real, for real, no cap. God damn it. What now, brown cow? Ooh, I feel like... <laughs> That's news to you? <laughs> Alright, I feel like I want to go operational integrity. But no, well, fuck. Does operational integrity work well with joint strike fighters? Yes. Does uh, it? As long as you plan on using, I believe, let me take a look. As long as I believe you are going to be working with, uh, really, it's just medium. That's really good for medium bombers. Okay, so if I make medium joint strike fighters. Yeah. You get a lot of flexible things with tactical bombers as long as they have the uh, bomber roll. You get a lot of bonuses. Which bomber roll? You just put the bombs in the very first slot. That gives it a roll, and then you can do whatever you want with the other slots. Okay. So bombs in the first slot, which means even if I'm making a dedicated fighter, just put bombs in the first slot, guns everywhere else. Indeed. <laughs> why? Because fuck off. Flying machine gun. That's why. Yeah. Speaking of which... That is essentially how that works. I'm going to start research on some aircraft weaponry. Since I don't have the factories to produce aircraft yet. I would love to have the factories to produce aircraft, but... I mean, Too bad. Might as well get some weapons going for him first. Might as well. Whoa, is... Oh, Spain's not done doing Spanish things. My question is... Actually, I think I know. 
nationalist Spain has the Inquisition. I know yes. because they're winning, and nobody ever expects yep. the Spanish Inquisition. That's why they're or winning. Surprise does the attack. other Spain have it, and they're going to turn around? Actually, yeah, I guess we have to wait till the war's done to figure out who has the Spanish Inquisition. Good joke's on you. I have the Spanish Inquisition. But you're the German Empire. What's your point? How did you get the Spanish Inquisition? Because no one expects it. <laughs> obviously. Well, since you have the Spanish Empire, you're obviously not... Since you have the Spanish Inquisition, you're obviously not using the German Inquisition. Can I have the German Inquisition? Uh, I got rid of the German Inquisition, aka the Gestapo, when I got rid of the Nazis. So, no. <laughs> no okay, to you know what? Fair point. Actually, I didn't put that together. Damn skippy. Alright, ooh, I can do these again. Yay! Do the thing. Do the roar. Roar. Roar! Roar! Ooh, ooh. No, we're not playing that game oh. right now. Oh. You just oh. wanted to hear me ooh, woo. Yeah, kind of. I should make an ooh, woo redeem. You should. I would use it all the fuck time. All right, so serious question. If I serious were to make answer. an uwu redeem, how much should it cost? All of it. <laughs> serious answer. Thousands. Well, okay. So, Tens of thousands. if I look Million. at my current channel points... Your mom's a channel point. Nobody says it should cost 2k. Um, the redeem that basically turns me into a PNG tuber is 5k. What is a PNG tuber? Alright, you know what? You guys are gonna get a quick one. Actually, I'll just. Oh, that's not what I meant to hit. Put this there. You. Alright. You guys are going to get one for free. Uh, oh. So you're looking at stream, yeah? Unfortunately. Right now, because I have a face cam, this is what's known as a flesh mm -hmm. tuber. A PNG gotcha. tuber, instead of having a face cam, has a PNG model. Gotcha. So... Cowards. Can't show their true face. This. Oh, yeah, this. Right now... I'm a PNG tuber. I see. Ah, yes. Yeah, this yes, this are. is a PNG tuber. I see. Um, so, also, fun little facts, just because I can. I've got my normal face, right? And then, as right. situation demands, I can be angry or scared or concerned. You should always be scared. That is fair. I'm playing games with you. I should always be scared. Always. Um, <laughs> I have ascended. So, considering that this is 5k, and nobody says I should price it at 2k... Is it just going to be a really annoying soundbite, or is it going to be... Oh, no, it would be me actually doing uwu. You could you could do it. Fifteen would be a good start. Fifteen k or one point five k. One point five. Let's not get crazy now. <laughs> Let's not get carried away here. Reject the flesh. Become PNG. Um, I have neither rejected the flesh nor is this my true form. If you actually look at the redeem and like the text for that redeem. Uh, I am, in fact, flesh tuber. I promise. It's I'm, I'm not faking it. I'm not pretending. <laughs> this it's Allegedly. real. It's real. I really am a flesh tuber. Yeah. No. I'm not a PNG tuber. This is just for fun. No. <laughs> I'm not lying. I You're swear. Lying. Actually, you know what I could do? And this is the perfect thing to do. <laughs> the secret is safe with you. Well, I appreciate your discretion. Um, this is the 
perfect time to test stuff like this. I could do an ooh woo, and then you guys tell me how much it's worth. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Ooh woo. No, my, more more crazy. How the, the okay. kind of ooh woo that I do? It needs to it needs to be obnoxious. That's not obnoxious. No. Me that's, doing that's an actual just, feminine voice is it cute? That's that's ju that's just effeminate. No, it's not cute either. It's just mildly <laughs> off-putting. Okay, so then give me an example. <laughs> Gangles regrets this. So then. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. That's better. Gotta put the Ahiago emphasis emphasis on it. <laughs> there you go. But ooh woo. I don't know. I don't know if I can make the proper. Yeah, you can. Okay, you can try. That's what the practice is for. We'll just redeem it constantly until you get oh, good. Don't be surprised. Just be disappointed. This was your idea. <laughs> Gangles regrets this, and nobody just cringed. <laughs> He's oh. taking damage. Good. Good. So. You guys prefer the more effeminate uwu or the little bit more obnoxious uwu? And obnoxious, how many points uh, is that worth? Well, your effeminate one, I wouldn't even try and redeem for free. The uh, <laughs> shitty anime born one, I, w I would pay for that. All right. Well, what if I make the effeminate one be um, you can pay channel points for me to not do it? No. No. Nice try, but no. <laughs> nice try, but no. Oh. So then the crazy anime one. Yep. Oh, hold on. Uh, I need to th Holding. think. Was it secularism? It was secularism. I want to run that again. Running for Jesus Christ, I have shit finishing! And it's not me. Okay. Are you driving up the uh, traditional support? I'm trying to. It's the 50-50 chance. And I'm yep. doing the... What is it you called it? The Kurdish Lottery? Yep. Where you're just sinking command power and hoping to get the Kurds on your side. Uh, yeah. I think. Best of luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Um, you are. But, so, Needle that thread. ooh woo, how yep. much do you think it's worth? I Thank you. I I it. Point it out. Points for it. Just to hear you debase yourself. Thanks for the stretch. Okay. No, I mean, that's what streaming oh, is. That's not supposed to pop. I know. Ooh. But you said it, not me. Oh. oh, there was a lot of popping with that one. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> so, nobody, you still think an uwu is worth 2k? <laughs> or have you changed your mind on the matter? equipment oh yeah whatever i don't care about missing that because i am yeah, do. i am definitely game to make that a redeem do it the only one stopping you is you i mean give yeah, in that's to it fair give in um i'm gonna go with flexible by the way i'm investing again. in turkish light industry because i care about you Oh, I appreciate you. I can do that again. Yes! Alright, how about you guys stop sabotaging my shit? No. The button push. Oh yeah, I'd also have to put a cooldown on that. 
anything do you because i uh, yes i would spam the fuck out of that that's why i have to put a cooldown on that i mean you don't have to don't that, be a coward that's why any smart individual would put a cooldown on it um there's some things like don't press the button yeah spam that all you want something like hydrate or move around if that gets spammed that can be disruptive and in the case of hydrate potentially unhealthy <laughs> oh, so it needs at least some cooldown. You'll be fine. Because otherwise, you know, people coordinate. They plan things. And if you get enough people coordinating, saving up points, we could just end up with like a four-hour stream if there's no cooldown. Hey, Lady London, thank you for the follow. Yeah, no, definitely. Some redeems need a cooldown. Um... Lady, if I may ask, how did you find me? Yep. Why did what the fuck are you saying yep to? The fact that uh, my my plan is working. I'm happy. I'm self satisfied. Don't worry about it. Ignore me like you usually do. It's fine. Okay, hold on. Which plan is this? Going back to the plan of like. Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? No, no, are we talking about the plan that I end up with an Uwu redeem? Wouldn't you like to know whether, boy, I'm not <laughs> going to tell you. It's my plan. Gangles, I feel like I might be just as confused as you are. Don't be. Just accept it. Do what you do best and accept it. I can accept it and still be confused. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. I have no idea what's happening right now. Do you ever... Which Okay, fair. <laughs> but this is like, normally I don't know what's going on. Right now I don't know what's going on, but I know you have a plan for something that you're not telling me about, and I'm scared. I always have plans I'm not telling you about, and I always have a plan for everything. It doesn't mean <laughs> it's good. Okay, nobody, that's a fair point. <laughs> do you, Kriegs, do you see that? I do. This is why I love nobody. It's fine, Nobody gets don't me. even... Nobody understands. Gangles, you're making me soul. concerned now. Why are you telling me not to worry about it? What am I not worrying about? I'm worried. Because Gangles also understands, clearly. You're the only one that has not got the memo that's part of the plan. Oh. But everyone else got it. Oh, oh you double ads. All right, I need to set up, like, some form of a warning system and get that schedule all sorted out um <clears throat> basically you missed me freaking out because apparently people have plans and i'm being told not to worry about the plans and i don't know what the plans are and now yeah, i'm scared so don't <laughs> stop stop being scared stop um, worrying no Start just going along with the plan no i will be scared just do it uh so lady lemon that's about what you missed like our lord and savior shayla buff told you just do it I'm scared. <laughs> That's fine. You can be scared all you want. It doesn't change it. It changes nothing. I still... What the fuck is your plan? Unimportant <laughs> at this current juncture. Just Very important. Being as planned. Not really. Oh, I like Gangle's interpretation of what your plan probably is. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nightmares or dreams? Fuck you. <laughs> You had to take a beautiful thing and ruin it, didn't you? What else am I supposed to do with my time? Take a beautiful thing and ruin it, so I don't blame you. Exactly. Oh Atta my girl. god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey look, France is doing communist things again. Wait. France is doing... Oh dear. Are you surprised? And oh, France is probably dear. going to... What's the provisional, provisional right, Russian France government? Is... Also losing. Also, there, well, so either way, both Russians are communist. If France goes communist, um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of communists. Yeah, and as a non-communist nation, that does make me a little concerned. What's what's next? Fucking mm -hmm. U.S. is going to go communist because I've seen that happen. I hope not. 
Yeah, I really fucking hope not. We don't need... It's way too close to reality if they do. We don't need a bunch of powerful communist nations, though. I... Uh, are you going... You're going unaligned, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I want a bunch of powerful unaligned nations that we can side with. I'm... I'm... I'm doing the most based possible path. Monarchy. <sighs> there. Based AF. Yeah. So, so based. So based. Mm. Oh, I want the engineer. Yes, engineer core. <laughs> and what do I have for here? Ar wow, I have two army regrouping. Why do I have two military high command that are army regrouping? Yes. Oh, because that one goes so can, away if I invite the You can regroup so good that you ungroup just to regroup. That's it's regrouping practice. I'm pretty sure we've done that before. That's kind of just the military in general. Yeah, military in general. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. It just has to work, and even then, not really. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. You just have to do as you're told. <laughs> it just has to put the lotions mm. on the skins, man. Yep. It puts the camis on its skin, or it gets the chucks again. <laughs> Basically. Ooh, medium airframe design cost, minus 75%. Yes. Nice. Be right back. I need beer. <sighs> Fine. You want to get me one? I take it that that's going to be a no. All right. Well, since we are waiting, I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to make myself a new redeem. Do. Why is that not typing? Also, in case things go poorly with Russia, uh, I did leave some buffer states for me. So I can focus on helping you. All right. I can neither confirm nor deny if that is part of the plan, however. So. Needle pulling thread, what do you want? What is the most uwu color? Aggressively pink. Uh, that's at least aggressively pink enough for now. Then I'll eventually have to tweak this, get a sound effect, so said. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Show God damn it. Alright. Oh, fuck math. What do you think for a cooldown? Oh, I would say... Half hour? Five minutes should be plenty. Five? Uh, half hour? Yeah. I was... Actually, for the amount you're asking, it should be a high cooldown. It's 15 minutes. Let's meet in the middle. Yeah, 15 minutes isn't too bad. No. Four times an hour at most. So yeah. that is... 900 seconds. Nobody, why are you saying yes? What are you yesing to? Yes, 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 yes! And then that needs to actually go in the appropriate group. I think we're good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, there, are, there are many buttons, Lady Lemon. Very, Jesus, very many. Jesus, Jesus. So much shit's... Ah! So much? Oh, okay. my God. Yes. Um, what the fuck? Bruh. I don't know. I'm making fun of you, I think. Bruh. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just um, kind of here, man. So it depends on what type of buttons you are looking for. All of them. I have... Okay. If you are on PC, 
scroll down to the group of panels below the stream there's a set of sound alerts that you can play they're on a cooldown i think like a minute and a half there are three pages of those in the front i've got like you know your generic little quotes like that's what she said stuff like that the second page are jump scares tap, most tap, tap. much like that mostly intended for <laughs> um like a horror game stream but you know you can use them whenever and then Nobody on the third really page i have music clips um yes i have a few people that really like the jump scare sounds which nobody likes them a lot nobody does um and then if you hit the channel point rewards it's the penningar the little silver coin um just underneath where you can click and type to send a message that has redeems and those cost points that you just get over time um <clears throat> actually i don't know if third has been claimed yet probably not i left it because i'm a merciful god um some of them have instructions on them so like for the gremlin one i have a little gremlin hidden around ah gangle's got third hell yeah hey I, mama dog i have a little gremlin hidden somewhere yep of course that's the one you're gonna go for and if you find it you can redeem it get added to a list i don't have anything that happens with it yet but i will eventually um, and then, you know, your standard hydrate and stretch redeems. I have a TTS option. And uh, then I have some expensive options that are, you know, I like to think they're worth what they're priced, but who the fuck knows? Sometimes. I mostly just hope they're worth what they're priced. Well, if you haven't heard anyone complain, you're probably all right. I haven't heard... Okay, I've had one person redeem the flesh tuber before. Um, I just really didn't know what it did. I was too scared to press the button. I was afraid <laughs> you are going to molt. <laughs> That's fair. That is honestly for a very specific... That just seems like some shit you have to do. Hey, How's it going, Eros? How are you, actually? Hails, yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the? Amy? You can't stop me. You Amy, you see that? <laughs> I'm not inside. Mappy, do you see that? Okay, that's what? fair. Turn. That you with me? You don't what? see the giant floating head that's following me? No. Hell yeah. Awesome. I am glad you're doing good. And. Uh, yeah, that's Dude, fair. The provisional Russian government the, uh, sucking. Are they? This go around. Yeah, the... they have not done anything. Oh dear lord, yeah, not really. The uh Rimworld getting coins for Rimworld, yeah, that can definitely eat through a lot of your channel points. <laughs> so fair. I can understand you saving up for them. Um, I've also never had anyone redeem Brogue. I actually dropped the uh, price because as I thought about it, 100k points for what it is is probably too expensive. Dude, I never do any sort of redeem. And actually, I only have like 15.8. Well, fair, but you're only here for like, what, about half to three quarters of a stream once a week? Yeah, because I'm usually involved in it. Yeah. It, like twice a week, but still... It, from okay, fair. A yeah, twice a week. Worthless pleb, I, it's expensive. That Wait, being said, your rogue rogue. is quality, so it's worth. Yeah, it just makes a lot. You got it, Gangles. And yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely a price redeem because that's one that I don't know I could do all the time. No, it's <laughs> it's pricey and it takes a lot of effort. Okay. Eros, half the time I'm streaming, Kriegs is in bed. So yeah, that's true. I'm like old. my, technically it's a Sunday night stream. What is it? You're an hour behind me. Yeah. Okay, so I start at eleven, which is ten o'clock his time. 
And you normally go to bed at like 9, 30, 10 type of time frame. Usually. Yeah. So, you can't get in on that. Um, and then also, on my Friday nights, I usually go really long, so he's got to go to bed eventually. And then the other stream we do is Wednesdays, and he's in on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Grab his dick and twist it! Okay, yeah, that's... It. I will as soon as somebody goes to war with me. That is totally fair, then. What, grabbing his dick and twisting it? No, 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 no. The uh, attacking the I'm usually in the stream excuse for not lurking every time I stream. Come on, man. Get your priorities sure. straight. I don't even know how to lurk <laughs> even if I wanted to. Okay, so lurking is basically you just have the stream open, but you're not necessarily watching or paying attention. Oh, I do that normally. I just don't brag about it. I'm simple so, virtue with simple needs. Hold on. Do you do that normally? Yeah, I just leave it open. I listen to it in the background while I'm building minis or some shit. And you have how many points? Only 15 something or other. Maybe I redeem oh. more than I think, but I don't think I redeem all that much. I don't know that you've ever done a channel point redeem other than like first. And then sometimes no, I second do, and I third. I do some some weird stuff. I do a lot of like press the buttons. I've also bought a lot of the emotes. Oh, you've been getting the emotes with channel points? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Got him. Ooh woo. There you go. That's Atta that boy. yeah. That's what I'm going for. Debase yourself further. <laughs> Fuck off. Um okay, so <laughs> Eros, because, um, especially when he's, <laughs> okay, so, um, no, in order, Eros, when he is part of the stream, he definitely keeps it up on his phone to, um, like, so monitor, monitor chat. chat, um, I'm, you're not, oh, you're not subbed. No. I don't think. You do get a uh, lot more. It's like one and a half times channel points. Okay. Yeah, that would, that would probably and be part of it. And also, yes. Well, uh, you say phone is mildly glitchy on the points. It's just mildly glitchy on everything. <laughs> it's just mildly glitchy in general. Yeah. Uh, the Twitch app for phone is not very good. No, it, it's not. That's what I use. It gets the job done. Okay, 1.2k or 1.2 times points. Oh, okay. Cool. I honestly haven't really looked into it that much, so I'm not familiar with the math. Thank you for that. And, uh... I'm not familiar with math in general. Nobody? I did it because it was redeemed. That is the only reason why. And because it's kind of funny. It is. <laughs> that is the only other reason why. The only thing that is only a little bit better than hearing you do it is watching everyone's else reaction to it. Honestly, yeah. I I thrive Oof. off chaos, so if you don't want something to happen, tough shit, it's probably going to. Okay, but Eros, what is that redeem? Is that like a um end stream redeem? Because multi-million point redeems are fucking insane. And they're normally the I got bullied into making this redeem, but I don't want it to happen. Um, so kind of like Kokola, if you know, um, has a sing on stream redeem. And that is one that she does not want to happen, so it's very high priced. Oh. So every time someone redeems it, the price goes up and it's become a permanent. Oh, God, that's, that's dangerous. <laughs> God damn it. But however will I afford all the oohs? All the oohs. I don't have that set to automatically go up. Not it's a yet, different one. If you do. Uh yeah, no, that is definitely Oof. Yeah, just let well, although for that many points, that is some dedication. At at least at this point. 
to become a mod. So there's a decent chance that anyone who can afford that many points and is willing to do that to become a mod might not be a half mad, half bad mod. It might um, be a half mad mod, but it won't be a half bad mod. Oh yeah, they're going to be a fucking like insane mod, but they might not be bad. Indeed. It took three years to update Jesus. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, I'll be honest. Hey, Kev! Is it time? Very well. Um. Alright, well, we're almost back to where we start, and you're Deal. Set up for success this time. Yes, I am. Oh, he let. Okay, well, that's why he let chat pick it. Jesus. Um, I recognize your name. I don't remember where I recognize it from. I just know we've interacted in someone's chat before. But if you know dairy free chocolate milk, you probably know his story of he got hit up after like two or three years by Twitch had to change his name because it was what it was before was dairy free cock milk <laughs> and it took forever and they finally told him to change it and all of us were heartbroken <laughs> i'm heartbroken just hearing about it i don't even know who that person is right i mean you've it's a shame really. you may have seen him come into chat occasionally dairy uh maybe yeah Okay, so then in that case, it's kind of fitting for his chat. With chat, ooh, okay, that's dangerous. Well, Kriegs, if we're in a good stopping point. We are as good as ever, because neither of us are at war. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, hey, Republic of Ukraine. Nice. Ukraine is free. Good. Good. I still can't believe the provisional government is doing this poorly. Like, yeah. this is embarrassing. They were doing a lot better last time. They were. All right. I will do the official lurking this time. <laughs> the official lurking? I'm assuming that's exclamation point lurk. Yes, that is. Okay. It is not required, but it, you know... Most of the time for people popping in and out, it lets me know that they're lurking. <laughs> Have fun. Well, I, I shall. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. So first things first, let's get ourselves swapped over in Discord. Damn it. I have to move this now this is the issue with having something be always on top come on there we go yes go over there the same card right boo you have the EVGA one I don't have the EVGA one I got the shit ass one hey Dom hello oh yeah cause you wanted to sell it to me and I was like no the EVGA is the best one <laughs> yes I remember yeah. Cause I bought mine at the worst possible time. Yeah, I didn't, and I basically like stole my car yes, because it's still seven hundred and forty brand fun. new on Amazon. Nice. What was that Dom? Nothing. Oh, don't worry about it. Talking to us, chat, yo. Uh, yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask what that was. Oh. <clears throat> So also, I think if Kevin hadn't got married and had kids, he would have ended up being like, uh, oh, fuck, Jesse from Breaking Bad. Oh, Sometimes Jesus. you say stuff, Kevin, and that's who I think of. Really? <laughs> not not the doing meth stuff, but just the... <laughs> not the, the doing yo, meth stuff, hey, man, just yo. the <laughs> communication. <laughs> Lady, yes, you can collect it if you like. Um, <laughs> so I do have to warn you guys. Um, <laughs> I, I, us of what? <laughs> I have a new redeem 
that I will not be muting myself for. And uh, <clears throat> that's about all I'm going to say on the matter. I You'll can't know use it. it for another six minutes. <laughs> oh, so you know what it is then. Is it the uwu one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I was convinced, and it didn't take much convincing um, to make that a new redeem. Also, nobody says, hi, Charlie. Hi, Kev. Hello, nobody. At first, I thought you were just saying, like, no one gives a shit about us. I know. I was like, right? oh, they, <laughs> they don't fucking care about us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're here every week, but screw us. <laughs> no, nobody knows you guys by this point because he's here every week, and so are you guys. Oh. oh. All right. Greeks, I'm glad you enjoyed the I description. Character. Yeah, so I think you have to go. Maybe you have to start a new game. I was curious if it's just going to prompt you if you try and join me. Um, okay, so what's the play here? Am I bringing in a leveled character? Are we starting fresh? Starting fresh, I think, right? Yeah, I'd be down for fresh. I'm currently level two because I just did the first little thing, but other than that, oh, I'm waiting perfect. to like, finish it off. Um, actually, who are you guys playing? I am. Clyde, Clint, Kebab. Idea. You have who? Where's my social? They changed the way all this fucking works. It looks much nicer, but it does look very good. Your character pending, so I'll just wait for you to make your character join on you. I'm joining on Charlie without a character, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm Zane. Oh. You're Zane. Okay. Well, that works out because. Okay. What the hell is that? God damn, Charlie. You're <laughs> breathing in your mic like crazy. Oh, I am? <laughs> yeah. You just sent us through a wind tunnel, man. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> bad, I'll adjust this a little. <laughs> and apparently my stream's getting choppy as hell. Chop, chop. Oops. Which one right. did you say you are, Charlie? Zane. Operative. The operative. Okay. Yeah. Oh, probably because my CPU is at 100%. What is eating all of my CB CPU? Do you know the game in the background? Pretty sure I closed it. Yeah, no, I closed it. Um, <clears throat> well, I can tell you right now, Razer Synapse isn't helping. It never does, but it's just being particularly unhelpful right now. Look at that. I closed Razer Synapse, and I'm jumping between 50 and 60% now. <sighs> Holy crap. Maybe Razor Snaps is to claim blame when my game is really like shit. You what? So maybe Razor Snaps is to blame when my games run like shit. It's also possible. Holy fuck. Also, apparently OBS is deciding to take 80 to 90% of my GPU for video encoding. Yeah, I'm just gonna go options and turn the visuals down a little bit. <laughs> I think. Oh, all of this has to be custom set. Fine. No, go to the next tab. Next one, does this have... Oh, yes, okay, I don't need it on ultra. Yeah, there you Could... go. I... I'll put it on medium. See what that gets me. Port. Oh, no, I don't Burst their animal companions and special skills to feed on the nightmares. So I'm going to go Beastmaster. Do it. Nice. That's the other one I was thinking of. All right. I'm going to hope that, that stabilizes it. If need be, I can turn stuff down later. Lady, I don't know how to turn my mom down, okay? Oh, skip tutorial. There we go. I'm sure that'll not bite me in the ass later. <laughs> nah. Holy sensitivity. What is happening? Oh. Alright, and I'm... Here we go. Wokeness is happening. The game is too oh, woke. It's too sensitive. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this snowflake game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A covert okay, cool. 
So I have a Moe's at level... That was... Okay, whatever. I'm coming in with Moe's at level 8. <laughs> okay. And, uh, lady, I'm sure you do. All that I ask is that you give her a good time, you know? Also, I, uh... It gave you the option of loot style, which was the original loot style where it's like somewhat competitive, right? Like if I drop something or someone drops something, somebody else can just take it. Yeah. Which or the there's also the instanced one. So. Yeah, where everyone gets their own copy of the loot, which sounds dumb. Oh, All I agree. Guys and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can also just like share weapons if someone has something they don't want. That oh, is true, yeah. Though you can do that with instant loot as well. You can drop oh, it and okay. they can pick it up. Yeah, like Diablo style. You hear the, you can only see it, but then once you drop it, everyone in the party can see it. Oh, okay. Here are some guns. Yeah. I have extra. You have extra. Whoa, you're a oh, skeleton. Yeah. I don't have yeah, any in my inventory, like but I don't need them. How do you change your skin? Uh, there's a. Very carefully. Change on the tutorial, man. <laughs> There's a thing at back at the start. We'll go back there. Oh, that's right. The, the All right, yeah, I think this is on the wall thing. Yes. I revived him. Wow, I did it. What's my, what's my punch button? Is there a punch button? Oh, there it is. I really yeah, should have done a tutorial. It, it put, are you on mouse and keyboard? Yeah, the V. Yeah. So weird. What is the default? V. v? As no, in Victor. Dumb. I don't know, I like My it. Mouse. It's easy to yeah, change for This sure. bitch. Are we fighting a boss right now? No, she's a, in our head. Oh. Final boss is even fighter cleavage. She <laughs> That's a hard boss, dude. <laughs> okay, good. My reload is still set. She's in our head. One. What do you want about? She's standing right here. Well, she shows up other places. Right here. Here's. Well, the cult's this destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold. Green gun. This will have to do for Yoink. now. <laughs> so what's your name? Oh, you're good. I'm technically the highest level character here, so I don't need it. <laughs> An inventory tutorial. Skip. Yeah, about that. That's the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously. This is Scott Pilgrim, right? Yeah, he's talking about his email. He's like, this is, this is, this is boring. You see, she may be in our head, but I'm on her head. For just a split second. Let me know when you're ready. Backwards. What'd she say? Let me know when you're ready. Oh, hey, do you want to do your skin? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> Did you want to do your skin? It's not here, but. How far are we actually go back pretty far? We have to go back over this ridge. Not right here. No, that's a checkpoint, if I remember right. <laughs> oh, wait, equip grenade mod to not do that. Yeah, it's back over here. Can you dash your weapon in this game? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think you can stash your weapon. It up so much of my screen when I'm just running around. You have a big weapon then, don't you? Ooh, Charlie gave me like a sniper rifle. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's next to shield thing too. And then that, yeah, that many machine. Oh, it's just great. <laughs> Alright, now I need key bindings. You don't need key bindings, they come pre installed. Mm, they're shit. <laughs> they come installed badly. Yeah. But they do come installed. Oh my god. I can't put two on there, that's like. No, okay. I am going Saint of Iron with her because she is splody. She goes splody splode. Then, don't, don't worry about that one, lady. Oh, oh shit! You're right there. Well, I really need to add a sound alert to that. <clears throat> Ooh. -woo. 
<laughs> Seriously does need a sound alert cuz uh I almost completely missed that. No, there there was only one. If you want another one, you got to pay for All it. All right, now I look fucking awesome. It's got pockets. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you look oh. kind of like a... Oh, hey, take, you can take the shield and equip it. Uh, the zipline guy from Apex Legends. Oh, like Pathfinder? Pathfinder? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's go do some shit. Yes, I think we have to all the way back to the lady. Equip the grenade thing and then talk to her. Bye, Dom. Oh, hello, Dom. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Suckers, you running? Slide. Nah, nobody. Last time you said you didn't like it. what I can do for you. I'll give you your points back. There. So now you didn't lose out on any points for a redeem that you didn't hear. Nope. More CLV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's too many of them. Too Why can't I throw my grenades? It's G. I am. I you hit the grenade it. button. Oops. No. I rebound it, but it's not working. Oh my god, who needs frames anyways? Jesus Christ. Uh, is there an in game FPS? Yes. Probably. Where is that? Uh, uh options. Fuck if I know. Is still under visuals? Advanced display stats. Under. Under visual, yeah. Advanced. Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah, display stats. Oh. Oh. 80 is not bad, I guess. Yeah, it's about what I get. Did I level up? Why am I unlocking I get, a skill? Nice. I get two thousand right, FPS. What are you football. talking about? Maybe things are turning our way. You are playing on uh, well, a with future me. GPU. Let me it's like cloud gaming connected to twenty thirty five. I don't even have a GPU way. installed. I'm just using the onboard one. I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. I don't we believe you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> why is the button locked? Don't you have the water cooled one? On the map, I, I do not have the water cooled one. Oh, I thought you ended up with the water cooled one. Murder each other for fun. Now they're all under one banner. A cult. The children of the vault. All right, fuck this. What is this? All right. Come on, let's take She's a look around. She's taking us somewhere. Their leaders are the Calypso twins, and their followers worship them like gods. Yeah, there's too many skills. I looked at it. Skip the tutorial, the tutorial and now I'm lost. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good amount of skills. I have a skill thing. Yeah, there's like, there's so out. many buttons. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good game, though. Perfect. Oh, I only have this. I see. Right. What do we have here? Is unlock okay, action out. skill. Ooh. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, you can only unlock one of them. It's just the top. The but it says it's equipped. The map. We knew it. We have to beat them to the Sun Smashers. Yeah. That's cute. Come on, 
This way. It's a very cute little pistol you have. It is a cute pistol. It's got a dope ass scope. It's my sniper <laughs> pistol. Um, both my sniper rifle and my assault rifle have sniper scopes on them. That seems. Oh, do you, as the party leader, short have to do this? That seems what? I say short sided. What do you want to be? Yeah, I know, I know. It's not short sighted. Do I have to do this? Oh, Very I long sighted. Fucking menu. What? You guys don't have a mm -hmm. menu over there. Goddamn, down my side. Are you gonna start this or what? I'm trying. <laughs> I see you both. <laughs> also, I fixed my grenade button. That's the beauty. The beauty of this game is you can cancel this That'd shit. Be a mass fucking troll. <laughs> Pretty sure this but game this is founded is... on being a troll. Press tab or pause to cancel. What the fuck is the pause button? <laughs> Maybe it's the actual pause button on a keyboard. Um, that, does your system... keyboard have a pause button? Yeah, like that's like a default key on keyboard. It's literally never there... used for anything, but there's a pause yeah, button. Yeah, I don't remember where it is. <laughs> pause button. Hold on, hold on. Who's the skeleton? It's probably on your numpad. Apparently it's a skeleton. I don't have a numpad. Okay, well, I have a super condensed. I only have a page up, page down at home. Oh, yeah. Just so you know, apparently that skeleton is thick with two C's. Maybe. Ammo dub. She's not. It's just Why flavor text. Saying... saying what? It's just, it's just infinitely telling me action skill unlocked, but it won't let me do anything. Uh, did you... you equipped it, yeah? So, at the very top, the, like, you switch around to where it's like zero, one, you know, zero out of five, you can't use those, you have to use the one up top. Oh, okay, so I equipped a different one, I see now. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, so you can just go through and change what skill you have, whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, you can swap You can these. change that shit all the time. Cool. So now I've got a <clears throat> fucking cannon on my fucking arm shoulder. That's cool. Aw, that's cute. Hey, man. All my shit. Oh. You don't figure it out. <laughs> Eat a touch pet. I have a pet. Nice. There's yeah, you do. You're actually, your pets are very useful to have. Oops, I'm accidentally buying things. Why is the E key to do everything in this game? Oh. Alright, I need to figure out how the what button what is to use these again. I'm gonna buy this cool shield. That's purple. Ooh, nice. Purple shield. What did I buy? Uh, cloning jump shot compact grenade. Oh, apparently the pet's also nameable. Wait, what? You can name your pet. Whoever's saying I can do that, how the hell do I do that? Uh, Kriegs, how do you do that? Here's a blue shield. You probably want Kevin. Yeah! Nice! You, you have a shit. cannon on your arm? I have this. Oh, I'm all out of shots. Time just to level 8. Put your big dick away. I will not. Uh, in the skulls menu or the color and outfit designer. You can't remember which. Oh, so at the... One of those... Those dudes... Those dudes got it. Does your pet stay out forever? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, nice. Aww, little spiky hearts. <laughs> Wait, so I have to issue a command to my pet, but that also fucking throws my ability. Why are the controls of this game shit? What? Weird. That's a little weird. Right, Was it a console port? 
Uh, I would imagine so. I think the original Borderlands was, and they probably are just using the same shitty control engine. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense then. So what's this? Uh, where are we going? Going? Oh, yes, right sir. here. There's Straight? a... There's a no, right here, there's a exclamation mark. My oh. vending machine is broken? So what's the vending machine machine How do I use my second one? Gah, how am I okay. supposed to profit off this war torn? Oh, these, I mean, okay, those are the weapons. Okay. Okay. Let's fix my vending right, machine. Fast track. And by that I mean, you fix it. Oh, because this one's like more open world. Yeah, yes, so this is very want, open right? world. That's not what I want. See, that throws. Oh, okay, so if I hold F, then I'll tell it to do that. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Fucking reload. You can also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work. Oh, that's Charlie. Is that your thing flying? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. I tried to shoot it. <laughs> you. Where are these coming from? I don't know. There's probably a nest over here that we have to kill. Probably, yeah. The ammo. Okay, or not, we just have to kill enough of them, I guess. So we can get a car over here. What does this dude want us to do? Where's our quests? What Wait, is this? Top right, top right corner, if you hit the. You can scroll through with the square brackets. Wow, well, I get have... a lot of fuel for this. Mine is CNC. I don't know oh, why there's really? square brackets. Are you in a menu or are you in the main screen? Oh, if I hit C, C's oh, my character fire mode on your gun. Oops. What the fuck? What? I, I changed some keys and now it's changing the key bias made things worse. <laughs> uh, we're wanting to fix his machine. We need a spine, right? Oh, okay. Probably, yeah. There we go. So I got this that. This is Borderlands. Okay, so we can't get a machine. We can't take the catcher ride yet. Yeah, you so have to. Have you have to do the mission to fix it first. We're supposed okay. to come over here. Can you? S what objectives do you have open right now? I just switched to powerful connection. So collect human spine and skag. Yeah, human and skag. That straight killing shit gives you XP, right? Yeah. I leveled up more by the skags. Oh, I see it at the bottom. Okay. Oh, cool, I leveled up. Shock skags now! Get it spied! Go on, pick it up! Hope you don't mind handling this it up! Ah, very good! Bring it back to the machine! And be quick about it! Alright, we got the spine. Sweet! Machine is. Back heel. Yeah, you're a little pet, just like constantly shooting shit. I think I can tell him to chill out. Can I? No, it's cool. It's just like I turn around, there's just like someone I hadn't spotted yet. It's just blasted away. Did one of you guys pick that up? Uh, I don't have it. Kevin, did you pick it up? I didn't even go in there, dude. 
I think you, I thought I saw you pick it up, Dom. Yeah, I thought I did too. It's not prompting me over here. No, it says use. Use, yeah, use the skag spine. Where? On the machine. It's not prompting me for anything. Which is strange. Do we have to get the human spine as well? Use them together? We might need both Maybe? of them at the same time. I don't know. Yeah, we might need to just get far away. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit. Probably we pick up this quest while we're here. Ellie's garage. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. I have different pets. Emma okay. Dump. Uh... That's 138 and a 410. I don't want to use skill points yet. I want to fuck around with these for a minute. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing too. Holy crap. Are you that's headed a... towards the other one, Charlie? Big fucking radius. I kind of want that. I was going to. I was hoping to enable the Ellis. Whatever you need to get the catcher ride, but I don't think so. So yeah, I'm running towards the other one. My grenade has a blast radius of 547 now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's meters, that sounds big. I mean, even if it's feet, that's pretty fucking big. Yeah, but right. this is not very big. Did you create a clone of yourself that big? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna find out how big it is. And it fights. And I, can I think I can teleport back to it. Yeah. You can, yeah. Oh, wait. We're going the wrong way. Of course we are. We oh, yeah, because it's in here. Oh. That's the fun thing about this game. You're almost always just going the wrong way. <laughs> what is this countdown noise I'm hearing? Oh, it's the until what? my skill comes back. I just start hearing this like, dink, dink, oh. dink, the goes counting down. <laughs> oh, there's a... Uh... You have to like, touch those, or do they just go off? That's the Sun Smasher's camp, but it looks like the COV got there first. Don't let them leave with the map, killer. Oh, we're not even going towards the human body. Oh, no, we are. We just have to do both of them. Scare behind you. Just try to smash his face. The human spy. You fit right in on Pandora. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> I like that grenade. I haven't used mine yet. I don't even know what it does. Oh. Did you just use it and find out what it does? Uh, it's more of a distraction technique. You can get things that make it better. So, like, it'll start throwing grenades and shit. So, you get a lot of good options for it. I didn't drop much. A bunch of cash, right? No, there was no cash in there. <laughs> <Just a hit. laughs> the 
What's that? Oh, it's the grenades and ammo and shit. I do kind of like this sniper. Die screaming anyways? Fine by me. Oh, you have lead just for me? Where? I like lead. Uh, I don't want to help you. I've met you before. You're a fucking creep. No. Nope. I can't hear you. Eh, we'll find him eventually. Alright. Apparently my inventory is full. You guys are with there. I was. Uh, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good enough for me. Fuck you. Wait. What? Oh my dude. Who's dude? Your dude? Oh, yes, they can. Where's this dude who's shouting at us? He's, like, tied up somewhere or some shit. You no, you wouldn't. If, if you were, if you were in trouble. You're fucking creepy and disturbing. Sounds wickedly convincing. I'd totally help you. Right. Oh, you see, we're here, I think. Save me! Hello? In this building, right? Somebody help me! Wait, did we get the Nope. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yes, I picked up the skull. See? Okay. He's creepy and disturbing, and I don't like this guy. He's also kind of annoying. Looks like Jesus. Yo. In his underwear and, like, crazy-ass abs? That does yeah. look like Jesus. Guys, this is not funny. Yay, Vaughn. No, not yay, Vaughn. You like that, don't you? I might be dead. I think it's great. I worked with the Crimson Raiders. I was like, it's been quiet for a while. That's got to be back up. Oh, it was. Most definitely was. Oh, man, I used to run with Lilith back in the day. You know, no, I'm a bear. Kriegs, why is that a boo? Go Sun Smashers. I mean, at least I. Why are you booing that? That was a great oo woo. You know, my clan found that stupid alien junk. I warned them not to mess with that crap. But what do they do? They tie me up and they take it to the Calypso twins. Not cool, bro. Z well, we should probably get out of here before the COV come back. So yes, let's move. Where are Lilith and the Raiders hanging these days? My heart. What do you mean my heart COV wasn't in it? It's, uh, my heart was very much in it. No, no, it wasn't. I can tell. Oh my <laughs> God! Fuck off! On, let's get out of here. Don't take Cree's <laughs> side. <laughs> Give me, the, give me the next wee woo. The next wee woo. Yeah. Wee woo, wee woo. No, no, no. Next time it comes up, I will take the wee woo for you and show you how. You it's will really take done. it. I mean, if that is uh, not against the, your rules, you can just do it right now too. Show no. me how it's done, so that way next time it comes up, I know how to do it. I'll do it for free. Someone's got to cash in magical internet points to get me to do it. Someone's got to cash in the points that you didn't give them and you get no benefit from? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this is capitalism. It's capitalism. <laughs> I don't have to benefit, but somebody does. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Fair. You demand a refund or... You, you didn't do it. You didn't spend any points. You don't get a refund for that. All right, so... That's not how refunds work. Back. Oh, wait, we have to speak to Vaughn. Are we following him? I don't know. Shit. Uh, 
shit, where'd he go? I wasn't paying attention. He's still right. in that room. I don't think no, he even I'm... left. Probably not. Just do that. I'm gonna hang out out here and loot. Alright. You're the advocate? I speak for the trees. Okay. Okay. So, you took over that COV propaganda center all by your widow self? They have me outnumbered 20 yes, to 1. Yes, all by my widow uh, self. Odds for them. There we I go. I'm impressed. Now we follow oh, the Von wow, Meister. The children of the vault totally trashed my camp. Wait, that is not where that booty skull should be. I'm struggling so hard to hear the game, and I forgot because, like, I was playing WoW, so I had the game turned down to 25 percent. The game's also fair. Like, it gets erratically loud at parts, so I like turned it down, and it's too quiet. Are you talking to him? Or what? What are we doing? We're following him. him. I'm trying to change Let's my key mining now. It's clear the area of Skags, which was the area we just cleared to get the Skag spine. <laughs> oh, where'd you guys go? I'm I'm escorting him. Just follow the waypoint, basically. We're heading back to the. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. There are rules. There are rules to being a bandit. Damn it. Damn, dude. This fucking. Pet is clunky as hell. He just like falls off of shit. Alright, cool. I got my grenade. Map to the butt. Got melee. And. I got almost 2,000 Wait. bucks. Oh, I apparently have full ammo. Oh, sweet digs. Yeah. Well, yeah, have you tried changing the fire mode on your weapons yet, Kevin? You got yourself a nice cozy uh, place here, friend. So it's C by default. Oh, a bunch of them like have random like here? my pistols have both had rockets hey, for some reason. Oh nice. Oh nice. yeah, nice. I did that on accident on the pistol. I still can't fix this machine. The Raiders will take all the help we can get. Yeah. Did you find the map? Use human spine is says it's all that's left. Yeah, Dom, can you do it? Just pick it up by chance. Why are you shooting, my dude? I don't hurt it. Oh, he's dead. I don't <laughs> have so anything. <laughs> Why can't we use this? Um, I don't know. Where's the dude, bro? Are we supposed to use it somewhere else? I don't know. Let's go talk to the dude, bro, and see what's up, but I don't know where he's at. Wait, here we go. I thought we do this. Yep. <laughs> Okay, now install the spine. Oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> that bandit spine's not actually gonna work. <laughs> I just wanted some payback because those bastards broke my machine. Still, I appreciate your dedication to capitalism. <laughs> You've already got a shock skag spine. Try that. It will work much better, I promise. Well there we done, go. Vault Hunter. Now you have access to my vast Ooh. array of murderous wares in a new convenient location. Sweet. And as an added thank you for dishing mm. out some vengeance on those filthy bits. I'm gonna sell some shit off. I my secret stash for you. Who says payback doesn't pay, huh? Payback always pays. Another victory Oops. for capitalism. Another victory for capitalism. Fuck you, I'm the best negotiator there is. Alright. Wow, that doesn't even... That's not even better than any of the weapons I already have. That was a mistake. No, the mistake was you guys not walking into the secret stash. Was there a secret stash? Ah! Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck you! It, it's right next to you guys. You opened up a hole in the floor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So his personal wares that he gave us access to. Yeah. Yeah, and it's first come first serve, so you got to be quick. Here, let or me, else uh, you don't let get me anything. sort through my stuff, and then I might drop a few things. Actually, it's like pretty much all grenade mods here. Oh, well, in that case, you can keep them. I have no use for grenade mods because you can't. You <clears throat> actually, actually, you know how it should be. What's your What's your highest 
uh, item scorer weapon right now? Uh, I guess 110. Eh, I guess you can have this. You're allowed to have that if you want it. What is this, a Marcus bobble? No, turn around. Or right, actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Come with me. Hang on, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm Kev, doing come here. and dropping. Pick that up. <laughs> okay, Charlie. <laughs> What'd you get? Nothing, don't worry about it. Yeah. He, he got his own secret stash. Ooh, my grenades teleport where they're going. And where did it go? It's that flashing red light there. Do I control when it blows up? Oh, oh I see. It took a while. Damage 9. Can you compare? Um... Yes. So there should be, like, on the bottom of the screen, there's the keys, basically, for what you can do. It should be in there somewhere. You should be able to compare. I'm pretty sure you can compare. Right, I'm going to talk to Lola. Get this shit going. Also, why are you using grenades? Ooh, oh. Charlie. Charlie's the operative. Meaning Yeah, I don't know what that Meaning as the operative you can you can have two action skills. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So using that grenades is, is kind of a waste of operative abilities. Yeah, I might as well use Because you can have two um, I'm gonna change that then. So here, there's this one. I have two. I have rain contact grenade, which launches up and fires three grenades down around it. And then the nice. Widowmaker, which is, it teleports yeah. and it has a radius of 512. Nice. But it seems to take forever to blow up. <sighs> I need more skill points. So I can get more skills. I don't know why this. I can't move this thing over. Oh, there we go, finally. What does this do? But I picked myself up a bandit souvenir. Mm, okay, direct hit damage. Here, uh, take uh, these grenades. That alien junk, my clan is bringing it to the Calypso twins as an offering. They're heading to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's where the Calypso's host murder sermon. Oh shit! They want to drop followers. all that stuff. Murder sermons. Let the Calypsos get that map. I'm intrigued. The broadcast center is a long ride. Vault Hunter, you're gonna need some wheels. Damn straight. My friend Ellie runs the catch a ride. Go introduce yourself. This is where we up. get the wheels. <laughs> so, oh, we have another quest over here. How do I put my second one? I lit Here myself on fire, but that's fine. We need to find Claptrap and Nuo in Anna while we're out and about. Oh, we find a lot of new shit for Claptrap. I will assist you. What the fuck? Yes! I'm gonna be bigger and badder than ever! But this is an important fashion decision. Bring this me not Ellie's? Oh, Ellie's is back here. Course, up here, right? Yeah! Mind me! What'd you say you was gonna do to my Fucking gal, Ellie. Khalil? God Queen Tyrene will drink soup from the skull of the great heretic! I also love those guys. Right? <laughs> oh, howdy! Didn't see you there. <laughs> Desert Rose thorny for rockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember playing the first one in college, I and then for the longest time, too. having a friend Good who would just go, like, well, anytime you like getting a ride, so we're like, I'm gonna get a ride, just go, Ellie. catch a ride! Well, you stern at, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're sturdy. It'd take an army to knock you down. 
Ain't you a heartbreaker? Lil said you was looking for a vehicle. Damn cultists stole all mine. Mind stealing me one back? Then I'll set you up with a catch a ride. With the catch a ride. <clears throat> so now we get to go steal a vehicle. Extra money if you hijack it. So I'm trying to figure out what, how I should play Zane. It seems like up close might be the way to play him. I mean, you can play him a lot of ways. I played him as a sniper. Uh, the main thing you want to do is like chaos and confusion, because you're a trickster, you're an operative, you're fucking James Bond. Yeah, because I was looking, it's like I can do like after a kill I move faster, or I can uh, like get a kill and then you can do a run and gun. Um, you've got run and gun. You've got support sniper. I did a support sniper so I could throw down shields and all of that shit to support the team. Um, you've got, honestly, just a ridiculous amount of options for how you play Zane. It's amazing. Oh, really? I didn't pick that up, Kriegs. She's Moxie's daughter? Am I going the right way to get you guys? I don't know which way you're going, but you're missing out on some sweet loot. No, Charlie. Shit. You go through her shop. Oh, shit, okay. And then I count the back door and to the left. You know, we should be... Should be what? We should be playing this like I loaded up. Hey, jump in the gun. You do what you have to. We'll do the quest without you. Stuck. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't go that way, can we? That's me. Pin him! Yeah. Who is he talking to? Must be talking to Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Did we kill them all? Hell yeah. yeah. We can return Just... now and unlock the catch ride, except Just Charlie won't. There, I should also get it. Nope. You didn't go get a car like the mission was. You don't <laughs> get the catch ride. I don't think that's the case. No, that's... you're the one that put it on uh, not instanced. No, I guess it now says use catch ride. So I quest I still get. <laughs> that'd be super shit if it was the other way around. No, that'd be amazing. Oh, nice. I have heavy. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I have some of the good shit with this. All right, primary color, black. Secondary color, dark red. Tertiary color, <laughs> also black. black. Secondary color, black. Tertiary color, black. No, it's black, red, black. Well, black, dark, red, black. Uh, Krieg, Zane doesn't have a dog. That's the beast master, not the operative. Dump on dump truck. The what? The holy dump truck. 
dump on dump truck. Why are we dumping on the dump truck? New hole or two or seven. We just got a fucking rocket launcher. That said, might be right to just go ahead and shoot him in the ass. That'll send a lesson to the other bandits not to mess with the raiders. I have the heavy armor and uh, check out my boost. Crash into me. My boost oh. has the laser wings. Q changes weapons. Or changes seats. That's cool. Right? So I can kill people with this. Alright. Onwards. Yeah, Kriegs, you had Zane set up a little more run and gun. Dump on dump truck. Dump on truck, okay. I got a splatter there. How do we get the store open? Uh pretty sure you have to go around. I vaguely remember doing this one. Go around on foot. Oh yeah, Dom's at it right now. Oh, okay. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Shred that soldier! Fuck you, I was trying to get it. I can practically smell a some bitch. Oh. You're Wait dumb. up, Tom. Come here, you filthy head. Make sure you shoot him in the ass before he dies. Do you know who I am? I am Moe's. I did a sweet jump. <laughs> I'm just rockets out right now. <laughs> Hold on, who has the purple one? The purple one. Purple. Vehicle? Me, I think. Ah, I oh, like shit. it. That really hurts. Oh, is there a button to heal? Oh, there's your shield that you have to pick stuff up. Oh, okay. I think if, I forgot I have a shield that also helps us, maybe? I'm running him for a second. Oh, I found it. You found it? How about you stop making me flinch like that, you asswipe? Oh, you're down. Yeah. I guess I'll come save you. Uh, I oh, shot him in nice. the ass like so many times. Oh, I just didn't say it didn't take him. Yeah, because he like turns around and shakes his ass at you like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you up top? Well, I can't even see you. Yeah, pretty sure he's up top. Uh, no, totally not up top. Oh, you're up top getting all the sweet loot, huh? Wasn't me. Don't know what you're talking about. Dump truck stash is probably behind a secret trap door. Might need to do something special to get it open. Oh, there's this so cable special. here that's in this water. Here, what did I get off of him though? I picked up something. Uh, you're, are you doing?
moving up close, Charlie? Is that what you're wanting to do? Yeah, I want to get a shotgun and stuff. So I here. Find it. How do I drop it? Uh, I it's Q in the inventory. Ooh, that was cool. Thank you. Yeah. And then, Dom, I don't know what you're doing, but there's a sniper. Thank you. Uh, and then I didn't even look at it, I just took it. There's some green shields. Oh, there's a divine. Either of you need anything. Do I need it? No. Oh, I see. Does Charlie need it? Probably. Am I gonna give it to Charlie? Also, no. Hold down. Look at that. That's called a red chest in bandit speak. Probably because of blood or something. Oh, did you find it? Are happier about blood than a tick on a skag's ass. Anyway, yeah. you're always more likely to find good stuff in them red Where? chests. They're usually hidden pretty good. I just went down. So have to oh, really I see. Loot. Oh yeah. Whatever, I got the school shotgun. Although, how'd you guys get in there? Dropped in the hole. No, oh, I missed the hole. Can you open <laughs> the hole? Nerd, you missed the how loot too. By the way, uh, did you get all the loot you wanted out of this room? I'll share with you. Yeah, I did. All right, cool. Let's get to our um, trucks and go. What did I just throw? Big pen. Oh. You should uh, get your truck. Oh. Yeah. Fuck you, gonna blow up my truck? <laughs> I already did! Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, fine. Kev, if you need a ride, you can. Okay, you got there. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to leave him stuck on foot <laughs> since we're playing that game. Where are we? Oh, okay, we're just back to the. Yeah. Ooh. Twenty pack or eighteen pair of minutes. mess with my sun smasher, we have got a blood feud on our hands. Which would be awesome. Oh, been a while since I got a good old fashioned blood feud going. Four and oh, baby. Yo, my car, you bitch. There you go, fire. Why do I see so Dom? I see Dom show up on my map from like forever away. Like I see his name tag and shit. But I don't see you. Weird. I don't know. Get good, I guess. <laughs> no, I think Kevin's in secret mode. Am I? Can I do that? I have no idea if it's a thing. I don't think it's actually a thing, but oh, I like I the idea. I and then stuff came out. Whoops. So when you're just in the passenger, this thing's got like a major zoom on it. Oh, yeah. That thing must be bugged up there. The moon? Are we supposed to go back? There's another... Dude, I have no idea. Charlie, your passenger, you navigate. Pull up the map and let us know. So... There's another quest right by us. Yeah, let's just keep going forward. That's fine. Right here. There's another quest, right? Where? Yeah. Oh, and there's a vehicle station here. Yeah. Hells yeah. That's the only reason I was wanting to get out. <laughs> you don't know what's in them. It's a purple shield of air. Well, there was. God damn it. <laughs> people want real skag meat and fancy toppings. Ooh, ammo dump, actually. Uh, there's some cacti fruits that'll appease the masses. Gives a spicy tang to my dogs. Okay, apparently I'm full up on ammo. Harvest some of those succulent succulents. Ooh. You get paid. Wait. Right, yes, so. Need a special gun to harvest what succulents. do I currently I call have? It I need to figure out how this weapon works. Oh, oh it's a bad guy, shit! Oh, that's a bad guy there. Yeah, I was like, I was like, how are you doing damage to me? What the fuck? <laughs> um, which you guys know about basically capturing 
right? No. No. So you can get different parts for your vehicles by capturing enemy vehicles that have them and bringing them to a catcher ride. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. It, yeah, it's how you get different parts. It just so happens the one that I took had heavy armor and the blade wings. So I started with upgrade parts with this one. At least nice. I think. Yeah. Alright, so we got a couple of quests now, right? I think so. Charlie here. Let's see if you uh, want that. Yes, please. Damn it. Although we're g gaining on Dom, I think, right? Yeah, I will, I will but soon one more level, I'll want that. Alright, so should we go do the Undertaker, kill, kill that dude? Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Actually, can I see real quick? I'm just curious if we can just see all the ones that are nearby. No, that'd be way too convenient. Yeah, that would be way too convenient. Why would you ever ask for such a thing? Oops. <laughs> Whoops. We're not too far, so we'll go. Fuck those flying things. Who doesn't love driving in a game with keyboard yeah. and mouse? Honestly, I don't mind it. I hate it. There's a barrier we can just stand behind. This shotgun is weird. What was that about having a badass shotgun and not needing loot? It's a weird shotgun. <laughs> no shit, I got fucked up. <laughs> yes, bumpy cars. I need help. I got you covered. Thank you. Oh, there's a turret. That's what killed me. Goodbye, Turret's down. Cool. Where are you at? See, I can't, like tell you are ever. Me? It is hard to tell, like, you're friendly for some reason. Leave me alone! Cost me 245 bucks to revive. I can see both of you on the map all the time, so I don't... I can see you on the map, but you don't, like, your name tag doesn't show up with anything. Really? Weak. You don't need to hide oh, that shit. That's you. Okay. So yeah, like I can't. Well, okay. I, I have the outfit. I have the outfit that makes me look like you know. Wait. I really can't see name tags. No, I can't. I don't have name tags either. I just know who I my friends are. Because I'm a good name. sniper I can support. See, I can see both of your names over your characters. I must have hit a button to turn that off. <laughs> I think it's... Oh, I don't know, because I don't have it on. I've never had it on. Um, and I don't know why the tiny dudes are shooting at us, other than they're bad guys and enemies. They're psycho raiders, is why. Um, so I will say... If you guys want to play nice with the loot, um, I can provide sniper support because both my weapons are set up for really good long range. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all for. <laughs> Deal. So my guns I have are so weird. So check out. This is my shotgun. Hold on. Where are you? So oh. it's very slow. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, so that... This is my sniper similar concept. If I change the type, it does the same thing, but shock. Oh, I forgot about changing my shot. I probably didn't have my... No, but see, mine's... Yours is fast, though. My bullets, like... Yeah, but yours ricochet. Yeah, they do. And then the other gun doesn't That reload. was the barrel. It just gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> and as Charlie. long as you keep firing, it's through, it barely it stays up. 
What? I'm being told that you don't know who your real friends are because your guns are E for everyone. <laughs> that sounds about right. It, it does, it really tracks. Okay, I need to rebind some shit. Do it. All the rebinds. Well, it's like I used to grenades in my mouse, which doesn't make sense now that grenade is my skill. Yeah. Oh. Mine is just melee. It's so weird as V. I like it because it's right above <laughs> where my thumb sits, anyways, for a uh, space bar. Oh. Nice try. Nice try, nobody. <laughs> I don't know how I want to play yet, but I have some weird ass gun. I think I want to be like. You got the Lady Lemon, though. I love you. I love you too. Aw, oh, thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> really tell him, yeah, I'm an above average friend. Tom's telling me he loves me. It's a great day. <laughs> Oh, you know, sometimes that's all you need is a little love from the boys, you know? <laughs> Let me go to the bathroom real quick. All right. I suppose that's acceptable. I have three skill points. I should probably just use them on something. Honestly, yeah. Because um, you end up getting lots of money and you can always respec that yeah. respec respec with money. So, uh, On my operative, I think I've respec like nine times because I keep wanting to make these minor changes and it just costs money which I had so much of at the time that it's like yeah whatever <laughs> See, I think I'm gonna hey to my lady it's not that faster. kind of stream <laughs> you got a job to do Realize I didn't have the juice. Yet yeah, nobody is waiting for it, apparently, so. It'll happen eventually, just not on Twitch. You'll find me on a, a different streaming service for that. Dom does OnlyFans! <laughs> I don't do OnlyFans, I do Only Doms. Don't you know? Does that mean you're the sub if you're only doing Doms? I mean, hey, it means what it means. <laughs> and I said what I said, damn it. It's a good game. Yeah, all the Borderlands have been a lot of fun. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, some games do take themselves a little too seriously, and this does the exact opposite. It takes nothing seriously. Which is, I think, part of what makes it so fucking amazing. Yes. I guess it reminds me of, like, a ridiculous, uh... Uh, this way? Where's the map? No, we're supposed to go no into idea. this. Which is a mission area, so... Oh, I'm just kidding, we're just transitioning to the other... Yeah, oh, it well, we would should be just be a travel. If somebody wasn't a giant asshole. What are you shooting me for? Bobbing. For what? Oh, are we loading into, like, a massive mission? Oh, no. God, the map is so awful. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> you can navigate with your <laughs> navigation buttons. More shit to buy! Oh, nice. 
Get all the what? loot. Cool, we can fast travel now, too. I wonder why it didn't let you join. That's weird. What? I had a free-for-all go up, and uh, it didn't let nobody join. What's a free-for-all? I have a free-for-all. Basically, it's a thousand-point pot per person. Which I've had this going that I think for long enough everyone should have at least a thousand points to uh, join in. And then, you know, the winner of the free-for-all gets the pot. But, oh, you know... channel points? Uh, it's like an alternate channel points. Ones that I can actually control and are based on the bot so I can set up unique actions and stuff like that oh okay i see you're doing it through your bot oh you only have okay um no so do bang points and that it's a different point total you probably don't have enough because i think you just came in zero yeah you uh i don't think you've been in a stream since i implemented it uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. Nah. I'd rather really monitor your stream schedule, otherwise I'd totally lurk. I mean, I ha I have a schedule posted up in uh, the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Speaking of which, anyone that wants to join my Discord, I do have one. Oh shit! <laughs> Do you wanna know the latest in uh, Discord hacks? Yes. What there, you got? Been, like, there was like eight Discord serve crypto Discord servers hacked this week. What? Uh, yeah, when I say hacked, it's like oh, it's always the same shit where some admin falls for a phishing link, and then they use that admin account to post a bunch of like phishing links <laughs> to oh other people. Oh my god. Uh, but then how it, are those? Is these things happen? And every time that happens. People get these rumors where they're like, be careful, someone can add you as a friend, and they instantly get your Discord token, which lets them, you know, take over your uh, account. And oh, people freak yeah. out about stuff. It's like, those aren't real. Like, there's ransom fucker ever. The reality is always just people fall for fishing links. Yeah, there was this thing where, you know, if you, you click on a certain gif that gets put out there they get your information it's like that's not how it works yeah it's like they get your information because they then say hey, have your information copy paste it here to find out if it's real <laughs> yeah they paste info in to yep. shit like that. yep and nobody yeah even though they can't get your information like that that's just a good call no friends until you've like you know hung out with them before fuck birds Birds aren't real. Birds aren't real, they're just government spy drones, damn it. Yep. You know, I'm just gonna keep riding with Dom, I can just annihilate shit. I mean, yeah, there's a certain beauty to being the gunner, you don't... Oh. Yeah, that's so how right. We, how do we steal this thing? You um, can you can it. get out, you, you hit me to jack it. Okay, I'll try to jack the next one. Do it. And eventually you'll come across ones um, that you look at them and you're like, oh, that's a totally different gun that I don't have unlocked. I want that one. <laughs> you blow it all up until you're like, ooh, that's a new part. I want it. Because there's a bunch of different tires, there's different armor, different weapons. So. Oh, I believe we may have to continue on foot here. Yeah, we do, but that's never stopped me from trying. <laughs> well, you gotta be cool and have old no friends. Halo style when you can just like blow up oh. the tank and just right flip yeah. it over the barrier. This mission. I remember doing this one. Mouthpiece. Oh shit! Oh, I almost fell off that. He does have a fun pointy helmet. What up, my bandit orphan? 
nice try. That's a different one, though. I actually haven't heard that one in a hot minute. Oh, oh, I want to start shooting at you guys are They brought us the sacred vault map. If that doesn't earn them a special place in the I mean, family, to be I fair, I have a sniper rifle and what is effectively a DMR. So I'm never far away from being able to reach out and touch whatever it is you're shooting at. Unless you're downhill. But now we're all family. I don't know. Are they past this crest? Oh, yeah, they are. Fine. Fair <laughs> yes. What? Oh, okay, all right, fine. Ooh, woo! Was that better? <laughs> oh no, Mr. Chew! Wait, who were we chewing? That's my dude's name. Your what name? It's my monster's name. <laughs> oh, I heard nude. And I'm like, why do you have a nude name, and why did you just say it? I don't think I want to know. Shit, I keep reloading this gun, but he just throws it up on the ground and I lose all the ammo I left in it. Yes, but it does explode. Yes. Like that. Yeah, aren't there some, games, some guns that it's like super beneficial to reload? Yeah, it gives it us extra shit. The turret's down. Nice. The purple's my turret, or my shield, so it'll protect us. And I think it gives you extra health or something? I think that's just it boosts your health as one of its perks. Oh shit. Yeah, the more ammo in those guns when you toss them, um, the bigger the, bigger the boom. Oh, cool, that's good to know. Yeah, so you don't waste the ammo as long as you treat that reload as a grenade. Gotcha. I was supposed to get faster when I killed people, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, it's very marginal. There's some weapons over here if you guys want them. Maybe. I do want that. Mr. Chu putting in some work. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, the shotgun's a little difficult to use. <laughs> okay, apparently ladies on Team Chu. Hey, Mr. Chu's great. He's fucking killing it out here. Did you guys just get money when I picked that up? Nope. Okay. I don't know, baby. I wasn't paying attention enough. No, it's... Right. Time to welcome the sun into I don't know. We'll oh, damn it. Hang on. This is like the perfect space for a, a shotgun that recoils. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Oh, okay, guys. Watch out for uh, money, because I'm going to collect a little bit. Oh, I, just, I just picked some up. Did you get me? Oh, I did, yeah. Yeah, I just got nine. Okay, okay, cool. So, so money is just free for all because it's shared. Gear is not shared. Oh, yeah. I might not have stood in the way of that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't stand in the way of that one. Got a vault thief over here. Damn. Once my shots get there, they die. Yeah, that is a very nice shotgun for you know something like this. Yeah. It only uses two rounds of ammo each time. No kidding? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty nice. Don't tell me about the monies. No, it's shared. Alright. This is shield. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it didn't last very long. My alternate fire on this gun. Oh damn, there's a bunch of guns on the ground over here. Yeah, that's what oh. the dead guy. Did you get knocked down? Yeah. 
Oops, I don't have my tank. It's a badass tank. Get fucked, psycho. What is that blue one? Oh, just, uh... Oh, it's out there fighting and we're, uh... <laughs> just <laughs> looting all this <laughs> shit off the ground. And running! Probably the wrong way. There's a 129 sniper here, no? Uh, okay. I grabbed it. I guess as long as you have room, you should grab up everything. Because you can sell this shit, Charlie. Oh, okay. I should probably just throw it on the ground. Yeah, I will keep more of that. Ooh, baby. How about you get away from me? Oh, fuck you. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, second wind did. He's the chosen one. <laughs> yeah. That is good. Totally shared. Uh, there's machines. Are they below us? Yeah, he does have a little backpack. It's amazing. Um, no, they're right up here. Ow. The buy machines? I think so, yeah. They should be right back this way. Yeah, they're over here. Oh, I found oh, a toilet. Oh, the bed. ones down below us must be from. I found a toilet full of guns, but it's not very good guns. I mean, it's still a toilet full of guns. <laughs> so. Oh, we can grab some ammo here. Whew. <laughs> All these monsters just want to fight Chew. So can you sell stuff here? Oh my yeah, god. Okay. Hey, uh... <clears throat> Charlie. Yeah. Sounds like he found some shitty weapons. <laughs> yes. I had, uh... That wanted to cross my mind. I was thinking poopy weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, make sure you're geared up, because this is the boss fight down here. Um, here's, uh... Oh. Oh. I'm over here. Oops. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong one? I don't even know Never what that blue one. one is. The green one is what I meant to throw out. Deal. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh. I don't want that. It is a Jacobs. There's also oh, that. Charlie, I don't know what that is. Uh, this, what is the That's a thing? submachine gun. That blue thing. The blue one. Yeah, it's got a weird sight on it. I'm gonna stick with this for right mm -hmm. now. Uh, let me... Spin to Not skill. Bad, actually. Alright, going full beans into Mr. Chew. I wish I was... Oh, yeah, that's right. Weapons. 
Does it not? No, it gives you like you can calculate, right? It tells you like how fast they fire and your damage, but just like a straight DPS value. Yeah, they don't have a damage per second. They have a damage and rate of fire, and that's oh, it. Oh, but I think the item score kind of helps with that, though, right? Like a higher yeah, item yeah. score is probably gonna do more damage. Ish. Yeah, Sometimes, because yeah. oh, started. oh. I I had a skill point still. Um, no, you can't My feed bad. Chew beans, but he's going full beans into Chew. All the skill points go to the pet. Yeah. Alright, well, I Sonic. will figure out. Yeah, but I'm just getting close. Oh, to God, I'm still. Line. Oh. Oh, I'm still up here. Cool. Y'all have fun. I have a skill point to spend. <laughs> that was kill skill. I turned the violence so I hear the music better. Ooh. Stainless steel bear? Fuck oh, yeah. Oh shit, behind us! Oh! Damn. Oh, why the fuck are you immune? Where is it? Powering up at? Oh, in the middle section. Oh, in the middle. I ran yeah. into it. <laughs> We go. Now he's not immune. Oh, it's just melting. Ugh, oh, he's fucking immune. Think... Bring it back up. God damn it. Are you down still? Yeah. Oh shit, I was standing right in that. Now he's not immune, and I'm out. Damn it. Motherfucking shakalaka. Ooh. I got killed in the second winded right at the end. Nice. Now I'm just another sniper. The shotgun. Oh, by the way, what kind of builds are you guys going for? I'm going Vault for like mid range AR, letting Mr. Chu do most of the work. Did you okay. I'm not sure yet. Fair enough. So I'm going like AR and then like a shotgun in case I am up close and need it. Yeah. I'm going sniper and AR so that way I have theoretically used the AR for mid to close range as needed. And also it gives me more ammo. Because <laughs> snipers run out really quick. The sun smashes a place in our family. They just wanted guns and cash. They betrayed the family. Oh, then try some something great. Gods don't. Gods right, don't so I've got that. I love it! Love it! Like I said, that map is super busted, so go ahead and take it! I'll swing by later to pick it up. You're my most loyal follower, Vault Thief. You just don't know it yet. Hmm. I do like Hyperion weapons. I knew you'd find the map killer. Bring it back, and don't let it out of your sight. <laughs> it's so weird I that they just didn't once. animate her talking to you. Again. It's just the same, like, <laughs> they're like, fuck, all we have cut money for is, like, one gif. This, isn't it, like, the same through all of the games? Oh, is it the same with the other ones? Our followers will escort you to the welcome ceremony. In preparation for our arrival, purge your clan of any free thinkers before entry. Yes, no free thinkers are allowed. There's some other weapons up here. Are there? Yeah. I don't know where you are. I went up top where you're supposed to. I went to the next section. We grabbed the this thing. Uh, oh. so I, the theory that I've had with that, why he's still talking, is because it's like just a recorded message. Ooh, money. Oh, mouthpiece. I think Charlie just grabbed like. A... Yeah, I did. I picked it up. This has got a built-in taser. That's cool. Nice. Phasers are always fun. Oops. Okay. All right. There's a quest out here. Outside. Probably should be up there. Oh. You? oh, I got a statue. I found the quest. Oh, nice. Vaughn, know anything about these COB statues? 
Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck butt COVs <laughs> all button. over the place. You know what? We're gonna stick it to those wannabe gods and make our oh, own. Oh yeah, this. In my image, yeah, good idea. From chisel jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted <laughs> posters. P.S. I am very wanted. I'd go in there myself, but uh, VR stuff totally squicks me out. <laughs> No one's P.S. Take my I body am very wanted. Without a fight. I'm an analog man. I didn't go from a Hyperion account to Bandit War Chief just to follow orders again. But you know, after I refused to join that stupid cult, Tyrene Calypso put a bounty on my sculpted ass, mm. and the rest of me too. But I'm still alive, baby, and I'm still shaking it, bro. I do like that. <laughs> but I can't hurt myself with this. Right. Holy By the way, fuck, did you go into orbit view? No. Open up your map and hit uh, X or whatever your orbit view is. You can see the whole fucking planet. <laughs> Damn. Um, do either of you guys need a 193 capacity shield? Um. Well, actually, I haven't updated my shield since I started. 193. Uh, 193 capacity. Yeah. I'm at 124. Oh, then you take it. I'm at 172. Okay, yeah, I'll take that then. Boom. There you go. I'll stick with what I got. Okay. Yeah, the shield's better, but this one has better recharge delay, better reload speed when shield's depleted, and a chance oh. for projectiles. Okay, yeah. The perks on that one are better then. Yeah. Where's, uh, is there a machine somewhere? Oh, way back inside, I see. Yeah. Oh, there's a dead clap trap. Back this way. Uh, oh, I see it's way over there. Okay. Shot the can. Alright, back to the vehicles. Did you just jump off the edge? I did. Cool. Oh, I see dead clap traps for this crew challenge. Sorry, talking about that. Oh, everyone respawns. Where's that oh, over here? Oh shit, I shot that while I was standing next to those dumb men. Cool, help there. <laughs> That's, That's it, you're out of book club. <laughs> I love some of the lines in this game. This guy. This clap trap body is oh, right here, but <laughs> I was jumping over and I'm playing a lot of games with crouch jump. And so I went to do that, but I don't have a crouch jump. I have smashed the fucking ground immediately where I was, so I was. Oh. <laughs> yep. You see this icon that says. Oh, here it is. Someone threw up that clap trap and repurposed it as a loudspeaker. Barbaric! We are not loudspeakers! Oh, we got fancy points for that. Ooh, fancy parts. I also love fucking claptrap. Oh, claptrap is the best. I remember, I can't remember which one it was, but it's like, you get to the final end, and she's like, No! Stairs! No one's <laughs> my dick in you! <laughs> now get in that digital torture room and save her, bro! Uh, we're going yeah. in the video game and the game. You're in the simulation, bro. He's a goddamn frat boy. That'll rebuild her body in the meat space. So we go back. In the meat space. I think so. Oh, BT Dubs. When they uploaded her, it probably fragmented her recent memories. You're gonna have to try to find them so you can remind her who she is when she wakes up. Yeah, it's the. That's the homeless abs man that has a cape and wears his underwear, and that's it. 
that is Vaughn. The new deputy war chief of the Sun Smashers. He took a slap in time replacing deputy head cheese after he belly flopped into a freaking acid pit. Deputy head cheese? Vaughn's alright, I guess. But he's no head cheese. Oh shit. Oh, this guy next to me punching me? Yeah, the Beastmaster is actually really good. Tank that shit, Chew! Oh, he's tanking that shit like a fucking boss. Right? Very good at cornering. Level eight. Out of ammo. Yeah, me too. Holy shit. Memory fragment two. Joe, let me check this out. We found this crazy alien thing in the desert today. Brought it back to camp thinking we could sell it to the children of the vault. Those idiots are always buying crazy alien stuff like that. We yeah, they are. Those idiots. I think I'm being sniped at. It's entirely possible. Well, there's a turret right there. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Chew is the goodest boy. Bitch. Here we go. I also love that I can just teleport him in on top of people. That is fucking Empty. amazing. And then he's all super chew when he comes out of it for a minute. <laughs> Get good or get dead, scrub. Nice. Kill enemies while moving at full speed. Alright, what do we have? There's very little ammo in this virtual reality. Uh, there's an assault rifle here if you want it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, that's. I thought that was dumb. Like, as I was approaching you, you just pull it away. It was kind of, I just walked in that ass and that was the good move. Oh, hang on. I should have equipped some uh, skill points. Nice. Yeah, I have one also. If you guys want to take a second and do that. When my pet deals damage, and he gains frenzy. Oh, as Chu deals damage, he gains frenzy. That's pretty cool. And then it's he gets powered really cool. up again. So there's two things I can stack together. One which makes one is the making me move faster, and the other one is the faster I move, the more damage I do. Okay, so you're just becoming Speedy Boy again. Is there an unarmed <laughs> option in this game? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's weird that you just play the same character in every game. <laughs> Apparently, when Chu deals damage, he gets friend Z. God damn it. How do I refill ammo? Uh, you can do it right here. If you're out, it will prompt you. If you're not out, it doesn't. It does. It says refill ammo. 
for how much yeah. money it's like then I do it, it and I actually open shit up. Like there's a list of shit to buy, which I don't want to buy stuff. Yeah, there should be two prompts. One to buy, one to refill ammo. Mouse and keyboard, it defaults to Q for ammo, E to open inventory and buy. Yeah, you, while looking at it, don't open it. So on my screen, all I see is E for shop, and then below it, it says refill ammo, but there's no button. Uh, you probably fucked up your keybinds. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, do you want the 193 shield? No, I'm okay with what I have. Okay, cool. Have some money. Now, why not spend I it? will sell it then. Oops. A sell it, there we go. Uh, nothing interesting to sale. <laughs> nah, you got some chuckles out of that. That was pretty good. There we go. G for ammo. Boom. If it's just early to join a game and immediately just fuck up all his key <laughs> Kind of like the overclocking. I mean, what? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get this. So I showed. But yeah, also, don't moonlight as a comedian. Weird. It doesn't pay very much. VR is basically do that that thing you just did, go do that again. Got another one of the things. Yeah, like we need to fill some space, let's just recycle the level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much what happened. We must be the last clan on Pandora that hasn't joined up with the COV. The Sun Smashers need a new leadership. Ow. That's really hard to see people oh. through this site with this like blue hue on everything. Oh, they're behind us. Oh, they're behind us. Oh, shit, there goes my shield again. Yeah, that is one thing that happens a lot in uh, these quarters. Your shields just vanish. Oh wow, last shot in the mag. To get a headshot, but not to kill. What's this? Hmm. That seems like an interesting sniper. Where I found the person. No, I see. Do we have all of her? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, we have all. Yep, that's everything. Now we just have to escort her out. <laughs> That'll totally be easy. Hey, Vic, <laughs> I'm here to get you out. Yeah, it'll be so simple. No, so simple. Can't leave. My arms eight health? Who has eight health? So bad, but then they grow back. I don't understand. It's happened like 50 times already. Hands off my captive! How about you get the fuck out of here? TikTok death clock? I love death clock. Oh my god. Can you get me up? I think someone's back here. Thank you. Hello. He's uh, on the stairs. Thank you. Next. Oh, I got the interrogator. You killed him, but. What the hell? 
Oh, yeah. There's a pistol, a assault rifle. Inside your own severed head. Don't worry about it. This is slap. You protect. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here. Who the? F was that you shooting? Yeah. Okay, I thought the bullets were coming up, and I'm like, who the fuck is shooting at us? But that was you shooting, so Oops. it's totally fine. Holy shit, you guys have that's dope. When I throw that gun, it turns into a turret. How much money do I have? Um, six thousand four hundred. Oh, it's that one. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh. How do you throw your gun? It's Just a particular weapons. type of weapon. That's how oh, you reload. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we go back out the way we came, or we go back out the front, the top. Uh, honestly, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, the top, probably. Yeah. Now let's get another head and go another layer deeper in the. Uh, in oh, are we going Inception levels? Inside, inside the simulation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're in a simulation. In a simulation. Actually, we're kind of already like doing that. Like the Rick and Morty episode where they just keep going deeper in the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do appreciate that you can reload while running in this game. That was, uh... So I've been playing uh, Black Mesa, like the original Half-Life game. It's so good, but it's so funny when you, because there's stuff where you're like climbing up ladders and reloading shotguns simultaneously. And just like mentally picturing that, like you're just climbing the ladder with nothing but your legs. You know, that's like the only way that That's works. an he's holding the shotgun in front of him reloading it. It's yeah, the same animation. Yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> While you're floating up a wall, basically. <laughs> that is thoroughly impressive. But I remember like at the time, like you don't even think about that. You're like, yeah, whatever. This is just how games are. Yeah. Uh, for a second, I was like, man, why is my vision so weird? I'm like, oh yeah, we're still in this VR bullshit. No, oh, I hate it. I don't like the VR. I, I can end it. I don't to do these missions anymore. <laughs> yeah, Here we I go. Agree. Now uh, we can be done. Blue, it's like my sight has a blue tint to it, so it was so hard to see things through it. Yeah. Yes, it's definitely something. get difficult. <sighs> what a slapping nightmare. Thanks for getting me out of there. Yeah, slap it you're, you're alive! I mean, technically. He's talking to me! Hey, Vaughn. Look, I'm a slapping idiot. The COV are messed. How do you spell choose we name? We tried joining them and all they did was murder and torture -E us. In that order. C-H-E-W. <laughs> yep. Chew. I'm gonna need you to Lady, that is exactly what's going on. Although C H O O would have been great now. too, like a train. <laughs> <laughs> that actually would have been hilarious. I think Mr. Choose is a default name. I never changed it, but I'm definitely not now. Here, I nabbed this crazy gun while we were in that never-ending digital hell prison. You can have it. It's all yours. Well, this crazy gun. Oh come on! Oh, she just gave it to us straight. Yeah, we just got it. This is perfect. I get to hang with my favorite person. Did you? I mean, are you I did. Me or did am you I not? You? I didn't. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's in my oh. inventory. Mind alone, yeah, it's in your inventory. Right? And I'm like 80% mind right now. Do I need to, like... But if you already did this mission on this character, Tommy, you might I, not get it again. Whatever this stuff I I'm did. Floating in you can't compare I'm weapons, going. by the way. I don't yeah, yeah, if you I click on it and hover. If you more. click it and hover, but yeah. I do have tape what tape. weapon is it? How about you just... Uh, the... You're living the dream. Rashi's dedication. Oh, okay. I do already have that one. Okay. That's the sniper I was using. Okay. I didn't realize I'd done this on this character. Oh, you can change. It's like ammo type. Yeah. You switch. It's um. Oh, That's what is it? It's cool. like acid and electricity. The one of them has a really good zoom. The other one has a um, more like a red dot combat sight. All right. Holy fucking lag trying to get in here. <laughs> oh, oh, um. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Perfect. Can you come Charlie or what? Uh, yes. Oh, there is this right here, but. Wait, where are you guys at? Outside. Out the front. Yeah, right there. Oh, it heals itself. Oh, it does. Damn it. Yes. We got it just to the point where it was on fire. It was like about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you boost your wings? That's amazing. They're fucking laser wings, so I cut through enemies and other vehicles. It's oh, fucking great. It's OPSL. <laughs> Although I do wonder, actually, is this a catch oh, ride a up here? Yeah. Okay, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get my vehicle. Drive my vehicle. Oh, let's see if it counts. Let's see if you can get it that way. Do you see me? Will it let you take it? Uh, assuming it pops up and says something, no. Damn. No, it would effectively boot you out of the vehicle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a little fucking turret. That thing's cool. I'll try now. What? Let's go on foot and steal some vehicles. There's, I mean, uh, you can. Holy fuck, dude. There's if you team also up. That we skipped. Oh, yeah, probably. If yeah, you team you up, so, like, I can drive, someone gets in the turret. Uh, it takes practice, but you can get really good at it where you strategically jump out of the turret and can jack the other vehicle. Can you see my custom waypoint on the map? No. Uh, Purple one? Nope. What the fuck? Where do I go? You can just direct me. Just up and to the left. Like this way or this way? Uh, still straight. The way we came. What are you trying to get to? There's custom waypoint. Which mission do you have set up? I don't. Oh. Uh, left. Up here. I think that's golden calves. Uh, oh, up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. No, you have the thing on your map now, I think. We're looking for posters. Um, uh, no, it's that's so not hard to navigate. That. Yeah, it gets a little cliffy. Dude, take me back to the thing and I'll just get my own. Oh, this shit here. Oh, fuck. I walked right into a baddie spot. A baddie spot? Like, full of baddies. Did you- oh, I think I see. Oh, that's where this mission that you just popped up came from. We are supposed to get this- Take control of this tower. Okay, so the spot with the shotgun is if you're not, like, up next to them. Eclipso twins. Them. Yes, it's it's many bad. The Eclipso twins are many bad, no goods. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was what? What? Oh, it's this TV. It's like weird ass music. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird ass music. I like how I can still loot stuff while in this. Uh, 138 sniper up here. Entrepreneur. Hyperion. I do like Hyperion. Oh, did you climb up there? Yeah. <clears throat> Not bad. And it's got a 5.1 zoom. Hells yeah. Oh, here it is. Music to my ears, Vault Hunter. Play 
it again sometime, would you? Alright, let's do a full compare. Do you see the posters, Charlie? Did you pull that up? Uh, I did pull it up. I don't see them here. Less though. damage, better fire. Better, uh, on the map, zoom out on the map and you can see where they are. There's like a chunk that oh, we just drove yes. past for that mission. This. Yes, we'll head over there. Yeah. This is a pretty fucking dope looking sniper. That's massive. Is there fall damage? No, there's no, not. Thank God. Also, if you hit control while you're falling, you ground pound. Oh, is that what that was? I actually yeah. ended up fighting that last boss. And <laughs> was very surprised, but could not make it happen again. <laughs> yeah, you have to be pretty high up there. Yes, bigger is always better. Can I change the driving style? I mean, unless it's a heart attack. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, unless it's a heart attack, then bigger is not better. I feel like you should be able to. Like, I'd like to just drive with WASD and then move my camera independently, but... That's... How mine is. Like, drives like a... Drives like a Most fucking vehicles. bus. Like, I basically just do... Oh, I see what you're saying. No, you want Instead of it driving to where you're looking, Ooh. I would rather just like drive with WASD. <laughs> turn my mouse like Ooh. have on my turret and shit. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't agree with you. That's the wrong way. Here's one of those things, Charlie. You could steal it. Just Ooh. grab it. It's fucking stuck right now. You're gonna be mine. The best yet. Hi, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So now you gotta go turn it in. Cool. Well, we should get where we're going. Should have one, right? Eventually. Actually, what's this? I don't think I have anything special now. Oh, Good night. That's you. Yeah, it looks like it's all basic ass shit. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, there you go. It's like glowy and gold on my screen. Well, there you go. Did that work? You got sucked Must up. Must have. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it didn't give me anything new. One of the posters is in here. <laughs> I know one of these. Ow! You good? Got hit fucking hard by that guy. Come on, Mr. Chew, kill him! What's even real? Oh, that's... Is that you? Nope, that is not you. I know, because I just killed him. Fighting like six of them up here, that's why. See ya, man. Have a good night. Thank you for popping in and hanging around. Where are you guys? The fuck do I get up there? You are nearing a historical marker of Typhon de Leon, the first vault hunter. Sadly, he disappeared a decade ago while seeking oh, shit, Y'all good? Fuck you, fanatic. Just getting my ass kicked over here. Hmm. Shotgun tank. So well. there should be a right over here. Yeah. And then there's some <laughs> artifact here too. Poster down below. Oh, Mr. Chu's still fighting. I got the poster. Oh, you did cool. It really shows off the old blood hand. Really shows off the old blood hand. 
Blood Feud number right. two. Because number two was the time I declared war against a mountain. <laughs> wow. Death to mountains. <laughs> Oh, here's another. <laughs> I don't remember anyone snagging that picture, but All right. I can't blame them. Hey, Kev, are you ready for this? With fly and no Get behind me. Oh, best underwear in the universe, bro. It's the only good thing I period ever gave me. Mount me. I understood like Wait, what? Dude, are you nuts? And while you're up here, you get increased damage. Jeez, so <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is a thing that we can do now for like some of the tough fights. It's gonna be a maze balls. Oh, when I mounted Mr. Chu doesn't do anything. Well, I mean, you don't have to be the one up here, but somebody can be up here. Although we are melting shit, so we don't necessarily need Mr. Chu. I remember that picture being taken. <laughs> oh, there's like a whole oh shit. I, I should've walked up there. Out. I'm assuming uh Yeah, it ended. I made a mistake, I'm coming over to you guys. She spawn a bunch of dudes. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cave over there. <laughs> she was emotional support now. Yes. <laughs> keeps me safe. Nice headshot. Uh oh, there's a bunch of dudes up here. Mistakes were made. To the extreme! I can make my guy's Irish. He oh, is. if I go in the semi auto on this gun, I switch to a better sight. Smaller sight? No, like a long range. Oh, yeah, yeah, semi-auto. Yeah, that is something... Auto, like a red dot. Yep, those ones are nice. Uh, I don't think I like this sniper as much. jumps at them. <laughs> like, is it physically fighting them, not firing at them? No, no, like, yeah, it, it jumps at them and then explodes. That's amazing. I, you know, like a weird spin gun when you throw it out? <laughs> kind of, yeah, it's got little legs. Alright, right, I definitely need a better shield. Well, I'm really walking you through this, aren't I? Oh, boy. It, it kind of is a sentient gun, yeah. Thank you. I needed that cover. Oh, were you getting hit by the guy from above? Yeah. <sighs> no, Beastmaster is really nice. And so far. Andy can be an incredible support character with, like, um thrown out the dog, you can throw out all sorts of good shit. As so, I get higher, like, skill points, um, yeah. and can swap around a little bit better, one of mine will, like, heal us. Yup. You get like the pets, there's good shit. Yeah, there's different types of pets. Well, how'd they turn out? They turned out amazing. I don't think oh, wait, we here we go. Yeah, no, I, I threw the papers on there. Statues for some of my perfection, as you so rightly put it. Just gotta smash some shit. So long, COV! And hello, glorious Golden Vaughn! Uh, <laughs> oh man, look at me now. Got my own statue. Because this is hilarious, is why we're replacing oh, the COV Raiders. statues with this. Only this reason we're taking orders from homeless underwear man. Take that Also, because we get paid for it. Y'all kick ass like crazy. 
And he strokes our ego. Oh, I didn't even realize I hadn't equipped it yet. My pet has an atomic aroma. What? Yeah, I equipped it. He has a radiation era around him now. That's the damage enemies. Okay, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, Sugar Baby's doing the work for the big man. This is what I was talking about here. Yeah, all these things. So watch, check this out. It'll run after him. Wait, it will run away. And come see me when you have a chance. Yeah, see my gun running? That's, um, I, okay, I like that. Okay, uh, Charlie? Yeah. Nice! Um, would you believe that this is semi-auto right now? That looks pretty... That looks semi-automatic. I have to click the mouse each time for that shot. Yeah, it's still pretty quick. <laughs> I learned oh, in Black Ops 2. Also. <laughs> All right, now I need more ammo for this gun. <laughs> Can we open this thing? Can we open this thing? I don't think we do. That's dumb. Or is it from the other side? Looks like there's oh, a trail Oh yeah, it might be from the other side. Oh, and lady, it is a different point that you need a thousand for for the free for all. You can do bang uh, points to check that. Oh wait, did you find a way in? Uh, no, because this is like where that path is. So I guess. Yeah, maybe we can waste more time. But there's like a path you there. Still that's not right. I wonder if it's broken. It's very possible that that thing broke. There's a bunch of doors that are shut here. Then we gotta go back and talk. So that's the fun part about this. I'm my own manager. I don't have a manager you can speak to. Ha. Huh. <laughs> wow, don't piss those off. Holy shit. Don't piss what off? The edge of the map. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna drop here. If I do, does that drop you guys? I don't know, I don't think so. Mm. It might. Right, if you're getting off, I'm gonna jump off also. Yeah. Right. Actually, mm -hmm. a good place to. Yeah, can we. F actually, Gold Cast the same one. Let's finish this map super quick, or this quest. We just gotta go find a. Uh... Oh, yeah, we just have to go talk to Vaughn back at, like, home base. Wait, which one? The one we were doing with the signs and shit. The, like, we didn't quite finish the one with the, uh... Oh, we just need to find the fast travel and teleport yeah. back. Because we just need to talk to Vaughn and we have to talk to Lilith Ascension... back there anyways, so... Yeah, just go to Ascension Bluff. That's all you need. Yeah. Uh, no, friendly fire is not on. Want. Ah, yes, back to the droughts. Actually, I'm gonna snag a Vic before we go. You lucky mare with some whales! Wait, is that like a thing? Is that what? I thought my gun was talking. Oh, no. <laughs> No. Yeah, there's like a special thing there. No, it is my gun talking. Wait, you already picked up a talking gun? No, but when I throw it, it talks. Here, listen. 
Oh, y'all are way the fuck over there still. I think cool. we're Dom's fast traveling us. Oh, cool. I was like, oh, I heard your noise. As you threw it, that was great. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? I think every time you reload. Yeah, my tongue will. Right? Yeah, I'll yell something because I throw mine. No, I mean, like, every time you reload to a new, like, back, like, fast travel and whatnot, you'll. shit will respawn. Okay. Yeah. And so we didn't actually fast travel, we just went through the thing. Oh. Which means I gotta get wheels and then we get to a fast travel. Or is there a fast travel? That's what I was like, I didn't see one on the map. Yeah, go to the droughts. Oh, there's no fast travel to the droughts. Fine. We'll manually travel to the droughts. Why am I in the fucking, I was like sitting and waiting to go and I'm in the wrong seat. Here we go. And yes, straight into battle. There's no other way. All the battle, all the time. That is how we fucking do it. Oh my god, we had to drive so far. Ow. <laughs> oh, I can't cut through that. That's bullshit. Sun's out, battle's out. Same with the moon, too. Moon's out, battle's out. If anything is out, battle is out. Those are the rules. Oh, I don't make them, <laughs> I just abide fucking by them. Rock. The hit scan on that rock was too big. The hitbox. Yeah, the rocks have it, fucked up hitboxes. <laughs> did I go Maybe past it, post. or do I have to wrap <laughs> around? I think I went past it. Yeah, we're at it. Yeah. Does he have new shit for us to buy? <laughs> it's possible. Starting a new character and playing the shit out of this game. <laughs> this is a good game. Yeah, they will. They'll know who the fuck's in charge. I may or may not have already done this. Oh wait, it's a bit better. Vault Hunter, you really got the map? Yes, Firehawk. A successful hunt. Just a successful a hunt. hunt. You got the map? Nice! So, did you see any of my Sun Smashers? <laughs> and why do you smell like dust and skin? <laughs> why do you smell like dust and skin? It was unnatural. Damn it! I never pull them. Out. I no. Slum smashers never cry. <laughs> if Tyreen Calypso wants a blood feud, she's got one. This dude fucking <laughs> loves blood feuds. <laughs> yeah, he does. And the COV was dangerous, but it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> At least you got the map. I didn't think I'd ever see this thing again. It's not just a map, though. We use this to open the other vaults on Pandora. So Every that's... vault needs its key. Well, let's go. take a look. It's been a long time. Don't like the damage on that one. That doesn't have better damage. I used to have one just like that. It's 
not solved. Oh, I'm get rid of that one Let too. me take care of that. Damn, it's not working. Something's wrong. We should be able to charge it. We need help. Yeah, that There's one. only one person on this planet. Right, knows this game has a lot of drama. Works. Patricia Tannis. She's got a dig site guy. on the other side of the valley. Take the map to her. I'll catch up when I can. Have to track down a few loose ends for our ship. Okay, good luck. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> Alright. I think that's a good place to call it. Agreed. Yeah. That is not a bad place at all. Alright, guys. Oh, I quit. Did it quit you out or are you still it in? Totally kicks yeah, us. It totally kicked us. Yeah, it takes us so, out. Okay. It's all right, though. All and right. This is cross Let's see. Now I can actually play in the future, too, which is cool. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. You too, see man. You. See ya. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of is. I'm... Oh, hold on. I think I see what happened here. Ah, okay. We do that. Okay, this is a simple fix, actually. I mean, hey, sometimes she is. Don't judge her for that. <laughs> hey, hi, how are you? All right, so if I do that, I want you to run the register, and I want you to run the... Somewhere in here should be under the points. I think it's the add points. Yes, let me verify that. It's not the it's not add points. Oh, duh! It's the timed action one. And so, if I do that, not add points. It is points. Timed action. Yes. Then if I go back to platforms, for present viewers, we want to run the timed stuff. That should be fixed there. Check commands, I th think. Mm. Okay. If I do that, have the action be. Where did that go? Add points should be that. All right. If I have this right, Hmm. 
Not sure why I added 2,000, but uh, boom. There you go for the time wasted because I fucked up my bot timed action to add points. Um, if anybody else is here that is waiting on points to pop, let me know. I will add points for you because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I fucked that up. That is my bad. I think we should be good with that. Yeah, I think we should be good. Valuable variable name. Check the code in there real quick. Yeah, I think we are all good. That should be fixed. Now should start adding automatically. And you know what? Let's see if I get this right. Actually, I don't trust my memory to get that right. Part of why I put this on a timed action also because it makes it more fun. Yes, you have 2,000. <laughs> mm, oh no, I need commands. This is... Oh, there's a dash in there. See? All right. We can get in there and uh, fight the boss, and it'll also have a pool of points. So, how it works is... Oh, that was quick. That was too quick. So how it works is there's a boss and um, it has a certain amount of points that it can give out. Effectively, we can fight it and then we get points split up. Are you shitting me? Literally, when I ran the test on this, it was like, oh, you won. And I was the only one in it. Oh, well. It is on a, a timed action. So... It's basically a three to one ratio between the free for alls and the boss fights. No, it's not because I'm God. I think I just got lucky. Us peasants don't get shit. <laughs> Let's see. It's supposed to say which boss it is at some point, too. I don't know. <laughs> Us peasants. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. But yeah, so... It'll alternate. You'll have the free-for-all, which you pay to get in, and then one person wins the pot. And periodically, a boss battle will come out where it's uh, the boss. You get in for free, and you might lose, but you might win. And if you win, there's a chunk of points that everyone gets for that as well. And then, you know, eventually, depending on how things go, um, I will be adding more point-based things you can do in there. So, you know, you can, like, do um, slots with it if I get that set up. Um, <laughs> there's all sorts of fun shit you can do. Technically, there's even a way to make the channel point redeems trigger with those points. 
I just have to link them all together. Yeah. There is the uh, free gambling. Because, you know, no money is actually exchanging hands. Therefore, it's legally speaking, not actually gambling. So we can do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun options with that shit. Well, let's see. It's only 1130. Enabling bad behavior. I support this. So, we have a couple options. We can keep going. And uh, there are several games that we can play. Not sure if you guys are feeling... Oh, shit. This still says Hearts of Iron. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's anything particular that you guys are feeling. But I can do some more Honkai Star Rail. Um, I mean, hey, you can feel my mom as much as you want as long as she gives consent for that. And then, yeah, I... I have a fistful of games installed. Um, I have stuff like chill games like Potion Craft, Tower Defense games. <laughs> God damn it. Um, actually, we could try out King of the Castle. Do you guys know King of the Castle? It's an interactive game, so you guys get to interact with it. So if that sounds interesting, that is definitely an option. If you don't feel like interacting... Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fair enough. King of the castle? Alright. I think we only have three people total. So if Lady Lemon's gonna be dipping out soon, and then the other one's a lurker, it would be just you but we can give it a shot. And then, worst case, I can always go to Honkai Star Rail. So let's Borderlands. No, give me Borderlands. I want Borderlands on top so I can quit the game. With the desktop. Yes. Good. This is already pulling up. Yeah, it's my first real gotcha game. I'm not spending money on it, though, so. We're good there. Go game capture. King of the castle. Audio capture. King of the castle. Category. King of the castle. And that should be up updated. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to spend money on it. Oh, you know what I do need to do? If I just pull up my... Oh, God, no. You're supposed to be me. Oh, why is that? That's not the right page for that. Where is my Twitch? That's my Twitch. I need... Spend blood, sweat, and tears on it. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, I need to manage my channel. Fuck, how the hell do I do plugins again? Extension manager. Ha! That's what I need. Discovery. Search. King of... Not the hill. King of the castle. Add extension. Activate. Uh, sure, set as overlay one. Replacing an active extension. That's fine. I can put crowd control back. That's easy enough. All right. So the king of the castle um, overlay is now active. You guys, if you haven't already, can basically give it permission to access your account. Hey, what's up, Crimson? <laughs> 
And so what this will do is it lets the plugin get your name and basically use your name in this game so you can become a lord or a lady. Uh, where's my OBS? Put that back on top. Boom. Okay. So, King of the Castle is active. I will give you guys a minute for that. Oh, hey, look. There's a fight. Now that some people have points. Because I fucking fixed the fuckery. Let's see. My monarch name is Dom. My dynasty name is Danik. Yeah. All right, there we go. Let's see who comes out on top. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> Down with the Danic Dynasty? Yeah? Is that what you think? Because... Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Nobody is on a two-for-two two win streak. Although this is the free-for-all. Nice! Congratulations, lady. Hey, nobody, I won't count that against... Um... <laughs> hey, I do, but I distribute that shit to the whole kingdom. Um... I won't count that against your win streak because your win streak is in personal challenges, not free for alls. All right. Play on Twitch. Pretty sure that's what I already did. This takes me to. Yep, creator dashboard. That is what is already there. Dope. So I have that. All right. So let's see. I like the north. Thank you for your goodies. I'll share them equally amongst myself. Do you guys have... For those of you who have played this before, do y'all have any favorites? I know I usually see the, um, the counts and the patricians are almost always in the mix. So I don't know if you guys have a preference on what you guys want. Barons? All right. And then we can have a third one. I don't know if we can have only... Yeah, we can't have only two. Yeah, we need a third one. If you guys have a preference. If not... What's of the, the counts of the... Oh, Patricians of the Coast? We can do that. Alright, so we have Barons of the March, Chiefs of the North, and Patricians of the Coast. Let's rock and roll. Alright. So, what you do is exclamation mark join with she, he, or they for your preferred pronoun. If you don't put in a pronoun, it will default you to they. Let's see where everybody gets put. Yeah, lady with the north. North is my personal favorite. They're the Vikings. <laughs> and even after I start, people can still join. Um, okay, apparently we need one more. there anybody else in chat that would like to join? Because then we can get this shit started. It's kind of dumb that you can't do it with an empty faction, but it also, to a certain extent, makes some amount of sense.
Alright, you know what I can do? Oh, right, I disabled that. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Turn off auto config. Pull up barrier. In here, if I put in... That. I'm not gonna tell you guys my IP address, because that's dumb. Alright, barrier is running. Boom! If I can close this stuff out. I can, technically speaking, log in with my bot account. I mean, yeah, I don't want... It's generally not good if people know my IP. Alright. If I come here, log out. Sorry, terrain. Uh, but it's for a good purpose. If I log in with my bot account. Oh my god. Alright, where's my login code? Look, you sent it to my fucking email? My phone number's attached. Why would you send it to the email? Gah. Okay. Boom. I am in. So if I go to myself, then I can come over here. Hey! Cool. So now we can go. And if people join, they can do the thing. Alright. So, I need to produce an heir and complete my ambition to win. You guys get to pick schemes and you need to complete all the stages of those schemes to win. Um, if you get a high defiance higher than my authority and or I forget what it is over here you guys can rebel but rebelling uh, pauses your schemes and you can win by overthrowing me in war basically yeah you win by all three stages of the scheme um, you guys get to vote and you can help each other or hurt each other so that way you can have an advantage or work together against me type of a deal and then that just covers rebellions You'll see more as we go. Yeah, you can definitely riot, but sometimes it's hard work to riot. Or it's very hard to do. Each season, three events play, and that is what you guys get to vote on and all of that jazz, and I have things that I have to decide. All right. We'll start with the coronation. Uh, yeah, I'm the monarch. We all know that. The kingdom stats are these over here. I have authority, treasury, and stability. Uh, if any of them hit zero, game's done. I lose. These are your guys' stats over here on the side. So trade, farming, military, faith, and defiance. Different things rely on different stats. So, like the chiefs, their strong suit is military. So they might want to go for military win or rebel and overthrow me with their armies. The patricians are good with trade, so they might want to try something that leans into the trade side because I already have a high stat there. Um, yeah, if defiance is higher than both authority and stability, you guys get to rebel. Um, I can scroll through nobles. Also, it should be up on the corner. You can check some personal stats for yourself. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see the extension. Um, it should be so like up from here, straight above. Little diamond, click on that, it should expand. You might have to give it permission. Um, it's showing up on my... You can't see it? Are you on mobile? Because it does seem like it might not show up correctly on mobile. Um, but if that's the case, I think... All it generally shows you is... Your name... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have to refresh to get it to show up. 
Uh, yes, it blends in very well with the game. It has the same aesthetic. <laughs> so you guys can check that, and that should show you guys your money. Uh, like your personal funds. No, you shouldn't have to rejoin. Noble list. Yeah, you're still here. You're still a chief. Go back. All right. Your Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Shouldn't I be giving the orders now? Of course, Your Majesty. But to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. We wouldn't want that, I suppose. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Of course. Shall we call the nobles in? Might as well. All right. Choices and stats. You can see kind of over here on option A, over here, uh, you can see it subtracts a thousand from my treasury, which is this. There's a difference. Your guys' money has a different icon. The kingdom's money, which is basically my money, is the stack of coins. And it increases stability. So different choices change different stats in different ways, and it will display that there. If you have questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to read it out. Um, and sometimes they will change your region traits. So, like, your military can go up or down. Your faith can go up or down. Based on the choice. Um, for this, you guys get to vote on these options. Let's see. And, oh, and I get laws so I can kind of change how it goes. You get one... Um, I get one law per vote. That is it. You guys get one vote per voting session. Ah, yes. So it's bang vote with a space and then the letter of the option you want to vote for. So after you have all voted or the timer hits zero, I can end vote. On these ones, I can also wait as long as I want afterwards to let people vote. Not all options have that. Um, let's see, though. What do I want? Oh, select choice. So I'm going to add a vote to force the commoners to swear a blood oath. Bang, vote, <laughs> riot. That comes later. All right, you guys have 30 seconds to vote for the option you want. A, host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. B, force the commoners to swear a blood oath. C, throw the king in the river. And D, the nobles must put on a vast banquet for the king. If you're having trouble seeing what these stats are and what they affect, let me know, because uh, I can read it out. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Every single one of these that I've been a part of, Throw the King in the River is generally the favorite one. <laughs> Yay, Throw the King in the River. Uh, stat changes, yes, I am aware. All right, stability went up by one, but authority went down by one. It is decided. The king will be thrown in the river. <laughs> Let me get changed out of my nice robes. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. <laughs> when you climb back up the banks, soaking wet, the chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are some of the nobles stifling giggles? We'll go with the council introduction. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the council of nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the wintry north, the wealthy coast, and of course, the bleak march. We'll start with the chiefs. Good luck in the days ahead, your greatness. You'll need it dealing with us lot. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, yeah, the game knows. It just knows. A pleasure, your august majesty. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. Now for the barons. Hail and well met, your highness. Under your leadership, we'll whip this kingdom into shape. Hmm? And with that, the introductions are done. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Now the path to victory. Air and ambition. So this is where I pick my ambition and you guys can pick your uh, scheme, basically. Your Majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put your own puppet or put their own puppet claimant in their place. Uh, you can adopt. <laughs> yes, so a spouse is useful but not necessary because adoption is an option. You know, just because those fools couldn't scheme their way out of a paper bag. Better kings than you have been toppled by their treacherous nobles, your majesty. To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Hmm. I almost feel like going the military route is... um going to be a good option. Either that or stability. I'm going to go for a conquer. Grab his dick and twist it! <laughs> Maybe. I'll see what I can do. A warrior king is sure to be remembered fondly if he wins more battles than he loses. I suggest, over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall military as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Alright. Now we end the season. Uh, we covered schemes. Yeah, we covered that. Keld of the Lady Lemon Clan, powerful political mastermind, stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, screaming like a fallen god. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter king, Dom. How do we make that happen? Oi! All right, so you can pick subterfuge, you lower stability. Intimidation, you raise stability. Hornblower, you lower all faith. Interesting choice. Interesting choice indeed. The chiefs plan to replace the king's closest advisors with their own agents. First, they must prove the current advisors are doing a bad job. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must lower stability to four or less in three seasons. The Barons. Rudolph of the Here Nobody Is bloodline, well-known former bandit, stands before a blazing hearth, roaring with outstretched arms. We have the barons of the mar or when have the barons of the march backed down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful king, on the throne. Then nobody. You want to lower defiance, lower others' military, or lower stability. Bearing in mind, the chiefs also want lower stability, so working together on that is an option. Okay. Gonna work together on that. Very well. And 
I'm... Yeah. Nobody's joined the patricians yet, so... The barons plan to persuade the population that only a charismatic general can protect them. First, the common folk must be afraid. To advance their scheme, the barons must lower stability to four or less in three seasons. I'm gonna cheat. Okay. Option A, B, or C before we even see what it is. Ah, uh, just because it's not really fair if I run one of these, so we'll just blind run it. Basil of the Botdenic family. Charismatic coastal rapscallion scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk, muttering in frustration. Uh, no, we're not going to look at the options before we choose. We're going to blind run it, just because. At least until someone pops in and joins the patricians, then they can run it on their own. Alright, cool. We'll go with B. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Dom. Something must be done. Nobody, you're pulling a me here. I don't think there is an option E. And I have done that in several people's chats playing this game. <laughs> now I'm trying to lower the treasury. Uh, let me go over here. Boom. Heyo. So they're trying to lower the treasury. All right, we'll, well, I went with option E then. We'll say that option E was lower the treasury as well. <laughs> Actually, yeah, because it would have been A, B, C, D, E. So option E and option B are the same. The patricians plan to sink the king under an ocean of debt. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in three seasons. <laughs> you were planning that from the beginning, weren't you? And I just now thought of it. <sighs> oh, so if my end reigns just abruptly, like if I drop to zero in one of these, then you guys vote on who gets to be the next monarch. If it's between two regions, then the one with the highest combined stats... Um... Oh, the, this vote is between the two regions with the highest stats in my air, if I have one. So, these are your guys' schemes, what you need to do, and uh, the whole plan. So we'll continue to laws of the land. I get to adopt a new law. Let's see. Increased authority... change their minds. Oh, I can reverse voting it on you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll adopt reverse voting. So that's always an <clears throat> interesting one. All right. Let's figure out the honor guard first. Now that you are king, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I suppose so. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes. The patricians with champion gladiators from the arena. And the barons offer a squad of battle-hardened veteran soldiers. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I am pretty stabbable. I'm a king. All kings are pretty stabbable. Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Alright, well, I'm not going to go with the coastal gladiators. Uh, because that's a bot account for the moment. Let's hear about the uh, Northern Warriors. Bearded oafs with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. 
no discipline at all, and I can't guarantee they won't run off on some random quest. But they're honorable, and in a fight, unbeatable. And then we'll hear about the veterans of the march. These soldiers have fought more battles than they've had hot dinners. They'll be uncouth, no doubt, and won't adapt well to life in the palace. But they're loyal and tough as nails. Then there's also foreign mercenaries. A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle-Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly, and hiring foreigners will betray a lack of confidence in our kingdom's fighters. Whew, I await your verdict with bated breath, your majesty. Uh... I kind of want to keep the chiefs friendly because they're the military power. So if I take northern warriors... which brought your defiance down, but raised everyone else's defiance by one. The warrior heroes arrive a few weeks later. They swagger in with big grins and bigger axes, belching and singing and roaring out unsavory jokes. <laughs> one of your courtiers faints. All right, Avalanche. Chief Lady Lemon. A devastating avalanche has buried a mountain village within my domain. There are few survivors. I suppose the kingdom should lend a helping hand. The other nobles are under no obligation to help the north, but surely they will vote with compassion. Alright, this is where everybody gets to vote. Um... Uh, actually, I'm just going to let you guys vote straight. All right. You guys can pick your favorite option and vote for it. Oh, the effects? Okay, so. A. Uh, lowers defiance, lowers the treasury by 1200, and increases wealth by 1500. It sends financial aid, so I'm assuming it would increase Lady's wealth by 150. Instruct the Archbishop to lead a memorial for those lost, increases defiance, and lowers faith. I'm assuming both of. Well, I'm assuming both of those effects and that lowering of defiance would be specifically for the chiefs. All right. What are you trying to get them to be capable of revolting? <sighs> God damn it. Yep. Your faith can't go lower and your defiance just went up by one. The chiefs are furious. What's it to me? I'm the king! I have concerns! <laughs> and now, the jousting tournament. Your majesty, the barons of the march have invited you to a jousting tournament. How delightfully rustic. Ooh. Wonderful. I'll compete myself. Which lowers your defiance. Superb, your majesty. I will send your acceptance directly. Alright, that should be all three. So now we end the season. Okay. Um, and for this, you guys can vote and spend money to build a building that will have an effect. I'll, I'll read them out for you guys with the letter. Uh, it's done through an auction. Okay, so you do bang fund with the letter that you want, followed by the amount of money you want to put through. 
Um, there are only two of you, and it's the top two buildings get funded. So pretty much whatever you guys vote for is going to go. Option A is a Grand Bazaar increases trade for the Barons. Option B, the Monument, increases authority by one. Option C, increases faith for the Chiefs by one. Oh boy. Option D, decreases stability by one. Option E, decreases farming for the Patricians by one. And option F, increases the military for the patricians by one did you guys get that if you need me to read out a different option let me know because with this one once the timer runs out it will auto finish itself i can't continue the timer at all all right hold on i haven't started the auction yet if you guys are ready i will though Yee. Okay. Rock and roll. Fund it. You guys have one minute. Yeah, I figured you were ready because uh, <laughs> you already tried to fund it. All right, so option D has 150. You guys can get a second one going if you want. If not, that's going to be the only one getting built, and it's not going to be dethroned because it's the top two buildings get funded, and it's just the two of you right now. And of course y'all are going to lower stability. <laughs> oh, fair. Fair enough. Time is up. Those are the two buildings that got built. Decrease stability by one. Increase trade for the barons by one. We end the season. Uh, Actually, let's go with a special guest. The barons have assembled upon a jousting field, watching from tall stands. The place is a buzz, or the place is buzzing with excitement. A servant straps on your armor and helps you mount your horse. She hands you a lance, and you ride out onto the field. Welcome one and all. We have a most thrilling guest today. As you ride your horse past the stands, nobles gasp and stare. I could blow a kiss to the Baron. Cheers are, or cheering erupts, and the nobles stamp so hard that the stands tremble. When the jousting starts, you quickly realize your opponents swerve each time they approach. They don't want to hurt a king. Puts a dent in the challenge, really. Alright, so some of these have uncertain outcomes. Uh... And, yeah, they're challenges. It's only a percentage chance for them to be completed. However, I'm not going to make the most of my advantage. I'm going to withdraw and instead watch. You graciously withdraw from the competition and take your place in the stands. The march's defiance can't go lower, and their military increased by one. You can't see much of the competitors' faces, but even as they race towards each other, they look more relaxed. As one of them is knocked from his horse, the audience applauses, whooping and cheering. Next, we'll go with Northern Outrage. I demand the Archbishop apologize for insulting us at the Avalanche Memorial the other month. Yeah, I should have known. We may worship different gods than the rest of you, but we're all citizens of the same kingdom. We deserve respect. Oh, everyone gets to vote. All right. <clears throat> well, I can sack the Archbishop and replace him with one who will keep his mouth shut. It has a mixed effect on Defiance. Lowers stability. 
and increases faith. I can order the Archbishop to apologize. It is an authority check, 40% chance to succeed. I can stay silent on the matter, decrease defiance, decrease faith, and increase authority. Or I can declare the Archbishop has the King's full support, which has a mixed effect on defiance, decreases faith, and increases stability. And I'm going to veto Oh, that's reverse. God damn it. I don't want that one. Veto. I'm going to veto option A because it lowers stability and I don't want you guys lowering stability. <laughs> All right. Place your votes. <laughs> I can't make it too easy for you guys. You want to see me fail that, huh? <sighs> All right. All right, fine. Fine, be that way. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I succeeded. Defiance went down for the north. Oh, my authority went up by one. And faith decreased by one for the coast and the march. I'll take that. The chiefs are satisfied and the supreme power of monarch over church is firmly established. Now I get to find a spouse. In the twisty passages of your ca <laughs> the twisty passages. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. <laughs> Is it really that urgent? Of course. Don't worry. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men? Women? Or do you not mind? I'm gonna go with women. Excellent. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Oh boy. And that should be it. So we end the season. Ah, taxation. <laughs> so. I can tax you guys. I can cruelly tax you guys. Or I can bribe you guys. Uh, so all nobles gain wealth. Wait. Oh, yeah. All nobles gain wealth, but one region gains extra wealth with a trade bonus. So the higher your trade stat, the more likely you are to get a trade bonus. <laughs> and then, just because it's nobody's there, so why the hell not? Um, and then I think you guys are good to sit at a common tax. It only takes away 100 from you, um, and it doesn't increase your defiance. So, it's a very lenient option. No, you're not. You should still have, like, 800. You have 900. Fuck you talking about, you broke. Come on, now. Yeah, you didn't think I could check that, did you? <laughs> you have a 1,000. No, you ain't. For a noble, you're broke? I mean, okay, maybe. Compared to the other nobles, yes, you are the poorest of the nobles. All right. Let's check the eligible options first. I found three potential matches for you. A hundred. Uh-uh. That, that, that's three zeros right there. That is three zeros right there. Quit trying to fool me with that shit. One eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. 
That's too... <laughs> and a partner for life to... Ha to uh, whatever. I fucked that up already. I suppose so. But the alliance comes first. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall, where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Wait, I don't even get to meet them? There's no time for sentiment. You just need a match that befits your station and suits your political needs. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Ursa, firstborn daughter of the Northern Lady Lemon Clan. Beautiful, isn't she? Apparently, she's also exceptionally well-mannered and agreeable for a northerner. Not bad. She's made herself quite wealthy with a series of shrewd investments. She's an incredibly driven person, by all accounts. Gets up at the crack of dawn each morning and goes for a swim in a frozen lake. Uh, lady, you do realize that this is your daughter. You're calling your own daughter a bitch. Just FYI. <laughs> I can see the appeal, I suppose. Oh, you're calling my mother a bitch. Yeah, you're not wrong. She's forcing me to marry. I don't care about them. Could be worse, could be a lot better. And finally, we have the Marches offering, Emmy, scion of the prestigious Here Nobody Is bloodline. A typical baroness, really, loud and brash and self-absorbed, but mostly well-meaning. Like most of the barons, her great passion is hunting. No beast is safe from her crossbow. Oh, and she's not popular with the peasantry. Something about her sets their teeth on edge. Kinda, actually kind of does sound like a laugh. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys think? I took um, Northerner Bodyguards. So if I marry into the Barons, maybe, maybe. Which do you wish to marry? Yeah, I'm thinking if I go with Emmy of the March, it'll balance out because I did take Baron Bodyguards. You want... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have taken Bodyguards from the North then. <laughs> Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. <sighs> then we'll go foul play. I have unfortunate jousting-related news from the march, your majesty. You really don't like jousting, do you? Jousting and I have a complicated history, your majesty. I'd rather not go into it. Noble patrician Botdenik <laughs> was killed in a bout against Baron here nobody is. So Botdenik died. Botdenik too has joined the council. The patricians are calling for justice. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm gonna veto that jousting is that jousting is too dangerous. Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna veto that jousting is too dangerous and must be banned, because that's bullshit. Jousting is amazing. Uh, option A... Noble Patrician Botanic signed up for this. It's all part of the sport. It has a mixed effect on defiance <laughs> and increases trade. Option C is a check that I have a 50% chance to succeed at. Um, that's all I know about the effects. And that is put Baron here nobody is through a trial by jousting. So we'll start the vote.
All right, so you guys both agree that is part of the sport. Just kind of how it works. Despite mounting, <coughs> despite mounting anger from the patricians against Baron, here nobody is. The jousting fad continues to spread. Wow, spread to spread. More and more tournaments are set up across the kingdom, with spectators buying huge numbers of metal figurines designed to look like their favorite competitors. Nice. It's not my fault I had to run the route. It's jousting. Hey, Bonsai. Thank you for the follow. If I may ask, how did you how did you find me? So the March's trade went up. So holy fuck, you're rivaling the patricians. Which, I mean, so the patricians start at 7. At any point, if you rival the patricians with trade, unless they tank it, is impressive. Now, yes, a curious discovery. Your majesty will recall the devastating avalanche that struck the north. I won't lie, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Yes, I remember. A tragedy. The avalanche uncovered an ancient stone door embedded in the mountainside. We suspect it may be one of our ancestors' tombs. Some locals pried open the door and investigated within. They did not return. Oh boy. You know, I'm going to let you guys... I'll let you guys pick with this one. A. Send a group of renowned northern warriors to explore the ruins. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. Um, I, I went initially with a very fantasy kind of style, but then it morphed as the community basically chose. <laughs> it's a uh, northern Viking type of feel. So I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, option B, send a team of scholars from Quail University. And option C, order the tomb shut back up, which will increase defiance. We will start the vote. You guys get to pick. Also, Bonsai, if you would like, you are more than welcome to join in. So sending northern warriors could be a gamble. They might come back. They might not come back. Who knows? So it could increase or decrease the uh, chief's military power. And considering increasing it is my goal. I've, I think I'm going to go with the warriors. We'll send them and see what happens. The North has no short supply of warrior heroes. The only problem is finding a group who are willing to work together. There are a lot of ancient feuds to tiptoe around. <laughs> Holy shit. The chiefs finally settle on a champion named Hrothvir, known for juggling live scorpions. He will lead a band of brave warriors into the tomb. You hope to hear back from them soon we don't find out till next season. I think that's all of them. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, up in the north, Chief Lady Lemon is hosting a grand feast at her clan hall. The kingdom's fine. No one's calling for the king's advisors to resign. 
We need to step it up. <laughs> more chaos, more panic. Lady, why does that sound so much like you? <clears throat> then we can swoop in and take the king under our arm like a wee duckling. Aye, and if he doesn't like it, we'll squeeze. Of course you're the one that said that. Jesus. The chief's aim is to lower stability to four or less. <laughs> it does kind of sound like you. Uh... <laughs> While the king settles into his young reign, a general has risen in the march, the indomitable Baron Rudolph. Is it time? I'm eager to start my campaign. Not yet, general. We need the peasants to be truly living in fear for you to be their savior. It won't be long now. The council will make sure the kingdom is drowning in chaos. Then we will make our move. The Baron's aim is to lower stability in four or less. And then the patricians, I don't fucking care. Nobody's playing the patricians, so they can fuck off. 1,500 or less, though, for those curious. Hmm. Let's see. I could go call for unity. That could help combat you guys trying to drop stability. Or I could go for swing votes. Well, I feel like that works a lot better when there's a lot more people around. Yeah, we'll go call, oh, call for unity. We'll swap out... Monarch's vote. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, the... I don't care. The patricians are, are on the verge of rebelling. You can't rebel. The patricians are the ones that can rebel. And the patricians are the one that literally only have my bot in them. <laughs> we will end the year. All right, we'll start with the wedding. Your wedding to Emmy is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Emmy at your side. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Then I pronounce you king and wife. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. And your new wife, Emmy, dances so vigorously that she spills wine all over herself. Grab a stick and twist it! Alright, in this context, I... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the time you find yourself alone with Emmy, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Good God, I am so drunk. And yet somehow, not drunk enough. Time for more wine. How are you still so full of energy? Oh, you sound just like my mother. She's been asking that question since I was five years old and swinging from the chandelier. Mm. Shall we go to bed together? No time like the present, eh? She swigs back the last dregs of her wine and leads you to bed. No, you don't lead me to bed. I am literally Dom. Come on now. <laughs> Alright, jousting fever. I regret to inform you of a jousting-related petition from the march, your majesty. Why the regret? It's a splendid idea. Your majesty, we must reinstate jousting as the official justice system of the march. Trial by combat's the way it used to be before the courts started sticking their noses in. Alright, so. Except, 
has a 50% chance to succeed. Alright, I need to either sneeze or that needs to go away. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Except it's a healthy way to resolve disputes. 50% military check. Refuse. Better to stick with the courts. It's an 80% stability check. Accept and donate some horses to the new system. Um, minus a thousand treasury, which is my money, not your guys's. Lowers defiance and increases military. I'm going to say if more than 50% of the nobles vote or accept. Oh, if more than 50% of... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's cheating at this point. We'll just have it be a straight vote for you guys. And yeah, you should have waited a few seconds on that. Um, that would have been terrifying... If you did. Jesus Christ. Oh, lady, you think it's better to stick with the courts? Nobody, do you have anything to say about the, uh system of oh you want me to donate some okay I think I can take the hit to money and I would love to have the increased military since that is my goal the chancellor looks skeptical says nothing. So treasury dropped, defiance can't go lower, and the march's military went up to eight. Surpassing the chiefs. Jesus Christ, the barons are getting stacked. They have the same trade as the patricians, which is their high stat, and higher military than the chiefs, which is their high stat. Fuck. The barons are delighted. The march reports less crime overall as the people fear being impaled by a lance. Physical fitness of citizens also rises, with many learning to ride, just in case of legal trouble. Oh shit, why don't we have that for real? Hrothvir returns. We have received word from Hrothvir, your majesty. He has returned from his exploration of the mountain tomb. Aha! He's back. Yes, he is. Unfortunately, your majesty, this is not a cause of celebration. Hrothfir now marches at the head of an army of magic warriors made entirely from ice. They believe Hrothfir is their ancient king. Why does this stuff always happen to me? The traitor Hrothfir plans to take your throne with his frozen army. We don't have long to decide on a response. Do we know the origin of these? The ancient northern king Bjarnolf was rumored to be a warlock who created his own soldiers from the snow and used them to crush his rivals. Uh, why? Why are you making a unit? If these are his creations, though, they must be over 400 years old. All right. <clears throat> Our options here. 50% military check on A. Order the chiefs to gather their army and face Hrothvir in battle. Option B lowers the treasury by uh, 1250, which is send an assassin. And I am going to veto the do nothing option. Because fuck that. You guys get to vote. Because you can. Eh, fair enough. Well, I suppose that's uh, decided then. Chiefs are going into battle. 
chiefs are going into battle against magical ice soldiers. All right, let's see what we get. Failed. The resultant war is bitter. The ice warriors are formidable foes, inhumanly strong and untiring, each killing dozens of soldiers before it falls. But eventually, your numbers win the day. Ooh! The North's military dropped by three. Farming went down by two and trade went down by two. In the aftermath, the chief's army is devastated and much of the countryside is barren. A bruised Hrothvir is brought before you in chains. I think sentence him to death. Increase my authority. Roaring with mad laughter, Hrothvir is dragged away to face the axe. That did not work out the way I was hoping it would. <laughs> but that is that. We'll end the season. I know we currently have no air. All right, so we still have the two of you trying to get the stability down to four or less. It's honestly been kind of a fight because you guys keep like dropping it and then it goes back up. And uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but we will end the season. Back from the hunt. Your greatness, your wife, the queen consort Emmy, has committed a grave sin against my people. She took part in an illegal hunt, an illegal giant hunt. <laughs> Why was the hunt so large? Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with why was the hunt so large. No, I mean she journeyed into the frozen wastes and went hunting for ice giants. For sport. I thought you hunted them all the time. Aye, but as part of a sacred ritual. The queen consort took part in an illegal hunt that wasn't sanctioned by a god speaker. Please, your highness, esteemed council, you must allow just justice to be done. Ooh. All right. Dismissing the accusations increases defiance. Ordering the queen consort to pay compensation and introduce harsher penalties for illegal hunt organizers increases wealth. Um, probably just ladies' wealth. Lowers defiance and lowers trade. Order the queen consort to pay monetary compensation to the northerners increases wealth and decreases defiance. And we'll put on reverse voting. So you vote for your least favorite option because the option with the least votes will pass. Just to see what happens. Bearing in mind, if you both vote for the same option, that will leave two options with the least and I get to pick from those. Oh. We'll allow that. Yeah, um, yeah, your daughter out there causing troubles. <laughs> Decreased. That, that'll bring your trade down to one. Nobody, do you have a vote? Or should I continue? Uh, it's okay. It, it sometimes can take a little bit. I mean, so this will increase your personal wealth. It decreases your defiance, which can't be decreased any further anyways, so it ends up being a wash. And then it will decrease your trade. Um, And it, it took me about a full round to pick up on this game as well. No? All right, we will end the voting then. Oh shit, yeah, no, I forgot. That one becomes not the option because I put on reverse voting. Wow, apparently I'm the one that doesn't get this game. 
Um, fuck it. You know what, lady? You can have some money. Not coming out of my pocket, so. Whether ashamed or angry, you can't tell. But Emmy has already exited the chamber by the time the vote is called. So, that puts you up at 1050 for your money. Thank you all. The gods are good. Now we'll just do new laborers. Your Serene Highness, I have a proposition for you. As we all know, you're the greatest king who ever lived, but you've been locking a lot of people up. Uh, which is your right, of course, only many of them are the pettiest of criminals. There are thousands locked up for illegally dumping human waste, for example. Most of them would make good laborers and farmhands, which we sorely need in the coast. Perhaps we can work out a deal. All right. So you guys get to vote on this. Option A, accept gold in exchange for pre petty prisoners. Uh, basically, the patricians would pay 300. The treasury would gain 750. Authority would go down and patrician farming would go up. Donate the prisoners for free. Authority goes down, patrician defiance goes down, and patrician farming goes up. Or keep the waste dumpers where there are, where they are. Stability goes down. I think I know which one you guys are gonna vote for. <sighs> the fucking stability war. Yep, that was quick. <sighs> that was so quick. All right. Voting has closed. You suffer a number of glowering stares from the coastal benches. Word spreads of your uncompromising nature. Stability went down to five. One more, and you guys have met your goal. Tithe trouble. Your Highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the patricians of the coast. Lately, they've been neglecting their tithes. Huh? <laughs> I'm not a debt collector. Who do you think the common folk will blame if the church starts failing? Me? No, Your Highness. They'll blame you alone. Ah, oh, shit, this sounds like a stability thing. Especially if I tell my priests to spread word that you refuse to help a holy man in need. Well, considering... <laughs> Go away, you irritating old fart. I love that option, but it lowers my stability, so I don't want that. Fine, I'll help. The worst offender is patrician Botan uh, is noble patrician Botanic II. They haven't paid their tithe in years. I want an example to be made of them. Oh good god there are two stability options um do nothing to address the problem lower stability the patricians should be exempt from paying tithes also lower stability uh ignore two because that raises stability and a has nothing to do with stability <laughs> so we'll start vote so both C and D will lower stability. Sorry, I couldn't hold that anymore. I had to let it out. Uh, so C has a mixed effect on defiance and will lower patrician faith, increase the pocket money of the patricians, uh, lower authority or lower stability and authority, whereas D lowers defiance um, of the patricians and also lower stability and authority. 
So, as far as you two are concerned, they're about the same. There we go. The council opts to do nothing to address this travesty? Very well. You'll see what happens. Throughout the kingdom, priests preach to their flocks that the king is a baby kicker and devil worshiper. The gullible peasants lap it up. <clears throat> oh, great. That's the end of the season, too. Fuck me. The kingdom's on the brink of collapse, and the council is calling for the king's advisors to resign. If we want them gone, though, we need to increase the pressure. Once the king is in a weak, weak enough position, he's got no choice but to bow to our demands. No more interference spy, master. No more marshal or chancellor or treasurer. Whole new inner circle, all made up of chiefs. Fuck me. For the next stage of their scheme, the chiefs must lower authority to four or less in three seasons. It's already at six, so that is definitely doable. General, fantastic news. We're ready to move forwards with the plan. The kingdom is in such a state that the commoners are begging for someone to save them. All we need is a suitable boogeyman to get them really riled up. The Ishmedian Empire will do, I should think. After all, they've always coveted our lands, especially in the march. And how should our dear king stop them with the kingdom in such a state? Good thinking, General. While your campaign warns of the Ashmedian threat and proposes a march of defense, we will build an army to back your words. Oh, f fuck. Fuck! The barons have to have the highest military in three seasons. <laughs> The Barons already have the highest military. Mm. Great. Great. All right. So... The Chiefs want lower authority. Uh, there is no... Oh, there is a lower authority. Option D will lower your authority. The uh, Barons want the highest military. They already have that, but option A will increase their military. So, you guys are more than welcome to do what you like, but A increases barren military, B increases barren trade, C decreases stability, stability D decreases authority, E increases authority, and F decreases faith. Un momento, por favor. Now you may go. Fund your buildings. But you guys both went for D. Wait, why are you guys doing competing bids on the same building? <laughs> You're gonna decrease my stability even more? Jesus fuck. Why? Why are you guys competing? <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> oh! That's what happened. I didn't even catch that. I'm sorry. You guys did vote, not fund, so no buildings got built. Alright, what do we have? 
Yeah, I that I should have caught that, but I didn't. <laughs> All right. A fishy wedding. Your Majesty, the Archduke of Sal has arrived, has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help shore up relationships between our two great nations. By the ninth great nation, the Isle of Sol is nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats. And I heard it isn't a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. The groom is a fin folk, one of the denizens of the sea. Perfectly sapient and actually amphibious. <laughs> Fair. Well, the church doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. We mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the king to attend. Oh yeah, what do you guys think I should do? Of course... Yeah, of course the king should attend the wedding. Increases defiance... Uh, lowers faith and increases stability. The king will not attend, but will send his warm regards. Decreases faith. Condemn the wedding and sever diplomatic ties with the Isle of Sal. Decreases defiance and increases faith. I'll let you guys straight vote on this one. I'm not going to attend, but I will send my warm regards. Hmm. Must these regards be warm? Can't they be icy cold? I'll compose a polite refusal with accompanying congratulations, but it's a shame. This was a chance for real diplomatic progress. When the common folk of the coast hear about the Archduke's wedding, they're broadly supportive of the Union. Public opinion turns against the overly strict church. Their faith is now skeptical. A petitioner from afar. Your Majesty, there's a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. I assume you have good reason for letting her in? You'll see soon enough, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. My name is Oriad. I have a proposition for you. Oriad, where are you from? Distant shores, your majesty. I prefer to keep my exact origins a secret. All right, tell me more about this proposition. Yeah, very specific. Three ships are docked in a harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They'll be, they're all yours in return for a small favor. Muskets? The small furry animals? Oh. Hmm. And what is this favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any... accidents. Alright, what did you do? I don't know what you mean, your majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. You will forgive me, I hope. All right. Provide safe harbor for Oriad in exchange for muskets. Increases military. Reject Oriad's offer and send her away. Does nothing. Confiscate the weapons and take Oriad prisoner. Increases military and decreases stability. I'm going to veto the do nothing option. Or the reject the offer option. The floor is yours. Ugh. Yeah, of course you guys are going to vote to lower stability. <laughs> Fucking of course you are. God damn it. Military one up by one for each. 
You send word to the coast where the foreign ships are impounded and the weapons seized. Oriad goes quietly as you show her to a cell, though the contempt on her face is clear as day. The confiscated muskets are distributed to your soldiers. Without training, however, there are more than a few exploded wagons and missing limbs. Yep, stability is now three. Great. About your heir. Give me good news. Damn it. Your marriage to Emmy is not what you'd hoped. She seldom sleeps in your bed, and over breakfast, you exchange only a few frosty words before she departs on a hunt. The last thing on your mind is procuring an heir, but the needs of the kingdom must prevail. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. <laughs> Felt more like a life sentence than a wedding. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere. Hmm. I think I'll make my youngest cousin my heir. Yeah, youngest cousin is my heir. Of course, an entirely sensible idea. I will make the arrangements at once. And that should be that. We will end the season. Now I get to tax once again. Patricians are going to get cruel tax because no one's playing the patricians, so I don't care. And you guys can get the normal common tax. We'll end the season. An old debt? Why the fuck do I have an old debt? What the fuck? Alright, an island rises. Uh, basically... I don't have an heir, so I named my youngest cousin my heir. Your esteemed highness, your esteemed highness, something most strange has occurred in the ghost sea. A new island has risen, halfway between our shores and the Isle of Sol. The fin folk raised in the depths using their we raised it from the depths using their weird ocean magic. It's true, your majesty. The Finn folk raised the island to celebrate the marriage of their prince to the Archduke of Sal. They will gift it to him on the day of the ceremony. This is terrible news. That island is of immense strategic importance. We can't let it fall into Salish hands. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Send the chancellor to seduce the Finn folk prince. Sabotaging the wedding is option C. <laughs> Does nothing. Send the king to conduct secret negotiations with the Finn folk is option A. It also does no nothing. Option B. Pay a wizard to sink the island back into the sea. Decreases the treasury by 2100. Decreases defiance. And increases stability. I'll let y'all have a straight vote on this one. Sabotage, you say? Fair enough. You just want to see the Chancellor seduce the Finfolk Prince, don't you? That's all you guys want. <laughs> Capital idea. Wait. How did we get here? Weren't we saying that there was <laughs> this was a sin a few months ago? How hot is that, Chancellor? This is the Chancellor. Just seduce the fish man, you wimp. What the Marshal is trying to say is that you're unattached and the Chancellor of the Kingdom. You'd make a far better match for this finfolk prince than the Archduke of some rainy little island. Your Majesty, listen to reason. Don't send me underwater to propo propose marriage to some damp little frog creature. 
<laughs> Just go and see what happens. No pressure. Exactly. Just talk to him. See if there's a spark. There won't be a bloody spark. We'll be underwater. <laughs> God damn it. With great reluctance, your chancellor is eventually persuaded to go on a clandestine visit to one of the Finn folks' undersea villages. Kissfish. God damn it. All right, the bounty hunters. Let's see what this is up. Your Majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters, representing the Republic of Kurth, they say. King Dom, we greet you humbly. How? Oh, God, fish fun. Hey, nobody. You got your points back. <laughs> We're searching for someone. A fugitive, you might say. Last we heard, she went by the name Oriad. She's in my dungeons. That's excellent news. We ask permission to purchase her from you so she may stand trial and face justice back in Kurth. Oh, and the weapons she stole. They still belong to the Republic, you understand. We kindly ask you to return them. All right. Turn the bounty hunters away is option C. It does nothing. Give Oriad to the bounty hunters, but keep the stolen weapons. Increases the treasury by 1,500. And option A, return the stolen weapons and transfer custody of Oriad. Decreases the military and increases the treasury by 3,000 and increases defiance. Have at it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My weapons, fuck you. Those are my guns. You can't have them back. <laughs> we confiscated them fair and square. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Also, shout out didn't work. Oh, oh. My favorite level of uh, Pickle Park is, is is the one oh. where you suck each other. And oh, that I one. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? 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 The one where, oh, where you have the guns back. and you Quit. put them. <laughs> yeah, clip. Yo, clip yo, Ripley likes us. What the fuck? How's it going, Ripples? <laughs> All right, let's continue with the vote. Mm, I'm gonna say we'll give Oriad, but keep the stolen weapons. I want the money, what can I say? What, 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 what? The bounty hunters grumble, but there's little they can do. In the end, they agree to leave with only Oriad in exchange for smaller payment. All in all, you've come out of it with a tidy profit and a few messy weapons. An old debt. How do you expect me to take this seriously, you crack-brained simpleton? Oh, Jesus. Shut your daft mouth and give me what I'm owed, you honorless dog. What in the seven hells is going on? This pimple-headed lackwit expects me to pay her a huge quantity of gold just because her great-great-grandfather beat my great-great-grandfather in a foot race. Ooh. Oh. A debt is a debt owed is a debt owed, is it not? Your Majesty, I only recent Oh, okay, let's see what happens. There's a duel. Nobody's streak has been ended. Interesting. Interesting. Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this debt while combing through my ancestor's journal. Honor dictates that Baron here nobody is is liable for his ancestor's debt. 
by the ninth. This is ludicrous. I demand we put this to a vote. All right, guys. So basically, this is either no, here nobody is can give money to Lady Lemon. Um, we can cancel the debt. It doesn't say how much it is. That's part of the issue. We can cancel the debt because it's too old to matter, or nobody can pay his debt plus two centuries of interest. I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> just pay the debt? Okay. <laughs> Pay me. All right, that's uh fair enough. Let's see how much this debt was. Bloody hell, this council is full of idiots. Fine, take your money. With pleasure. Okay, it dropped from 1100 to 350. And I think that is it for this season. We will end the season. Ooh. Ooh. Monarch's golden choice. And I'm going to swap that out for Call for Unity because Call for Unity feels like cheating because no matter what, 50% of the nobles are going to vote for something. Or are going to vote for the same thing because there's only two of you. We'll end the year. Alright. Propaganda campaign. Are you familiar with General Rudolph of the March? You might have noticed a surge in popular support for him in recent months. The barons intend to paint the general as the people's savior, an alternative to your disastrous rule. Did they really say disastrous? Forgive me, your majesty, but you have more important things to consider right now. The barons are mounting an extensive propaganda campaign, claiming you are too weak to defend the kingdom from the Ashmedian menace, that only General Rudolph of the March can stop them. So what do I do? You must keep the Baron's military in check. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Their words will ring hollow if the General's armies aren't as strong as they claim. Unfortunately, the General's cerem ceremonies are already becoming quite extravagant, even frenzied. It will be hard to stop them now. You bring the revelations, which the Barons wholeheartedly deny, to the Council. So, option A, place a limit on the number of marcher soldiers. will decrease their military, decrease stability, and increase their defiance. Start a campaign debunking the charismatic general, delays the scheme for one season. Or, allow the baron's propaganda to circulate. No one will believe it anyways. And I'm going to Monarch's Golden Choice to delay the scheme for one season. So basically, if you vote for option B, you get 500 money for your personal wealth. Hey, dude, not cool. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, nice. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see where you joined. On the Barons. All right, all right, on the Barons. Start the vote. Remember, Extra money if you vote for B. 500 money, actually, to be specific. You're going to vote C? This is, this is for their scheme. This is how they win. <laughs> yeah, we got another Baron.
No, you have to lower stability and then you'll progress to the next stage as well. You're actually not doing half bad. Alright. You order the Chancellor to launch a counter campaign against General Rudolph. Meanwhile, the Spymaster digs for secrets from his mysterious past. You can buy your time, Your Majesty, but not forever. Their propaganda has taken root in the minds of many. The Baron's stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. Yep, money. Exactly. Uh, I don't know how he's doing that and seducing fish folk at the same time. All right, we will do a clairvoyant visit. Your Highness, Your Majesty, Chief Herald has been having prophetic dreams. It is true. I can part the veil betwixt now and some ways off. Yeah, uh, he's a busy man, apparently. Give me a prophecy, then. I look to the future, and it speaks through me. No more, no less. For one thing, <laughs> Baron Dude Not Cool should be aware should beware of onion soup. You hear that? Better watch that onion soup. <laughs> And the color green will bring bad fortune to noble patrician? The patrician's color is green. But that's my favorite color. Please, your majesty, have him foretell the future for the council. We could gain insight into great mysteries. Alright, so. Whew. Option A, all right, just this once. Begin the visions, 50% chance. Throw this charlatan in the dungeon is a stability check with 10% chance. <laughs> oh God, make Chief Herald an official council advisor. Has a mixed effect on uh, defiance. It will increase probably the chief's trade, increase farming, and it will decrease the kingdom's authority, which, chiefs, is your current goal. I'm just going to leave it straight. Start the vote. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think there's a possible way for me to stop the barons at this point. The strongest military? Uh, I don't know how to do that at this point. All right, no one else wants to vote? Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. We'll go with just this once, begin the visions. Because that hopefully won't be shitty. Yes! Success. Chief Herald spreads a dark velvet cloth onto the floor, sits cross-legged, and closes his eyes. After a moment's silence, he gasps. The gods are good, your majesty. Something wonderful beyond the veil. Let me gather myself so I may understand what lies ahead. Peace and prosperity, your greatness. I see joy spreading throughout the land. Treat good fortune with wisdom, your majesty, for luck turns like a blizzard in the mountains. Beaming, Chief Lady Lemon whisks him out. You think you spot a couple of coins changing hands, but you can't be sure. So, Lady, you basically gave him some money. But you still have 1750 Uh, Yeah, so you're still the richest of all the nobles. <laughs> sure enough, the Chancellor soon reports a new tax treaty with Ashmead that puts the kingdom at a great advantage. <laughs> no, it wasn't me, it was the seer. Harald must have known what he was talking about. 
Stability went up by one, and my treasury went up by 500. I will take that. Oh, marrying under sea. This is still going on. Your Majesty, I've returned from my underwater visit to the Finfolk village, and, well, there's no easy way to say this. I would like you to meet my husband, <laughs> Prince Glorb. You guys called it. That's not quite the right pronunciation, but I love that they're trying. So there was a spark. My magic reed slipped out of my mouth and I almost drowned until Glorb saved me with a kiss. After that, well, it was love. At least this definitely means the Archduke of Saul won't be getting a hold of that island. Prince Glorb has assured me it's ours now, to do with as we please. Absolutely. Anything for my wonderful spouse. Let's see what the council wants to do with our new island. I won't mention my new husband. It'll only complicate matters. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Though I would say the council is in approval. So, option A. Turn it into a military outpost for the coast. We'll increase the coast's military. And increase stability. B. Use it for controlling trade routes. Increases trade and stability. Ew. C. Give it to the Church of the Ninth. Increases faith and stability. Mm. I'm honestly fine with any of those. So, the floor is yours. What do you guys propose? You want to give it to the church? Come on, man. I thought we agreed. Fuck the church. <laughs> yeah, they do all raise stability, but you guys don't have a stability goal anymore. Um. So no further votes? Oh, we got military outpost. Are you fuckers for real right now? <laughs> <sighs> right, you support the Finfolk. The church is against the Finfolk. We'll go with military. <laughs> the new island is an empty little rock, devoid of vegetation. But it's a perfect place to build a fortress. Soon, the coast has command of the surrounding waters. Military went up by three. I thought it was only going to be one. And stability went up by one. Meanwhile, with the Archduke's wedding called off, he becomes the object of mockery throughout Celestath. But he'll survive. After all, there are plenty more fish in the sea. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, it still doesn't out... I'd still have to raise it by two. And I don't think I'm... Yeah. I don't think I can stop you guys with that one. <laughs> because we're praising things now. Up in the north, Chief Lady Lemon has gathered her, her fellow plotters for a hike through the mountains. The council demanded a shake-up, but the king resists all calls to replace his advisors. There's little we can do while the king holds out. But something tells me his position is not as strong as he thinks. Hey, thank you for the follow. The chief's aim is to lower authority to four or less. No real authority lowering options came up. Alright, yeah, you guys are both in the second. Whew. Proposition gunpowder incidents. We'll go with gunpowder incidents. Your Majesty, there's been an in there's been an accident. You recall those gunpowder weapons you gifted us not long past? Our levies don't know how to use them, truth be told. No one does. Recently, a barrel of gunpowder exploded in one of our camps, and that's just one example. I did wonder if it might be an issue. My liege... We were hoping you could find someone to train our officers, or at least some instructional documents. 
All right, guys. Oh, this is for the barons. Hire someone from Kurth. Decreases the treasury by 1,200. Increases the military. And decreases defiance. Let them figure it out on their own. Will decrease stability. Confiscate the weapons for your personal protection. Will lower the baron's military. Increase my authority. And decrease defiance. I'm just going to straight vote it. Your guys' call. <laughs> that was quick. All right. We're going to hire someone from Kurth. Yep. The march is at max of 10 military. Nobles from across the march are grateful for authentic Kurth expertise. The man you hire is gruff and speaks little, but soon has your officers sniping clay pots from 100 yards. These have to be rifled. There's no fucking way they're smoothbore doing that. All right. A proposition. Your Majesty, I have an idea. The best since lined parchment, I dare say. An expedition. To Chur. <laughs> Sounds churlish. <laughs> what a brilliant idea. Aha! I thought you'd agree. You have a lot of wealth at the moment, Your Highness. It's just sitting around collecting dust. Why not make a sound investment and send explorers to Chur? Who knows what they might find? Treasure? Rare materials? Ancient history? A new disease? She's a bit too... Oh. She's a bit too animated when she says the word disease. That sounds like a fine idea, actually, because I do have a lot of money. Her eyes light up from behind her spectacles. Wonderful news. I shall make preparations immediately. Expect a brief on your desk very soon. Now, let's talk about my heir. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My cousin, an adopted son. The assembled nobles break out into polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on adopting an heir. What is his name? Thank you, dude. <laughs> Dom the Second, but of course. Huzzah, Your Majesty. I'm sure little Dom the Second will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the spy master soon. <sighs> I'm not liking how close this is gonna be. <laughs> no. Like, seriously, we don't know what the button does. It might do nothing. It might blow stuff up. I don't know. You could have just ended an entire galaxy with that button press. We've, like, that button has been pushed so many times we still don't know what it does. Truth be told. <laughs> Across the kingdom, commoners and nobles alike are now turning to General Rudolph, who promises to rescue them from the king's weak rule. Oh god. Oh god. Nobody. Nobody. You're possibly destroying entire, like, alternate dimensions. We don't know. You both. God damn it. <laughs> well. Yeah, just clear chat. <laughs> there are daily parades in the general's honor. A cult of personality begins to form. Uh, truth be told, this is not the first time this has happened. There's a reason that this is the most popular redeem that I have. <laughs> Commoners are signing up in droves to fight for Rudolph. His popularity far eclipses the king's. 
Yep, military can't go any higher. In the grand hall of Baron Here Nobody Is's castle, a number of figures are hunched around the hearth, plodding away. Good lord, you're still going. You heard an explosion? Oh, shit. So you might be exploding people's houses, then. Like apartment buildings and shit. That's... You know how many people you could be killing with each button press? That is not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> well. <laughs> Soon, the people will beg us to depose our pathetic king. What if it's babies saved? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Could be anything. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. Milk for the corn flakes. <laughs> the general is in place. It's time for the final blow. What's next? Ooh. All right, barons, this is you guys. Provoke a civil war. The goal is to raise others' defiance or enact a swift and brutal palace coup. Lower authority. Now, the chiefs also have the goal of lowering authority and uh, raising others' defiance. Kind of a tall order. Uh, this is barons only. All right. You're going to kill air, buddy. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you guys are still fucking going. Holy shit. Brutal and efficient. I believe the general will be happy with that. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Not just yet. The king's grip on the kingdom is loosening but it must be weak enough to allow the general inside the palace. For the final stage of their scheme, the barons must lower authority to four or less. Ooh. All right, so final stage. If two or more regions pass a final scheme stage, the winner will be decided at random. If stability, authority, or treasury hit zero and a final scheme stage passes at the same time, the scheme will take priority. If a rebellion ends with a rebellion win and a final scheme stage passes at the same time, the scheme takes priority. The monarch can only win in ambition events, which will appear after you've acquired an heir. <laughs> All right. So, uh, lower authority. So what we have is option B is the only thing that will lower authority. Um... Other options are, well, okay. A to F is decrease barren farming, decrease authority, increase chief trade, increase stability, increase um, patrician's faith, decrease patrician's faith. Oh, Jesus Christ. 8K points. A, welcome. What, what should I call you? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Let's see where you landed. Oh, you landed in the Chiefs. Why can't we just get a damn patrician in here so I can get rid of the motherfucking bot? I had to throw my bot in here so we could start. <laughs> All right. We will start the auction again. Option B is the only one that lowers authority, and both of you guys are trying to lower authority. Start the auction. Yeah, 60 seconds, and I cannot extend this timer. <laughs> I like how it's just a wall of don't press the button with periodically somebody says something in there as it gets shot back up to the top. Uh, I do think you need a space in there. Oh, you guys have... No sign of slowing down either. Ooh. 
This is getting real fucking close. 300 more, holy fuck. Are you actually gonna do it? All right, time is up. Let's see, we have lower authority figures and increased barren trade. So currently barren trade is at a three. Okay, never mind. It must have been at a two and went up to a three. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go through a call for apprentices. Bad news, your highness. A meddling wizard has set up shop in Kolshaven. <laughs> yeah, it is only a one cost redeem, so it's very hard to spend it all. And there's no option to just spend it all, all. I believe it is Pestia, the Lady of Pestilence. Why is this a problem? She's put out a call for new apprentices, which is a rare event. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for many. Droves of unwashed, glory-seeking common folk from all over the north are lining up for their chance. Not just peasants. I have also decided to apply. Oh, I, dude not cool, have also decided to apply. The competition will be fierce, but those common folk... <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> but those common folk are no match. I will be the most powerful noble this council has ever seen. You? You couldn't put your clothes on if it wasn't for your servant's help. We can't let this go ahead. To have a potential wizard on the council would present a clear and dangerous conflict of interest. Then we shall assemble the council. God bless your highness. Or gods bless you, your highness. All right. Um, so, dude not cool is a baron. Option A. <laughs> option A is allow baron dude not cool to become Pestia's appre apprentice. It has a mixed effect on defiance. Option B. Require he forfeits his noble title in order to become an apprentice will cost um i believe it'll cost dude not cool 1500 and increase the treasury by 1500 forbid dude not cool from traveling to kolshaven has a mixed effect on defiance and i will just let you guys have it hey this is out of my hands i don't control All right, we have, ooh, <laughs> shit. All right, you know what? <laughs> it is with my, within my control now. And truth be told, I actually haven't seen this option come up in anyone's stream that I've watched. I kind of want to see what happens if we have a wizard apprentice. <laughs> okay, we have two people threatening as well. Um, I want to see what happen see what happens with apprentice noble. I want to see how this works out. By Morgana's cauldron, how will we keep up with his noble, or how will he keep up with his noble duties if he's spending all his time in the north with this wizard? So the north defiance went up, coast defiance went up, march defiance can't go lower. And what if, gods be good, he actually passes his apprenticeship? There's never been a wizard on the council before. We'll just have to cross that. Oh, you never know. It might liven things up around here. You've nothing to fear from me, your highness. I'll always have the kingdom's interests at heart, even as a wizard. Baron Dude Not Cool sets off immediately on his journey to the north. Pestia's presence in Kolshaven attracts all sorts of visitors, though the power of her latent magic starts to wilt crops for miles around. The north farming went down, and their trade is now modest. Nice.
Now we do the expedition to Chur. Now cast Fireball. But the the room is tiny. I didn't ask the size of the room. I said I cast Fireball. <laughs> I'm learning still. Fair enough. You'll, you'll get there. I believe in you. Your Majesty, I have those plans we discussed for the expedition to Chur. Are we almost ready to leave? Not quite, Your Highness. There are still important decisions to be made. Alright, show me. First, we'll need to decide who has the honor of building your ship. Alright, what about the patrician ship? The patricians are going to construct a mighty galleon in your name. It will be pricey, but unmatched in quality. The chief's ship. The chiefs wish to build a ferocious long ship to cross the sea. It will be well built, but it won't accommodate much on board. The baron's ship. The marcher lords are by no means expert shipbuilders, but they've offered to make a sturdy cog, and they'll do it for free. Ooh. I feel like I kind of have to go with the patricians. Jeez, Baron, sorry, continue with the button. Uh, I don't fear the button. <laughs> Actually. Hmm. I'm going to go with the patricians, I think. We'll see... We'll see if we get any benefit out of this. Next, we must decide who will crew your ship. Tell me about the volunteers. The best of them come at a price. <laughs> Very well, then. Experienced trade ship captains and their crews would be ideal, but won't be free. There are those in the Navy who are equally experienced, but enlisting them would reduce our naval strength for a time. You could also levy amateur peasant crews or even use prisoners, but I don't know how much you could trust them to go to where they need to go. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. We'll hire an experienced crew. I'll make the arrangements. There is one more thing, your majesty. The ship will be large enough to house additional expedition members or store extra cargo you wish to send across the sea. She hands you a list indicating there's room on the boat to fit two options. Why would I want horse stalls on the ship? To bring horses, of course. Well, no shit, but why? Oh, because it's a very large area. Honestly, I, I feel like scholars and horses might be the way to go. Damn, you're still going. All right. Scholars and horses. Scholars. And horses. Hopefully the smell won't unnerve the crew too much. Fantastic. I think that's everything. I shall get to work immediately, your majesty. She picks up her scribbled notes and diagrams and hurries out of the room, her spectacles bouncing slightly on her nose. The ship is completed in record time. Clearly the patricians are eager to impress. Are you really? <laughs> Press? Uh, you see it off from the harbor by the end of the season. The crew are eager and the ship looks sturdy. You can only hope they bring back something worth the investment or come back at all. Press the button, I'm assuming. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what my ambition has. Have I done it? At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a conqueror. You look like or you look like you plan to live up to those words. The kingdom's army is stronger than ever before. Well done, your majesty. 
But to shut down the nobles' scheming for good, we need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. We should crush these disloyal nobles, take command of their armies, and force them to submit. Or, if you're looking to unite the nobles rather than smash them, you could declare war on the Ashmedian Empire. They'll forget their schemes if you win. Oof. Okay, authority and military. Don't have good authority, and you guys are trying to lower that. Farming and military. My farming is also kind of shit. But you guys are actively trying to lower authority, so I am think I'm going to try to go with farming and hope that that gets it done. I've already taken the liber liberty of contacting the Ashmedian amb ambassador. Blech. Greetings, your grace. I'm here to discuss the terms of our upcoming war. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, farming's hard to raise, but you guys are actively... Um, trying to lower authority. So I don't think I'd be able to raise that enough at all. Let me explain something to you barbarians. The Ashmedian Empire is far larger than your kingdom. Didn't you wonder why we never squashed you like a bug? It's because we're divided by internal conflicts. It may seem that the empire is ruled by its emperor. In reality, Ashmed is ruled by its generals who battle endlessly for control of the capital. So why are you here? I am here representing General Thalacanth, whose lands are safely distant from the border. If you were to invade, all we ask is that you send us your signal. We'll launch a civil war, taking advantage of the chaos to bump off some of our own rivals. A bold plan. I will leave you to think on my words. If we take advantage of the Ashmedian Empire's internal divisions, we may actually have a chance. If you beat our oldest enemy, that would shut the nobles up for good. But winning still won't be easy. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's overall farming and military as much as you can. And, of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. <laughs> you guys just keep going with that. All right, we'll end the season, see what we get. Uh, oh, okay. What option are we doing for the patricians? Since uh, the patricians is literally just my auto mod bot account. <laughs> and so, you know, yeah. Do we want like A, B, or C? Actually, no, there might be their latest scheme. I actually don't know if there's going to be an option on this. C? Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. C for the C. 200 more? Jesus Christ, you do need help. You need another set of fingers because uh, they're going to fall off if you keep doing this. Good lord. The treasury is practically empty and the king is struggling to fund his ambitions. We're perfectly placed to offer him a loan. So helpful of us. Indeed, these loan agreements will be as friendly as a bear trap, absolutely loaded with hidden catches in the small print. <laughs> now, watch me work my magic. Good evening, noble patrician. What exactly is the purpose of this meeting? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I heard about the king's recent money troubles, and I thought we could both benefit. Signed here. And here. Hmm, this agreement does seem fair. Very well, I'll sign. The king will be pleased. Good night, noble patrician, and may the ninth bless you. Alright, see? Easy as pie, but it's not enough to bankroll the king. The rest of the kingdom must be in debt to us as well. To advance their scheme, the patricians must have the highest trade of all regions in three seasons okay so the barons are keeping the patricians in check i think and what do we get again fuck the patricians you guys can stay on your regular taxes <clears throat> all 
All right. We will do... Actually, we'll start with the north. Famine. Uh, hello, your majesty. I've traveled all the way from the north to beg you to do something about the price of grain. I can't afford to feed my family. A day of backbreaking work isn't enough to, die, to buy a day's worth of bread. She's right. The grain price in the north is beyond all control. Greedy merchants rake in profit while the common folk starve. Alright, guys. Put a cap on the price of grain is an authority check, 60%. Subsidize grain and ensure it's sold for half its worth. Will decrease my treasury, decrease stability, but increase farming for the chiefs. Import grain from the north and distribute it for free. Will decrease uh, the treasury, have a mixed effect on trade, increase, I'm assuming, the north's personal coffers, increase farming, and increase stability. A free market will correct itself in due time, increases defiance, and decreases stability. Now, if, say, you guys were to go with option C, you get 500 for your personal wealth. Have at it. Ooh. All right. Interesting mix of voting there. Wait for the timer. All right. The North is in your debt, your majesty. The kingdom's coffers open and a tide of free grain floods from the march to the North, putting many Northern merchants out of business, but giving some barons a nice windfall. Okay. That stopped the patrician scheme, at least. That's good. Trade went down in the north. Trade went up in the march. Some baron's wealth has increased, and my treasury has gone down. Nice! Farming went up pretty substantially. The grain proved sufficient to keep the peasants alive until the next harvest, which will hopefully bring better days. Now, irritating visitors the barons. Your majesty, I simply can't stand it any longer. I need you to do something. Who peed in your porridge this morning? I have filthy peasants scrabbling all over my newly built grand bazaar, knocking over stalls, bothering my paying customers. They've heard legends of buried treasure beneath the site. Total nonsense, of course. I need you to keep these greedy treasure grubbing these greedy treasure grubbers off my land. Actually, these rumors might not be nonsense. After conquering the march, King Arald the Great is said to have buried a huge stash of stolen loot, uh, I mean, spoils of war in the area. What are you suggesting? We could search for the treasure ourselves, send a team of diggers to take the place apart brick by brick and dig dip. Wow, dig deep into the foundations. By the ninth, what are you saying? That would destroy the whole place. All right, guys. Option A, take the building apart in search of treasure. Increases defiance, but decreases Baron's trade. Place sentries around the Grand Bazaar to keep treasure hunters at bay. Decreases the treasury and decreases defiance. Wow, only 100 more, though. You're making progress. Or... Dig up a fake treasure hoard to pretend the gold has been found is an authority check with 50%. I will let you guys vote. Oh, you're out? Sleep well, lady. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. Oh, wait, did you join? Oh, we have a patrician. Thank fuck. Take care, lady.
Ugh. All right. Oh, shit. It looks like it's an authority check. I don't have an option on... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shit. I do have an option on this. Actually, I don't think this is going to lower the patricians um, defiance, but I kind of hope it does. I don't think it will. And I'm scared your finger's going to fall off if you keep doing that. Yeah, it's only the march's defiance, damn it. My liege, to build something and then tear it apart would be completely foolish and a waste of precious noble wealth. And then... My ambition for conquest. Hey, what's up, Royal? How you doing? For the last few months, your marshal has been crisscrossing the kingdom. Why is it... I thought you won the last fight and picked up 2,000. Oh. Um. So these are different points. I have a plug-in for my bot. If you do exclamation mark points, it will show you how many you have. Uh, drumming up troops in preparation for your first strike against the Ashmedian Empire. Today, at last, she's returned, and she's brought one of the patricians with her. Your Majesty, the nobles are providing re are proving reluctant to commit their soldiers to the cause. They've sent a delegation to speak with you. I thought you did too, because you won 2,000 out of the last free-for-all. Your August Majesty, of course we all support a war with the accursed dogs of Ashmead. Of course we do. We're more patriotic than anyone. But we're concerned about the harvest. Your marshal is telling us to raise all our able-bodied levies. If we do that, who's going to gather the crops? The kingdom could starve. <laughs> Couldn't we just tell the peasants to eat something else? Cake, maybe? Yeah, well, we wouldn't want that. Just damned cowardice, if you ask me, your majesty. But all the nobles are echoing this nonsense. The fools are worried about going hungry for a few years. Until we can persuade them that the kingdom will survive, they won't commit their full forces to our banner. Assure Lord Patrician Warifine that the kingdom can survive a few bad harvests. 60% farming check. Damn it. Regrettably, your August Majesty, we just can't commit to a war right now. The kingdom would starve. Damn cowards, the lot of you. Don't call us cowards. My ancestors have a proud tradition of bravely sending off peasants to die on Ashmedian fields, and I wouldn't dare disrespect that. That is amazing. Just give us time to build up supplies first. I couldn't bear to go an entire year without brunch. It proves impossible to convince your nobles to lend their banners to your crusade against Ashmead, not while the granaries stand empty. To improve your chances of victory, focus on increasing the kingdom's farming and military as much as possible. Ooh. Yeah, that might be a challenge, but, you know, I have full faith you can do that. The challenge will decrease in difficulty with each failed attempt. All right, on to the next season. It's, holy shit, 15 seconds and automatically end. I'm just going to keep what I've got. All right. <clears throat> Inappropriate magic. I want to see this one. Horrifying, what happened to you? 
Um, are you okay? Gah, your serene highness. Help me. I've been cursed, withering away. Dude, not cool to blame. Dude, not cool. <laughs> Look, I didn't expect Pestia's spell to do that. Anyway, Warafine stole my prized Atashi toothbrush last week. I only wanted to give him a toothache. Unimaginable pain. Please, by the ninth, make it stop. Depths below. This cannot go unpunished. Your esteemed, your esteemed highness. Why is your body back to normal? That's weird. A moment later, Warafine's skull falls off and he collapses to the floor in a pile. Lord Warafine died. Warafine the second has joined the council. All right. There is an authority check on A. 50% force dude not cool to abandon his apprenticeship with Pestia. Option B increases defiance. Hang dude not cool and be done with it. Option C, do nothing. Mixed effect on defiance. I'll let you guys uh, <clears throat> pick and choose. Hey, this might not be up to me. Of course, you guys want to keep Dude Not Cool as an apprentice. Ooh. No other votes? Actually, do we have anyone else online right now? You went to bed, and you're the bot. Well, yeah, he's a barren wizard. I mean, yeah, I honestly can't blame you for that. <laughs> Fuck. I still want to see what else happens with a uh, wizard noble. And I... Well, this will... Well, uh, the patricians can already revolt anyways. <clears throat> but in a battle of arms, I have faith we can succeed. Defiance went up, defiance went up. Defiance can't go lower. What a farce. That was murder, plain and simple. But the other nobles look away and shrink under Warafine the Second's gaze. No one wants to anger someone with Dude Not Cool's power, even if he's still a mere apprentice. Oof. All right. There was that. Oh, a kraken. Coast will remember that. Ah, yeah. Truth be told, that's kind of what I'm scared of. A kraken. A real life, honest to ninth kraken just outside my harbor on the western shore or off the western shore we should send our navy to subdue the beast at once a kraken has every advantage in a sea battle your majesty perhaps a lighter touch is preferable it said kraken can be appeased by an offering of living creatures heretical nonsense you cannot be considering this your majesty all right a send in the patrician's navy 50% military check. B. Appease the Kraken with a sacrifice is a 50% farming check. C. Let it be is a 55% random chance. I'm going to let you guys just decide because I don't know. Ugh. I mean, honestly, I feel like regardless, there's going to be a chance to anger the Kraken. You've seen this? I don't want to send the Navy. 
I want to kill the Kraken. Every time it failed, there's a first for everything. Boom! There's a fucking first for everything! <laughs> The Navy takes to the sea after the Kraken. A terrible battle ensues, and the creature inflicts heavy losses before sinking, stone dead beneath the waves. Aww, the military went down, though. The patricians interpret the victory as a sign of the Ninth God's direct intervention. <laughs> they celebrate, ironically enough, with a number of debaucherous parties. Stability went up, faith went up. Defiance went down. Hells yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm honestly a little surprised that that actually worked. I was hoping it would work, though. The Archbishop's Request. What the fuck do you want? Your Majesty, I wish to speak with you about the situation in the North. No. The North worships the Northern Gods. That's fine. Stay the fuck out of it. Too long have the Northerners been allowed to worship their heathen tree gods in brazen defiance of the Ninth God. What did I just say? Let it be. Walk away. Oh, hell yeah. Well, you know, Royal, I'm glad I could help with that. <laughs> Allow me to send Grab some of my best- Grab his dick and twist it! I am not grabbing the Archbishop's dick and twisting it. Fuck that. <laughs> Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the north. It's for the good of the realm. Mm. I'll bring the council in on it. Of course, your majesty. I would expect nothing less. Alright. 50% stability check to send missionaries to the north lowers defiance to deny the archbishop's request for a mission. I'll let you guys pick. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure the archbishop can. I'm just not going to be the one helping with that. Release the dick twister to get him. <laughs> you know what? Now I need a dick twister. I want this. Hey, no worries. Uh, B is going to win regardless because we have three out of four people on it. Everybody just decided fuck the church. And you know what? I'm fine with that. He's being kind of an ass about it. Very well. If this is the will of the council, then so be it. Oh, so when I tell... So when I tell you no, you start spreading rumors about how I'm a baby kicker. When the council decides it, you're cool with that? The fuck? I'm glad that the council respects our sovereignty enough to leave us to our own business. Gods bless you. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I kicked no babies. I'll have you know, I love babies. They're so cute, I just want to squish them. All right, end of the season. So we have the barons still want to lower authority to four or less. The chiefs want to lower authority, authority to four or less. And the patricians want to have the highest trade. Hey, welcome back. capital proposition yeah no chiefs at this point cannot win because to progress their scheme the barons would win um so they either well they they kind of have to pick a side either the patricians the barons or me <laughs> and considering that i have chief bodyguards i'm hoping they pick me um grand our soldiers are renowned throughout the kingdom and beyond We've awarded, uh, we've awarded so many medals, they can serve as full plate mail in a pinch, my liege. <laughs> Granted, we've had our issues with them getting restless, but even so, they've gone from strength to strength. 
Why don't I transfer some of our best troops to help police the capital? They'd improve security and show the Marcher army for what it is. The pride of the kingdom. You want to station soldiers in the capital. Your greatness. Think of the threat to your security. Let us make use of them instead. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so of the active people, we have two barons, one chief, and one patrician. All right, so option A, bring the soldiers to the capital, lowers the treasury, increases the marcher pocketbooks, mixed effect on defiance, increases authority, and increases stability. Order them to help out the chiefs. Uh, mixed effect on defiance. Lowers farming. And raises military. Fuck. Leave the troops in the march where they belong. Increases defiance. And lowers authority. <laughs> Fuck. And, I mean, if you guys vote for A, you get 500 wealth. Just saying. You guys can have more money if you vote for A. <laughs> a or else you're going to sacrifice your fingers? <laughs> All right, well that, wow, it's unanimous. Uh, dude, that means you have almost 3K. Jesus. Oh wait, no, cause it's, oh my God. Yeah, you do get 2K. You're gonna have 2,400. Holy shite. All right, we'll continue. That was apparently an easy choice for everyone. Follow the money, right? The barons are delighted and praise your name throughout the march and to anyone who will visit. Some of the barons' wealth has increased. That is fair. I have seen games where a couple people have been up in the 5k range. It's honestly kind of terrifying. Soon, squads of proud marcher infantry in heavy boots and fur hats are patrolling the capital, barking orders to anyone they see misbehaving. Other nobles aren't so pleased. Seeing soldiers in marcher uniforms on the streets makes them very nervous. But crime goes down, and the people of the capital are happy. Stories spread of the new guards re rescuing cats from trees and children's balls from rooftops. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Um, doing another one after this, I will start a new dynasty. Honestly, I know very little about Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not going to be much help to you there. Roving Hunters. Your Majesty... Two barons are on their way home from an epic hunt and seek shelter for the night. In exchange, they're willing to gift you a rare trophy and provide meat for an extravagant feast if you so wish. I feel like I have an idea about what might be happening. Bring them in and set the tables. Hey. I'm not going to make you do anything, dude. <laughs> the table is set for a delectable feast. Though your wife doesn't want or though your wife doesn't join, you enjoy the company of the two barons while the storm rages outside. The meat they provide is said to come from their latest kill, Hortusk, an ancient boar the size of a castle. Hey, thank you for the follow, Amelia. You're not quite sure you believe their story, but it certainly tastes better than anything you've had for a long time. 
Amelia, if I may ask, how did you find me? But later that night, you hear strange noises coming from their quarters, like a pig squealing and snorting. What on Celeste Ath did they bring in here? <laughs> Why do you have to press the button? Well, hell yeah. Investigate the noise. I can understand that. I have uh, <clears throat> done that before. Oh, just once. Okay, good. Your finger won't fall off from just one more button press. You creep down the corridors and push open the door. The former barons stand before you, transformed into hideous porcine beasts that stand on two legs with snouts, tusks, and floppy pink ears. Your majesty, don't look at us. What in the devil is wrong with you? It was the meat, my liege. We hunted, and, we hunted and butchered an ancient, legendary beast. We were told it was cursed, but we were also told devouring the beast, the spirit of the forest itself, would bestow great power. We never thought this would be our reward. I'll keep your secret. Thank you, your majesty. A thousand thanks. Why? Because fucking were pigs. We think the transformation is temporary, but it may return in the future. Not to worry, we'll find ourselves a cure when we get back to the march. If anyone finds you, this meeting never happened. They nod furtively and scramble out of the room. The next morning, you part ways with the barons, who look like ordinary humans again. It's not obvious if the curse was temporary or if it's merely hidden during the day. You think back to last night's feast. They thank you for your hospitality, gifting you some of their hunting trophies, including the pincers of a colossal crab from the coast known as Heart Pincher. All right, <clears throat> can I make the farming check? Your Majesty, I've been trying to gather troops, but your nobles are still concerned over the kingdom starving. They're refusing to raise their levies. Assure the nobles that the kingdom can survive a few bad harvests. 80%? Come on now, give it to me. Really? Regrettably, your esteemed highness, we, can't, we just can't commit a war to a war right now. The kingdom would starve. Damn cowards, the lot of you. To improve your chances, uh, blah, 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 blah. Same thing. Improve farming and military. That'll get easier next season. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Our profits are down. Our companies are being outcompeted by the damn barons of all people. How could this happen? The patricians' aim is to have the highest trade. All right, auction start. We have the patricians want to increase their trade and lower the barons' trade. Um, the barons and the chiefs want to decrease authority. So, in A, decrease baron farming. B, will decrease authority. Uh, C, will increase the chiefs farming. And D, will decrease the uh, chiefs trade. E, will increase the patricians trade. And F, will increase authority. You guys ready to go? How did you end up with 32k? Fuck me. All right. If you guys are ready, I will start the timer. You guys will have a minute to do it. Again, I cannot stop this timer. So, fund your buildings. All 
All right, currently is E is in the lead with a thousand. Nobody else has any funding. Oh, B is leading with 3,000. E has 2,500 in second. And those are the only two being built, apparently. Five seconds left. Alright. Looks like we got the theater. Decreasing my authority by one, unfortunately. And the Grand Bazaar. Increasing the patrician's trade by one. You're hoarding. What, are you just trying to see how high you can get? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> it's my money, damn it. <laughs> Begging for scraps. When Lord Patrician Warafine the Second enters the council chambers, his clothes are stained and rumpled, and his face is haggard. The servants have left my estate. The walls are crumbling. The kitchen is bare. By the ninth god, what's wrong? Goons hammer at my door, demanding repayment of uncountable debts. I am utterly penniless. I beg for whatever spare coin the council can give. All right. <laughs> Baron dude not cool as wealthy. He should help. With a 90% trade check. The crown should provide funds from the treasury. Minus 1,000 treasury plus 300 wealth. And defiance goes down. You must deal with it yourself is an 80% trade check. I'll just start the vote. Let you guys have at it. Oh god, alliances have been made. <laughs> hey, Owlman, welcome in. Actually, hold on, let's see. Where did Owlman land? Ooh, we got another chief. Which is actually good, because Lady Lemon went to bed. So hopefully we can get another person joining shortly. Get ourselves another patrician, because that is my bot that I had to throw in back when there were only two people who wanted to play. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that, dude. Hey, Emilio, welcome in. Let's see where it puts you. Hey, yeah, we got another patrician. It's my money. I shouldn't be forced to spend it. Hey, it's not me. It's the council, man. Fucking council. And it... Oh, it succeeded. Nice. Okay. So, um, Warafine now has 750. And poor dude who is now spamming the button that is not to be pressed again, <laughs> and nobody apparently, has been dropped to 3650. By the ninth, really? Can Lord Patrician the II not scrabble up some cash himself? But with so much wealth at his disposal, he has no choice but to honor the council's decision. He reluctantly hands over the gold, but word gets around about your lack of generosity probably spread by dude not cool and his allies yeah sounds about right a fossil unearthed good news your highness the new bazaar is swarming with patrons we even started expanding it though there is a small problem while digging more foundations thank you for the hydro Thanks for their stretch. <laughs> and thank you for That's the stretch. That's not supposed to pop. Oh my god, fucking everything just popped. 
You're going to spam the button, but you're going to hit hydrate and stretch just because Press I didn't make the decision. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Builders found bones in the rock. From the size of the things, the beast they came from must be larger than the Grand Bazaar itself. Like a giant spooky scary skeleton? You know I have to do that one. He lowers his voice. The builders are saying that it might be a, you know, a flying reptile. No one dares button, say the button, name button, these button, days. Button, 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 <laughs> button, 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 button. Yeah, your mouse probably isn't too happy, huh? <laughs> and back then, wait, oh, it's been seven hundred years since a dragon was seen in the kingdom, and back then it was catastrophic. <laughs> All right, in A, carry on building. Who cares about some about some old fossils? will decrease defiance. B, carefully excavate the bones, will increase trade, and decrease faith. C, don't mess with dragons, abandon the Grand Bazaar entirely, will increase defiance and decrease trade. I'm just gonna let you guys decide on this one. Getting some splitting here. Hmm. Actually, that makes a lot of sense that you guys are going to vote for... Oh, fuck. That's going to be enough, ain't it? Defiance went down. Oh, wait, oh, that was the chiefs. Not, I thought the barons had the Grand Bazaar. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, welcome to the coast. Okay, yes. The army? Yes, the army. Since we cannot win via the scheme, North will North can still try doing it via rebellion. Yes, you can. <clears throat> Truth be told, though, um, if the barons are on my side for a rebellion, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Although if the patricians join in a rebellion, it would be a 10v10, which would be pretty fucking massive battle. Fevered Dreams. Uh, there's Send an Assassin. I have done that only once, granted. And I'm pretty sure the assassin... I paid the assassin. Me. I'm the one that paid the assassin in somebody else's stream. Never heard from him again. The fucker took off with my money. And he was not cheap, let me tell you. Still butthurt about that. <laughs> Over the course of the autumn, you find yourself plagued by horrific dreams. You're running through open woods full of screams as your colossal jaws bite beast and human alike. You are always hunting, always hungry. So you know, your majesty. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> the council has noticed your lack of sleep as you become tired and irritable during court sessions. Something must be done. Ah, oh, fuck, that dropped my authority even more. Actually, that's shit. <clears throat> Possibly Werewolf King. I'm tempted to ignore it. See what that does, but I'm also tempted to seek out a woods woods witch for folk remedy. I think I'm going to go for the remedy. We'll see what happens there. While the spy master keeps an eye out for rumors of magic, you begin your search in your spare time. 
Yeah, no, authority is four, which is where you want it. This event itself dropped authority by one, which is all you needed. You can only hope that you find someone before it's too late. Yeah, and that's the end of it. So, I better... Ooh. The gods have finally answered our prayers, my friend. The council demands that the king's advisors resign. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think you just wanted to, and you started doing it. <laughs> and the king is too weak to resist. Our replacements are waiting in the wings. Once our advisors surround the king... Oh, yeah, you were forced to pay money, that's why. We'll have complete control of what he hears. We will shape his reality. <laughs> oh, well. We'll treat the king like a mushroom, keep him in the dark, and feed him dung. That, rude. You got it. The question is, what should we do with this control? All right, this is for the chiefs. Raise stability or raise others' defiance. Uh, yeah. Honestly, that's what I'd vote for, too. <laughs> All right. Come on. We'll turn the king into our powerless little puppet. Dance, puppet, dance. Sometimes it's scary how much you get into this, but I, it's a great plan. What now? Now the kingdom must return to prosperity and will ensure we get all the credit. The council will see this as a demonstration of our competence. They'll insist on sweeping out the old guard. At that point, we've won. For the final stage of their scheme, the chiefs must raise stability to at least nine. Mm. So, none of these options particularly benefit me. Hey, the patricians make 500 wealth selling snake oil that they claim cures scrofula. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Bribe the barons and you stop? You're about to have 4k once this is done. Oh, poor nobody's only gonna <laughs> have 600. <laughs> we'll just go common tax. By the way, if your finger falls off, um, you don't have to let me know, just go straight to the ER, you know? Get that shit reattached. <laughs> Please, I'm poor. Hey, with this, you lose 100 wealth, but because of the trade, you still, you gain 200, so it comes out to a net gain of 100. Still making a profit. A surprise visitor. Your Majesty, you remember Rudolf, the famous marcher general? He's arrived for a surprise visit, and he wasn't about to take no for an answer. Damn it. Very well. Send him in. Your Majesty, what a lovely surprise. How long has it been since we last saw each other? Hmm? A pleasure to see you. And you, my dear king, what a pleasure it is. Tell me, how is Emmy? You know, she's definitely missed back in the march. And the little one, how is he? Oh, but where are my manners? You want to know why I'm here, don't you? Yeah, pretty sure I lost. That's when you notice a contingent of soldiers accompanying Rudolph. Their hands rest on their sword hilts, their faces a tapestry of grimaces. A chill creeps up your spine. I do have chief honor guards. No sooner have you raised your hand do the general soldiers leap into action, just as your warriors are raising their weapons. They're pincushioned by a hail of 
bolts. One strikes you in the chest. Damn it. Noise. A battle erupts in the chamber all around you. Clutching at the, the wound in your chest, you grunt in pain and collapse into a chair. But to your horror, the honor guard are vastly outnumbered. You curse your fool of a marshal for letting these armed soldiers through your gate until you realize she was probably in on it too. As the last of your loyal followers is vanquished, Rudolph sits casually on the, ma on the map table in front of you, a dagger held tightly in his hand. Any last words? Go to the Seven Hells. I'll see you there. The general thrusts his dagger into your heart. The last things you hear are the cries and death throes of your servants and advisors as the marcher soldiers slaughter them in cold blood. King Dom was slaughtered, along with anyone in the palace who opposed General Rudolph's rule. The old order was torn apart and a new one written in blood. The chief's attempts to replace the king's advisors never panned out. One night, Chief Lady Lemon awoke to find a smiling spy master holding a knife to her throat and kindly asking her to desist. The patricians failed to turn the kingdom's debts against it and the moment had passed. Ever practical, they set about collecting interest and hoarding wealth, waiting for the time to scheme once more. The brutality of the coup shocked everyone, peasants and nobles alike, but it was efficient. None were left to contest the ascension of General Rudolph to the throne, though the other barons began worrying that their would-be puppet was actually the one holding the strings. Hey, three years, nine months, I feel like that's pretty good. Whew. Eh. Alright. So because we had some people left and that was definitely very unbalanced. We'll start a new dynasty. Once again, I am Monarch Dom of the Dynasty Danik. He him. Begin. Uh, play on Twitch. Continue. Alright. Who do we want to see in this one? <laughs> Alright, what factions do you guys feel like seeing? Because uh, we just did the Barons, the North, and the Patricians. Grandees? Alright, we'll throw the Grandees in there. Any other preferences? Grandies counts. Alright, do we have a preference for the third? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You gonna call it a night? Alright, and Patricians. Alright, well, nobody, thank you for coming in, as always. It's just a good time having you around. <laughs> I hope you sleep well. Alright. Let's get this shit started. Go ahead and join. Don't forget, it is exclamation mark join, space, and then pronouns. Um, either he, she, or they. If you do not add a pronoun, it will automatically add you in as a they. And I'm going to let this go for a little bit. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back.
Ugh. All right, did I miss anything in chat? Let's see. Doesn't look like I missed anything specific. Hell yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, I can probably log out of my bot account off on the side now since we don't need that to fill in a third. <laughs> Desperate times, right? And then... All right, and we are good there. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's do the council introductions. Holy shit, did you actually clear out all your points? Damn, dude. Color me impressed. You flew through a lot of points on that one. All right, <laughs> congratulations. Now that you're the king, your first official duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the desolate east, the wealthy coast, and of course, the scorching south. We'll start with the east. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your grace. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Then we'll go with the coast. A pleasure, your esteemed highness. I hope to see your kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. And now, for the south. May the ninth god bless your reign, your holiness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. And with that, the introductions are done. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. The coronation. All right, guys. Your majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Why the hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Ah, <sighs> very well then. What must I do? As is the as is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Let's get it over with then. Shall we call the nobles in? All right, guys. Start the vote. What are you guys feeling? went to bed. So there is Owlman, if you want to vote. You do have a chance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, voting is tied at two. Honestly, it's a classic, and it's the one I almost always vote for. We'll go with King in the River. <laughs> it's decided. The king will be thrown in the river. Oh, that takes half the fun out of it, you know? Let me get changed out of my nice robes. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. When you climb back up the banks, soaking wet, the 
Chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are some of the nobles stifling giggles? And path to victory. How do we want to win this? Your Majesty, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Hmm. Oh yeah, we can go back now. I think I'm going to go Peacekeeper. I'm going to aim for stability. An Admiral aim. I suggest, over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's stability as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, Your Majesty. Is that it? I am season. Now, there we go. Nadia of the... Guth to the Jilksbruk lineage. <laughs> well known southern prodigy. Stands bathed in sunshine, speaking softly. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the south, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unwashed. All right, grandees, what do you want? Lower stability, highest faith, or to raise your own farming? Highest faith. Well... Considering the faith stats across the board. Yeah, fair enough. All right, grandies want higher faith. There's all sorts of heresy in the capital and the grandees intend to expose it. To expose it. First, they must ensure the South is beyond reproach. To advance their scheme, the grandees must be in the re must be the region with the highest faith in three seasons. Yay! Look at that mission accomplished. <laughs> Mezii of the Amelia Dynasty, sinister Eastern Enigma, leans delicately on a podium, speaking in a melodious voice. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king Dom wears the crown. All right, what do the counts want? Raise stability, lower own faith, or lower own defiance. Interesting. I see, I see the exact opposite of the grandees and also already accomplished. Oh. What can I? Who is the other count? Owlman, if you're around, you can vote. Wait, right? Yeah. Oh, God, counts and grandees. No. At least for three seasons. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, the Counts plan to induct the king into their secret cult and offer him immortality in exchange for the throne. First, they must reduce the power of the Eastern Church. To advance their scheme, the Counts must lower their faith to four or less in three seasons. Hey, what do you know? It's already accomplished. <sighs> Cyril of the Dude Not Cool family, eccentric coastal prodigy, scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk, muttering in frustration. <laughs> Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Dom. Something must be done. All right, what do the patricians want? Lowest defiance, lower the treasury, or lower authority. 
Bang, vote. Wait, I have a son. <laughs> yes, you do. Well, there we have it. We're going to lower authority. I'm going to have to work real hard for this one, aren't I? The patricians plan to turn the throne into a commodity that can be bought and sold at will. First, they must ensure that the rule of law is crumbling. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower authority to four or less in three seasons. Hey, what do you know? It's already done. Fuck! All right, laws of the land. What do I get to choose? What do I get to choose? I can combat the authority drain, or I can sow chaos with a 15 second automatic finish timer. Not sure I want to be that much of a dick, though. <laughs> Feels a little dickish to do that, you know? All right. So let's see. Giant spiders. Your grace, a forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. Some are as big as horses. The trees are shrouded in webs and travelers are going missing. We must put a stop to this. All right, guys. A, send in the military to wipe them out. 60% chance military check. B, burn it. Burn it with fire. Lower trade lower farming and increased defiance i'm assuming of the counts <laughs> c put a bounty on large spider legs minus 900 in the treasury or d we must learn to coexist with giant spiders increasing the defiance i'm assuming of just the counts <laughs> um I'm just gonna leave it as a standard vote. I leave it up to y'all. Oh, wow. Wow. You guys like the bounty idea, huh? <laughs> Burn it. All right, and since we have five active people currently, C is going to win regardless. You send an urgent message to the Adventurers Guild. The next day, a band of scarred ruffians with impractical weapons appear before the council to hear your problem. Treasury drops. Giant spiders, is it? Damn it, those things give me the creeps. Hmm. I could say have some backbone. We're offering a oh, we're offering a bounty. Has the exact wait. They all have the exact same effect. So then why is this an option? Whatever. We're option we're offering a bounty for every spider leg you bring back here. We'll do our best. No promises. Soon, adventurers are stacking spider legs high in your throne room and walking out with pockets full of gold. Countess Amelia is pleased to inform you that her spider problem has been mostly solved, and merchants are returning to the roads. Trade is now prosperous, it went up by two. Defiance is now loyal, went down by one. And stability is now steady, it went up by one. Ooh. The Missing Nobles. Your August Majesty, a number of patricians have gone missing in the East. They traveled to Count Owlman's castle to negotiate a trade agreement, but they should have returned weeks ago. The missing patricians never even made it to my lands. They most likely got lost. The East is a dangerous place. Where could they have gone? Just north of my estate lies the Moldpatter Forest. To the west, the Twilight Lakeland. And to the south, Illyrian's Haunt. 
I like to live remotely. It does wonders for the soul. Who's gone missing? Anyone I care about? Three patricians are missing. Quinta, Cyril, and Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool. I'm certain that this is some kind of ploy by Count Owlman. In a few months' time, he'll quietly offer us a ransom. Blood and stars, don't be so foolish. We'll find them. We just have to decide where to focus our efforts. Mm. I'm just going to let it be. You can search the Moldpatter Forest, the Twilight Lakeland, Illyrian's Haunt, or nowhere. Count Owlman will instead be executed for abducting them, which will increase defiance and increase authority. I'm going to leave that fully up to you guys, though. Wait. Amelia, you're going against your own fellow count? Fucking cutthroat. All right. The execution cannot be outvoted at this point. But, but, I did nothing. I... Off with you, kidnapper. You heard the council. Yeah, that does go against it because it raises authority. The stunned count is promptly dragged outside to have his head liberated from his shoulders. But after searching his keep, no trace of the missing nobles is found, prompting further fury from the counts. Count Owlman offered to help in finding your missing nobles, but you execute him instead? Now your nobles are surely dead, and Owlman died for nothing. Owlman has died. Owlman the second has joined the council. Dude Not Cool has died. Dude Not Cool the second has joined the council. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, time to choose an honor guard. Uh, you died because you were one of the missing counts. Uh, not counts, one of the missing nobles. If you had chosen the correct place to search, so it was basically a one in three chance of being found. Yeah. Your Holiness, I have a brilliant idea. Why don't you hold a battle royale to choose your honor guard? If you let us host it in the south, I'll even pay for it. The spectacle will boost our economy massively. And, of course, I'm confident the Southern Battle Nuns will win. Your Majesty, this is... pointless. Why don't you just choose your honor guard and have done with it? Hey, Jewel, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome back. So, uh... I'm just going to call you Brooke. <laughs> Brooke, how do you feel about paying 750 for a battle royale? Cuz that sounds kind of fun, right? Oh yeah, I believe it. 30 days without internet. Oof. I'm uh it's it's good to see you. You have been absolutely missed everywhere that I've been. So, I'm glad you're able to at least pop in some places here and there. All right, Royal Battle Royale it is. A week later, you receive word that the Battle Royale is due to begin. Held in Grandy here, no... Oh, wait, was that... Was that nobody? That might have been nobody. You receive word that the Battle Royale is due to be held... Be held in Grandee, here nobody is his vineyard. You travel down to spectate, along with a horde of murder fans from across the kingdom. <laughs> murder fans. Welcome, one and all. Okay, well then there you go. I mean, he went to bed, so whatever. 
Today's competitors are Eastern Knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose, Champion Gladiators from the Coastal Arena, and the Grandees Battle Nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. Who will you support, Your Holiness? Oh yeah, that is nobody. Yep, nobody footed the bill for that. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There's not a nobody option, so I actually have to pick somebody to support. I'm thinking Eastern Knights. Yeah, we're going to support the Knights. Hmm. <laughs> I think our southern battle nuns will surprise you. Watch the fight. The bell rings. The battle nun leaps forward, her sword flashing. The gladiator deflects with his shield, grunting with the effort. The gladiator backs away, straight, un straight into the range of the knight's sword. She swings a flash of gleaming steel, but he somehow dodges, leaving a thin red scar across his torso. The three fighters dart back and forth, almost too fast for your eye to follow. Once, twice, a blade finds its mark, blood sprays, and finally, someone stands victorious. It's the Eastern Knight, her sword raised in triumph above her head, her opponents lie dead at her feet. <laughs> By the ninth, they must have cheated, or we just got unlucky. Regardless, you have the honor guard you wanted, your highness. Oh, and that even raised authority. I wouldn't have thought that. But all right. Now we get to end the season. All right. So. Option A will raise stability. Option B will lower the faith of the counts. Option C will increase grandee farming. Option D will increase Grandy Faith. Option E will decrease authority, and option F will decrease Patrician's trade. You guys ready to start bidding for buildings? Let's fucking go. Again, you have one minute. I cannot stop this timer. When the timer is up, the timer is up. I have no control. Well, thank you, Jewel. I just now noticed that message. Sorry about that. <laughs> Only one fund. Interesting. At this point, literally throwing one at a building will also get it funded. Okay, there we go. Farming and faith is about to go up for the grandees. Oh, ooh, ooh, last second change. The theater. Okay, so authority goes down and grandee farming goes up. Hmm. Fucking A. All right, let's do a nice soak first. Drakov's bones, what in the ninth's name is that smell? A bit of lavender oil, a little rose. Well, it's vile. Stay away from me, if you please. Hmm, <laughs> won't do you much good. Everyone in the south is bathing these days, all thanks to the aqueduct's pristine waters. Why, I've been bathing nearly once a fortnight. You're getting rid of the natural stink that wards off disease. Hey, well, dude, take care, and thank you for coming in and hanging out. Have yourself a nice time zone, all right? Mm, we'll go with you smell rather nice, actually. Why, thank you, your majesty. In fact, the council should establish public bathhouses in cities all across the kingdom. 
Drakov's bones. Really? Doesn't warm water pucker the skin? Alright, guys. Warn the kingdom about the dangers of bathing. Somehow is going to increase trade. I'm not sure for who. Have the king bathe in public to show the benefits? Is an authority check. 50%. Build the bathhouses. It is going to cost the uh, treasury 1500 Increase stability. Increase somebody's trade. Probably the grandees. And add 300 Probably to... Probably to Brook. Hmm... I'm going to say Monarch's vote is going with build the bathhouses. We'll start the vote. And I do believe with dude gone and nobody sleeping... Okay, yeah, that's four votes out of, you know, six people total, present and not. Go back on that. We're building the bathhouses. Work on the bathhouses begins immediately with the grandees overseeing development. True, the counts grumble about getting soft and smelling like a grandee, but they'll say anything. Across the land... Holy fucking trade. Across the land, everyone is smelling much sweeter, and the grandees are all the richer for it. Mm, we'll find a spouse and then see a late night visit. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid your mother. Your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. I've been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men? Women? Or do you not mind? Mm, I'll go any. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. A late night visit. One evening, you're sorting through paperwork in your office when Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool II appears at the door, swaying slightly and stinking of booze. Uh, your majesty? So sorry to speak to you in this condition. <clears throat> wait. I'm sure this can wait till morning. You lose 300 wealth. Let me get you a glass of water. Same. Ninth above, woman, you're drunk. Same. What the fuck kind of choice is this? Let me get you a glass of water. Glash of whiskey. Whiskey. Did you say? Don't mind if I do. Anyway, I just need to tell you, if the archbishop asks you about what happened to his hat, tell him I'll pay for a new one. I was desperate. And the... Privy wash occupied. Oh, God. Okay, that's why it's all losing money. She stumbles away, knocking over a priceless vase. You make a mental note to charge them for the damage. It's surely not a coincidence that the Archbishop arrives in your throne room the next day, looking even grumpier than usual and hatless. Your Majesty, there is a plague afflicting this kingdom, a curse more powerful than any wizard could cast. I speak, of course, of alcohol. People are spending their evenings in alehouses rather than in prayer. We must ban this vile vice. <clears throat> All right. No such law will be pass. Will be passed. Decreases faith. Limit the opening hours of taverns. 
increase or decreases stability and increases faith. Make the sale of alcohol illegal, decreases stability, decreases faith, and decreases authority. Oof. Oof. Okay, well... Mm. I'm going to... I'm going to vote for A. So, uh... Yeah, you guys can vote as you please. Ooh. Let's see what we end up with. Hell yeah. No such laws will be passed. And... Boom. Yeah, there's no such law. The ninth god will judge this council for it condemns so many of his worshippers to temptation. Authority went up. Faith in the coast went down. Uh, faith in the east went down, and so did faith in the south. But the south still has the highest faith. Now we end the season. Uh, I think just common tax across the board. Yeah, just common tax is going to be fine. Oh, the patricians invent insurance, making 500 while fires rack the coast. The other nobles get 200 wealth each. Bankruptcy loot. Ooh, dear God. All right. Bounty fraud. Your Majesty, you recall your bounty on spider legs? There have been certain financial irregularities surrounding the initiative. Though the spider problem has already been solved, we've still got dozens of bounties being claimed every day. In fact, we now owe the Adventurers Guild over 2,000 gold. That can't be right. I've checked and double-checked the amounts, I'm afraid. I took the liberty of asking the spy master to investigate. My spies in the guild tell me that they're breeding giant spiders in basements across the kingdom. They've even bred a variety with extra legs. This is obviously against the spirit of the agreement, but we didn't technically forbid it, so we still owe them 2,053 gold, legally speaking. All right, well, the options, cancel the bounty scheme and refuse to pay anything, lower stability, farming, trade, and faith, or arrest the prominent guild members involved with this scheme. 40% chance military check. Have at it. This is kind of a shit show either way. Don't like it. Can we get one more vote? There's another vote. All right. We're just gonna say, fuck you, I ain't paying. Infuriated by your refusal to pay, the Adventurers Guild goes on strike. Across the kingdom, ghouls, hordlings, hobs, and other monsters are permitted to run rampant. Damn it. Dungeons erupt with eldritch horrors as ancient relics gather dust. The potion industry craters. To make matters worse, once the bounty is cancelled, the guild has no more use for their spiders, so they simply release them into the wild. Thousands of them. Ooh. Colossal spiders soon overrun the entire kingdom. The fields are swamped in webbing. Traveling the roads becomes an impossible risk. The peasants lament that the ninth god has abandoned them. 
Stability dropped. Farming dropped for everyone. <sighs> Trade dropped for everyone. And faith dropped for everyone. Jesus Christ. Bankruptcy looms. The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Well, I know what happened to it. Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. We could You could get a bank loan, or sell off the crown jewels, or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tombs. Most were buried with piles of gold, or so I've heard. Ah, uh, yeah. It is always the coast saying that they suffer the most. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen the mint, and I also understand the concept of inflation. So. Mm. No good options, though. We could sell the crown jewels. Yeah, we'll sell the crown jewels. You auction off dozens of necklaces, five gold rings, and a jeweled scepter to the nobles. It is a humiliating affair. Selling off symbols of power makes you look weak and desperate. I kind of am desperate. Oh, look at this tiara. Fetching, isn't it? Don't mind if I do. Hey, check out this scepter. It's like I'm the king. Okay, sure. <laughs> Eligible options. Who do we got? I've found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. And a partner for life to have and to hold. Don't forget. I suppose so. But the alliance comes first. <sighs> Your mother leads you to the Great Hall, where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. All right, then. Let's see the eligible candidates. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Vladim, the eldest heir of the Eastern Owlman dynasty. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting, him to, getting them to smile for this portrait. They've lost half the family fortune in the gambling halls, unfortunately. They got in some trouble with the Inquisition a while ago, but it didn't come to anything. Intriguing. I'm kind of curious what was going on with the Inquisition. From the coast, we have Rhoda, the wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Warafane's estate. I mean, just look at her. She's gorgeous. And apparently she's got a silver tongue, too. Her interests are typical of the coast. Money, 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 and making more of it. And apparently she has a dark side. Though I don't know much more about that. Could be worse, but could be a lot better. And finally, from the south, Ignazio, the eldest son of the Here Nobody Is lineage. He's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? He's been in more duels than I can count and won them all. Unfortunately, he lacks the common touch. The peasants have some terrible nicknames for him. Not bad. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll have a lifelong but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. <sighs> I do need to drop the defiance of the counts. I guess we'll go with Vladim. Because they need less defiance. Oh, that was... Damn it. Yes, I know that. I've made my decision. Vladim. There we go. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Ooh. This is not looking particularly pretty for me. In a picturesque castle overlooking the southern city of Serena, two grandees lie back, in the, lie back to enjoy the sun. Praise be. Whispers of our plan have reached the peasants, and they are in an uproar. 
They call for the sins of the king to be laid bare. I already have leads on information from inside the palace that we can use against the king. It's only a matter of time. We have the High Inquisitor on our side, but we must also sow dissent among the other regions. We won't succeed alone. For the next stage of their scheme, the Grandees must raise other regions' defiance to a combined total of eight. Or ensure another region begins a rebellion. In three seasons. Whew. In a tiny village far to the east, two counts meet in a derelict tavern. No one dares even glance in their direction. Another priest left my estate today. He said there was no sense preaching to the truly lost. I've heard the same across the east. We are, bleh, we are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. Now, we must not falter. If the king grows proud, we can offer him the ultimate reward. Immortality. For the next stage of their, of their scheme, the counts must raise authority to five or more in four seasons. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Blood, ashes, damnation. Sea and storm take us all. Whatever is the matter. I offered cash to a palace official and he acted like I was trying to give him head lice. It doesn't surprise me. The king's authority is quite respected. You're lucky he didn't turn you over to the watch. So there's no room for some good old-fashioned bribery? What is this world coming to? The patrician's aim is to lower authority to four or less. Ooh, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I like the golden touch. We'll take out the monarch's vote for that. And end the year. Oh god, spiders everywhere. An untimely death. These are always interesting. Ooh, dude not cool the second died and it's now dude not cool the third. Murder. My mother, Lady Patrician, dude not cool the second has been murdered and I know who did it. It was Grandy Brook by sea and storm. Don't let him deny it. I won't deny that I killed the venerable Lady dude not cool the second. But it was no murder. Dude Not Cool II agreed to an honorable duel, which I won. Depths below, it was no duel, it was a cold-blooded killing. What reason would my mother possibly have to duel you in the first place? The reason for any duel is between the challenger and the challengee, a private matter not fit for this council. All right, increasing defiance, hold a trial for the grandee, Mix of Defiance, the Grandee is a danger to all, imprison him. Raise Defiance, the Spy Master should investigate to find evidence of this claim. And Mixed Effect on Defiance, a duel is a duel, let the accursed go free. We'll start the vote. Somebody's not happy with the grandees. <laughs> and I think that's all the votes we're going to be getting. So we shall continue. Uh, getting imprisoned. Defiance is now aggrieved. Unacceptable. This is a direct violation of our cultural rights. To be punished for following the ancient codes and with no evidence? The ninth god's wrath upon you all. It's clear where his wrath lies now, murderer. This is exactly what you deserve. All right, spiders everywhere. Waking from sleep one night, you hear the tippity tap of many legs on the roof. When you peer out your window, the streets are draped in webbing. 
The giant spiders have finally infested the capital. A distant scream rings out as a watchman is dragged to his doom. Stay in here, your majesty. We'll sweep the palace. Your eastern knights venture out into the dark. Battle cries and the chittering of spiders echo through the nights. The next morning, only a few of your honor guard are still alive. The rest are dead, their bodies swollen with poison. Dozens of spider corpses litter the corridors. The surviving knights are too traumatized to resume their duties. They resign and return to the homeland. For the rest of their lives, they will scream when they see a spider scuttling across their kitchen counter. Heavy casualties last night, your majesty, but the spiders are all dealt with. However, unless we do something, they'll be back. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, we can arrest the leaders of the Adventurers Guild, 40% chance military, send soldiers to root out and burn spiders' nests, 40% chance military, grow spider repellent flowers, lowers authority, increases defiance, and lowers stability, or learn to live with the constant threat of spiders, increases defiance, and decreases stability. I... Either way, honestly. None of these work out in my favor, really. And I do believe that's all we're going to be getting for votes. Ooh. We'll continue. You surround the palace with great gardens of lavender and mint, strong smells that the spiders despise. The plant-based defense works, but to everyone in the city, this is a small comfort. It's a sign that the king only looks out for himself. Over the next few months, the kingdom adapts to life with giant spiders. Peasants don't go out at night. The city watch go on regular web patrols armed with burning torches. People go missing all the time. Sometimes they're found weeks later, strung up in gossamer. But the human mind is a flexible thing. Somehow, everyone gets used to it. But life was certainly better before the kingdom was infested by spiders. Now for the royal wedding. Your wedding to Vladim is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Vladim at your side. Do you take this person as your lawfully wedded spouse? I do. Then I pronounce you king and spouse. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new spouse Vladim refuses to dance at all, preferring instead to brood in the corner. By the time you find yourself alone with Vladim, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Did you see the eight crows perched on the church tower as we walked into the cathedral? A dire omen. Perhaps you're right. The peasants have the right idea. They get married for love, not for politics. Oh, to live the simple life of a commoner. <laughs> there, there, we're both in this together. You comfort Vladim long into the night, listening as they express their doubts and fears. As dawn breaks, they fall asleep on your shoulder, exhausted. And that should be end of season. <sighs> Currently have no air. Authority needs to drop. Defiance in other regions needs to raise. And authority needs to stay the same or get higher. debt collection, a new honor guard, and an impassioned plea. Shit. Your Majesty, 
Grandy Brook, it, the grandee you imprisoned for Lady Patrician to not cool the second's murder, is asking to speak with you personally. Something about a trial by combat. Very well, I'll head down to the dungeons. You're escorted downstairs to Brook's cell, in which you find him praying in silence. Thank you for agreeing to meet me, Your Holiness. I have something to beg of you. Duels of honor are an integral part of Southern culture. So far, I have not had a proper trial with which to prove my innocence. I humbly ask you to let the Ninth God decide my fate and sanction a trial by combat. Fine, I'll allow a trial by combat. You are most wise, your majesty. Thank you. I need a new honor guard. The deaths of your honor guard in the line of duty was tragedy, your majesty. But we don't have time to mourn. We must replace them at once. The king needs protection. Grab his dick and twist it! Whose dick am I grabbing and twisting, and also why? Pray tell. Each region offers a selection of elite guards, the counts with knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose, the patricians with champion gladiators from the arena, in honor of the honor guard. Okay, that's fair enough. And the grandees off the fiercest battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. Of course, since your previous honor guard were eastern knights whose armor couldn't save them from a hideous fate, the other knights in the east are unaccountably are all unaccountably busy. <sighs> I'm not going for mercenaries. Tell me about the Coastal Gladiators, a gang of lowborn crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. Their skill in battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? Hmm. Yeah. I think I might just go with them. I await your verdict with bated breath, Your Majesty. Yeah, Coastal Gladiators. Very good, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangements at once. The Gladiators arrive a few weeks later. The men are bare-chested and the women underdressed, eager to show off their bodies as much as their weaponry. They gather behind your throne and begin oiling themselves up. I regret my decision. And debt collection. The council session has ended for the day, so you're quite surprised when Grandy Bruick corners you in a back passage of your castle just before dusk. Salutations, Fuck your this shit, I'm out. Dude, right? <laughs> Apologies for surprising you like this, but I have an urgent matter that I thought you'd want to hear in private before I go to the council. Your spouse, the royal consort, how can I put this? They owe me a lot of money. Uh, no, the gremlin actually has not been found for the past couple of streams. Your sp oh, owes me a lot of money. Gambling debts, mainly. It borrowed quite a lot from me to recover some lost funds. But now it's time to collect. You can't use it. Why can't you use it? The fuck? Should be uh, that one. Let me just make that usable then. Platforms, channel points, gremlin. Boom. Okay. Uh, you should be good then. Now it's time to collect, and they've been avoiding me. Ooh. Hey, what's up, Ponvi? Let's see where you landed. 
figure with the counts. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's where it is. Fuck yeah. You found the gremlins a cry. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't have that much money. Fun V, thank you for the follow. Uh, if I may, how did you find me? In the dungeon? I don't want to throw him in the dungeon. My <laughs> dog. Job here is done. Uh, you can keep the bill. <laughs> um, this is a debt collection. Apparently, my spouse owes you money, and I don't have enough money in the treasury to just pay you off outright. But I don't want you to not get your money, because it's owed to you, so I can't help you with this. That's unfortunate, your highness. Still, I thank you for your time. He scurries away into the darkness of your corridors. During council's next session, Grandy Bruick levels the same accusations against Vladim. Only this time in public. At this stage, you're powerless to step in. The council will the council vote will determine Vladim's fate. All right. The treasury cannot pay. Uh, forgive Vladim's debt and force <laughs> force you to absorb the losses. Increases defiance and you lose 750 wealth. Force the other counts to cover the royal consort's debts. Has a mixed effect on wealth and increases defiance. However, what I can do... Everyone that votes for option B is going to get 500 gold. Consider it a gift. Welcome back, dude. Hells yeah, look at that. Everyone's voting for the money. It may not be all of... No, it's not going to completely cover your losses... But it gets relatively close. Alright, I think that might be all the votes we're going to get. Continue. This is a dangerous precedent, allowing the royal family to get away with things like this. They are not above the law. Though Grandy Bruick shakes his fist and makes empty threats, you're satisfied that the matter is now settled. Uh, yeah, that is all. End of the season. All right, we have an auction. So currently, um, the counts want authority where it is at or higher. The patricians want authority to be lower. And the grandees want the other two factions to have a grand total of eight in defiance. So, A, increases stability. B, increases authority. C, increases faith. D, A, snaga, thank you for the follow. Um, D, will increase military, E will increase trade, and F will decrease authority. Uh, yes, you did die, actually. So you are now the third. Let's see. You ended up... Wait a second. Yeah, you did the command. Oh, there you are. You're on the grandies. Nice. Which works out, actually, because nobody went to bed. So, there's two there. I haven't heard from Owlman in a hot minute, so there's two there and two there. There's two on everyone's team. Alright. So. 
We'll start the auction again. One minute. I cannot stop the timer. When the timer's up, voting is done. Well, funding is done. So far, we only have the monument. That's an increase to authority. You're thinking about the button. Oh no, not the button. <laughs> no one else wants to fund? Remember, top two get built. There we go. Now we also have... Oh, wow. We have an increase and a decrease in authority. <laughs> so authority, I guess, stayed the same. Rebellion report. <clears throat> the grandees are on the verge of rebellion. Nobody else is allowed to rebel, though. Invitation about your heir and trial. Oh, let's do the trial by combat. Let's see how that gets settled. It's the day of Grandy Bruick's trial, and half the city has turned out to watch the spectacle. I actually fix that. Go back how you're supposed to be. There we go. Grandy Bruick will be fighting a champion of the crown, Your Majesty. Whoever draws first blood wins. Who will represent you in the pit? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, you have fun with that, dude. I think we send in a fighter from the coast because the coast was the offended party in this matter. Or I can fight for myself. I think I'll, I'm going to fight myself. Are you sure, Majesty? We don't want to put you in harm's way unnecessarily. I'm sure. There's no need to coddle me. Very well, Your Majesty. Let's get you kitted out then, shall we? You're given a small dueling epee and a padded gambeson to protect you. When Grandy Bruick sees you facing off against him in the pit, he looks surprised. I did not think I'd be facing you, Your Majesty. It's an honor. To understand the justice system, you must take part in it. Uh, sure. You lower the visor of your fencing mask and ready your weapon. I'm going to take the gamble, go for a surprise attack. You lunge suddenly, catching Bruick off guard. Your sword point grazes his jacket. Ho, oh, your majesty, I see you're a quick one. Step back and avoid his counterattack. Anticipating the incoming jab, you jump backwards. You're doing well so far, but you haven't drawn blood. What's your next move? I'm not going to kick sand in his eyes. That's dirty. I'm going to wait for an opportunity. You parry, deflect, and dodge every attack that comes towards you. After a while, Bruick's swings become more and more desperate. Just as you're feeling a deep fatigue, you see an opportunity. After particularly aggressive thrust, you step inside Bruick's guard, ready to make the final cut. I'm just going to draw blood. The sword strikes true, cleanly cutting through the padded fabric and, most importantly, loosing a thin line of scarlet into the air. First blood, his majesty is victorious. B but I didn't know the king could fight. Regardless, the ninth god has found you guilty. The council will now vote to decide your fate. All right. So, A, he will be sentenced to death by hanging. Mixed effect on defiance. He will be imprisoned indefinitely. Mixed effect on defiance. And he will pay compensation to Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool the Third and the Crown. 
Mixed effect on defiance, mixed effect on wealth. I'll let you guys decide unhindered. Uh, not sure where you stand. So, you are a grandee. You are trying... You're on the second stage of the scheme, trying to get everyone else's uh, defiance to a combined total of eight. So, yours does not count in that. <laughs> that is a good question. Also, to be fair, why have uh, this guy suffering shame and you just get an air? It works. A fine? What kind of punishment is that for murder? Mm. Accept the king's judgment with grace, lest there be another duel right here in this throne room. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, you uh, picked up more money. Because... You know, yeah, money. As a true patrician, that's probably all you care about, right? <laughs> I spit on the king's judgment. This isn't justice, it's an insult. Many patricians follow Dude Not Cool the Third as she storms out. You can only hope they don't act on their ire. Um, okay, because the duel happened... Ruick lost, and then the council decided that a fine um, was appropriate to compensate you for the loss of your mother. <laughs> Basically. An invitation. Your Majesty, you absolutely must come down to the coast next year and experience the summer games for yourself. It is the only social event that matters. If you aren't in attendance, well, it would simply be a crime. Honestly, how could I say no? Oh, this is simply wonderful. It has been so long since the king attended the games. Last time, as I recall, they were assassinated. Great. Not to worry, your majesty. I'm sure it won't happen to you. Fucking better not. Shit. All right, about your heir. Your marriage to Vladim has grown strong and steady, like an old castle wall. Though it began as a political arrangement, it's blossomed into something like love. It's high time you thought about an heir. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. I'm very happy, thank you. Wow, mom. Your happiness isn't as important as fulfilling your duty to the kingdom, but I'm glad you found a way to have both. You've done well so far, but something's still missing, an heir. You need someone young, whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my youngest cousin. Of course, an entirely sensible idea. I will make the arrangements at once. And that's the last of that. Next season. Deep in the south, a grandee paces back and forth along the balcony of his hillside via. I'm told that progress is... slow. How could they be so blind, trusting in that fool of a king after everything he's done? The grandee's aim is to raise the other region's combined defiance to eight or more, or ensure another region starts rebellion. I think I'm just going to go standard tax again. I don't desperately need this much money. And I can't particularly afford this much money. So, comma tax it is. Especially because I don't want to raise defiance. That would That's not good for me. Just saying. 
prying eyes and invitation and everyone is dueling. Why the fuck is everyone dueling? Prying eyes first. Your majesty, you are of course the greatest king of this century. Is there something you're after? Your highness, I seek only to tell you the truth as I see plain. But your power could be even greater. Death comes for us all. But what if it didn't have to? What if you could be the greatest king for all millennia? I don't even know if that's possible. There you may be wrong, your grace. I happen to possess some knowledge that may interest you greatly. There are opportunities beyond what any of us had imagined. Is that so, Amelia? Well, consider my eyes opened. I didn't know that, that such a thing was possible. If you were strong enough to take them, I can arrange more meetings that we may, we may discuss this matter further. The door bursts open. Ah, so she got to you first. No matter. The Counts have agents everywhere, and they've been building up your strength. But there's something more sinister afoot. Their ultimate aim is to recruit you into a cult of immortal blood drinkers. What a tale. All we want is to help the king. They have been helping me a great deal. Hello. Is this true? Of course not. This is heresy of the highest order. The council must know. All right. It will lower my authority if you go with A. Force the monarch to officially refuse to join this cult. B. Prevent the counts from seeking private audiences with the king. Delays the scheme for a season. Or C. Leave the counts to their business. If you vote B, you get 500 personal wealth. Exactly. Yeah, no, eventually everyone that you've ever known is going to be dead, and then it's just you. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Looks like we might get... Yeah, we're getting A. God damn. Immortality is a scam. Yeah, you're not right. The nobles leave you no choice. You sign a statement saying that you're not interested in immortality. Not one bit. Yeah, fuck money. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, an invitation. Ah, oh, Dom, my heart. I have proposition for you. Um, so, you know I like playing cards, right? I'm playing at Split Tournament in a few months. Do you want to come with me? I probably won't win. It's just for fun. Excellent. I'll come and watch you play. Most pleasing. I'm looking forward to it. Now everyone is dueling. Ever since Grandy Bruick's spectacularly popular trial by combat, arrested nobles and peasants alike are demanding similar trials. It's all the rage. Is this a problem? A lot more people are dying than usual. I suppose it's up to you whether you think of that as a problem, Your Majesty. All right. Increase authority and stability and defiance if we ban trials by combat. Decrease stability and decrease defiance if we engage, encourage trial by combat as an alternate justice system. Increase stability, increase military, and increase defiance if we press criminals into the military instead. I'm just going to veto option B. Have fun. It's up to the grandees to break the tie, I suppose.
grandees. There we go. All right, we're going to the military instead. From now on, anyone who asks for trial by combat will ex get exactly what they want, except they'll be fighting the kingdom's enemies to earn their freedom. Trial by many combats, if you will. Nice. Stability went up, and so did all the military power. You can't do that. Those duels are sacred, an ancient tradition of the South. You make a mockery of them because a few criminals find a legal loophole? That's your problem, not ours. You don't like it. That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> yeah, the South is in a little bit of a rage. The South is not happy. However, I made sure their scheme is going to be really difficult to pull off. Uh, next season. <laughs> South is angry. While playing a game of chess in an austere castle... Two counts of the East discuss their schemes against the crown. By the blood of the dead, the king must get a grip on the kingdom. We can't allow him to join our secret society of immortals when he can hardly keep the crown on his head. The count's aim is to raise authority to at least five. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Good news, my friend. The palace officials have been accepting my bribes. They're becoming more and more open to corruption. What are you getting in return? Oh, not much. A better seat in the council chamber, access to the king's rooms when he's out, that sort of thing. But the important thing is that the king's staff are getting used to selling their principles to the highest bidder. So what next? Palace staff are one thing, but the true prize would be the loyalty of the chancellor and the rest of the king's inner circle. To do that, oh, hold on. My, yeah. It is auto launching all of my game launchers so they can all check for updates and I have to wait for them to finish coming up so I can fucking minimize them. Okay, all of you can go away, boom. To do that, we need to demolish their respect for the king. If the kingdom is in chaos, they will see the king as an incompetent fool and be much more open to our bribes. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower stability to four or less in three seasons. <sighs> I think I'm going to keep the laws as is. Grandees are on the verge of rebellion. Nobody else is, though. We might be okay. I hope. Troll in the dungeon. I want to see that shit. Your Majesty, the Palace Watcher reporting that there's a troll downstairs in the dungeon. Everybody run for your lives! What's a troll? Violent, brutish creatures. I have no idea how one got into our dungeon, but we'd better do something about it. I'll deal with the monster before it hurts anyone. Let me talk with the... Let me talk with the troll. Your majesty, I'm not sure that's wise. You stride past her and descend into the dungeons. Two watch officers stand guard over a troll who's snoring in the middle of an empty cell. It seems to have to torn a hole in a dungeon wall. How did it even get in here? Through the catacombs would be my guess. These dungeons all back into various tunnels and crypts. It must have made this hole on its way in. I say, wake up, you gesture and shout, but the troll barely moves. Officers poke it until it wakes up. Gingerly, the officers poke the troll with their long pole axes. After a few rumbling grunts, one eye opens. Whoa, what? Nice to meet you. Yes, um, you too. Who are you? I'm King Dom. What? THE King Dom? Spirits, I must have not been myself last night. How did you get in here? <laughs> My head's p 
pounding like a town bell, so I probably had a few too many red mist cups last night and wandered in here. Uh, wherever here is. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps you could stay here with us. Really? Why? I'm sure I could... Yeah, I'm sure I could pay you to make use of your skills. That's a nice offer from you, your importantness. But I think I'd rather just be... I'd just be getting out of your way. Wait. Well, eh. Fine. Off you go. With that, the creature lumbers out of the room, right through the hole they created, and back to the catacombs beyond. Don't feed the troll? Damn it, I should have fed the troll. <laughs> you order someone to patch it up, and then get back to your bed for some much-needed shut-eye. It's been a very strange night. The Split Tournament. Vladim leads you inside Count Owlman II's castle, up a winding staircase, into a stately gaming room filled with card tables. A goblet of wine is swiftly passed to you as someone takes your coat. So good to see you, Your Grace. When Vladim told me you were coming, I almost didn't believe them. Vladim's first opponent will be Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool III, by the way. Where do I sit? Right over here, your majesty. Owlman II leads you to some benches near the edge of the room, where a number of other spectators are already sitting. Refreshments and snacks are handed around freely. I'm rooting for Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool III. She hasn't lost a game since 948. Oh, depths below, your esteemed highness. I didn't expect to see you here. I'd like to learn more about the game. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm sorry you didn't get an invite sooner. We have to be a little careful. You know, the Church of the Ninth can be a little, uh, timid when it comes to gambling. War of Fine spends the next few minutes explaining the basics of competitive split to you. Most of it goes over your head. Until he's interrupted. Really? most pleasing. Take that, you bastard. No! Depths below. What's wrong with these damn cards? Wow. Vladim won? Well, that was unexpected. But there's no way they beat Grandy uh, Snaga in the next round. Why not? Snaga is a true veteran. They've only been beaten once in the last circuit by none other than Count... Bleh. Wow. By Count Ponvi. Ponvi is a bit washed up nowadays. Barely ever plays and just drinks a lot, but he still comes to all the tournaments. No one knows why. Well, if you'll excuse me, your August Mag Majesty, I need to refill my drink. Let's head over to Vladim's next match. You find your seat near the gaming table, where Vladim is setting up to play against Grandee Snaga. War of Fine joins you once again, his cup refilled. You don't think you can beat me, do you? We'll see soon enough. Watch the match. The games go by in a blur. Grandee Snaga is, is aggressive, and Vladim just can't keep up. It's a matter of minutes before they are forced to concede defeat. Better luck next time, my good royal consorts. Well, I suppose that's it. I've been knocked out, but at least I put a good showing. Or put in a good showing. <laughs> that bastard probably cheated. You did wonderfully, my love. Thank you, my love. You and Vladim stay to watch the finale before heading back to the capital. You didn't win anything, but at least you spent some quality time with your spouse. A clairvoyant visit. Premium nobles. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody owns the game. Your grace, your grace. 
Countess Amelia has been having prophetic dreams. It is true, I can part the veil betwixt now and some ways off. Give me a prophecy then. I look to the future, and it speaks through me, no more, no less. Apparently you're a seer. <laughs> oh, I see that, dude. You are definitely back at it. For instance, oh dear, Brandy Snaga should be aware of birds for the next season. And I saw a vision of Count Owlman II's body floating away on dark water. What? Blood and stars. Please, your majesty, have her foretell the future for the council. We could gain insight into great mysteries. Mm. I killed him, so of course I see him in my dreams. You know what? That's fair. Alright, so just this once. 50% chance. Throw this charlatan in the dungeon. 50% chance stability check. And uh, make Amelia an official council advisor. Mixed effects on defiance, increase in trade, increase in farming, and increase in authority. I'll let you guys decide. Don't trust the Counts. I never do. Trusting a Count is like thinking a patrician isn't going to follow the money. <laughs> All right. Ooh. We have another grandee here. Uh, yeah, we should. Alright, closing the vote. Five, four, three, two, and one. I think we'll make Amelia an official council advisor. Wonderful news, your highness. I'm certain she will not disappoint. Sure enough, Countess Amelia has a canny sense of what's best for the East. <laughs> Defiance went down, uh, trade went up, and farming went up. Fair enough. But the other nobles start to mutter this seeing the unseen is no more than a disguise for giving out special treatment. Coast and the south defiance went up. Can the king really be trusted with this charlatan constantly whispering in his ear? Authority went down. And that is the season. Everyone is in stage two. Damn. Grandees can start a rebellion. Nobody else can. End the season. Ah, the summer games, your air, and ooh, the printing press. Alright, we'll check out the summer games first. The summer games have begun. Your royal yacht glides into port at Thalassus. Anxious servants lay out the red carpet while shooing away seagulls. Ho oh, there, your esteemed highness. Beautiful day, isn't it? Come with me. Your carriage to the Grand Arena is waiting. Let's go. There must be thousands of people in the arena, peasants and patricians alike, but you have the best view in the house. As you step out and wave, the crowd chants your name. We have two different events that we could show you today, your serene highness. Which would you prefer to witness? A gladiator fight or a monster battle? Ah, pfft. I want to watch the monster battle. 
Man versus beast. It's time for a monster battle. Excellent choice, your serene highness. Allow me first to call forth today's brave, or perhaps unfortunate, human champion. Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool the Third steps up to the podium, speaking into a bronze tube that projects her voice across the entire arena. Our gladiator today is a homegrown hero who grew up in a coastal slum just down the road from here. This plucky underdog was imprisoned for stealing bread to feed her starving family, and now she surprised everyone by making it this far. She's here to battle for her freedom. Give it up for Lilac. Out into the circle of sand strides a stocky woman as wide and robust as a beer barrel. She has cobbled together her armor from past fallen foes. It's a garish mishmash of iron and leather. She has a fearsome looking warhammer slung confidently over one shoulder. She gulps from a tankard and flings it aside, belching loudly. You notice that the cheering for this homegrown hero is especially loud. Your ears start to hurt. Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool the Third turns her attention back to you. Right now in cages beneath the arena floor, we have three different monsters that we could throw out against our friend Lilac. A brown bear, a ghoul, or a swamp giant. But what should we choose? Why don't we let the king decide, since he's come to visit us all the way from the capital? The crowd hoots and hollers at this idea. Someone stands up and starts singing the national anthem, off-key. All right. What do you guys want to see this fight be? We have a brown bear, a ghoul, and a swamp giant. I am quite intrigued to see what happens. Bear? All right, let's throw the bear out at her. Ladies and gentle people, until a month ago, she was eating berries in the misty forest of the east. Now she's here, and she's furious about it. She mauled three of our trainers just this morning. Please welcome Bertha the Bear. The bear shuffles into the arena, grunting and pawing the sand. Lilac readies her warhammer. As Lilac drums up the crowd's support, Lady Patrician Dude Not Cool the Third turns to you with a gleam in her eye. Half the fun at the summer games is the gambling. Why don't you go place a bet before the fight begins? What are the odds? The clear favorite is Lilac. Bet on her and you'll only get your money back plus 20%. The brown bear is the underdog. A successful bet means you'll double your cash. Insider tips. Oh, of course. For a small price. 100 gold. Now, I'll place a bet. Why not? The bookies look distinctly nervous that the king himself is placing a bet, but they're also salivating at the sight of your gold. Let's see what a thousand gets us. Well, no, 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 no. We'll go safe with 500. And on who will you place your 500 gold bet? Yeah. I kind of want to. I want to go for the bear. See if that pans out. Just because. In that case, just to make things interesting, I'll bet on lilac. Shall we begin? Or did the lilac be disarmed? Fuck you. I'm winning. No. Let the fight commence. The crowd roars and stamps until the entire Colosseum shudders. The bear lowers its head and charges at Lilac, building up immense speed. I'm going to watch in grim silence. Welcome back, Zakrai. Lilac dodges and backs away, swinging her warhammer. The bear retreats, growling and licking fresh wounds. Oh, no, you're good, man. Don't worry about it. After that, the gladiator and the beast play a deadly game, each taking turns to lunge at the other before retreating with some fresh injury. Blood soaks into the sand. 
Finally, though, the wounded bear charges again, and Lilac is too exhausted to get out of the way. The bear slams into her with full force, sending her warhammer flying. The crowd gasps and screams and cheers as the gladiator is torn apart. That actually kind of makes me a little sad. And the winner is the brown bear. Depths below. What rotten luck. Congratulations, your highness. Yeah, what now? Oh, the Summer Games has many more diversions to offer, Your Serene Highness. All in good time. For now, shall we break for lunch? The next week of the Summer Games is packed with entertainment. Athletic competitions, chariot races, copious amounts of wine, and above all, blood and sand. On your journey back to the palace, you reflect that your attendance at the games has certainly helped cement the patrician's support. Um, ah, yes, the printing press. Your Highness, a blacksmith in the south has come up with some sort of printing contraption. Instead of relying on the painstaking efforts of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of text an hour. How remarkable. Your Holiness, isn't technology wonderful? Don't you see how dangerous this is? Books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Can't have that now, can we? Alright, guys. Let's see. I'm just going to start by vetoing that. Only the church can use printing presses is a faith check, 40%. Only the university may use printing presses. Uh, stability goes up, trade goes up, farming goes up, and authority goes down. Forbid the use of printing presses altogether is a 15% authority check. Have at it. Ooh. Oh. And there we have it. Votes have been settled. It will be my pleasure to take stewardship of this radical new invention. Over the next few months, the church pumps out thousands of new copies of the Ninth God's Holy Book. Soon, every commoner owns one, even those who can't read. Unfortunately, the church also prints countless pamphlets criticizing your rule and calling you a godless simpleton. Damn it, stability went down. That's not good. All right, all right, my heir. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask my, my, that my crown be passed to. The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My cousin and adopted daughter. The assembled nobles break into a polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on your adopting an heir. What is her name? Dom the second, naturally. Praise be, your highness. I'm sure little Dom II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now I just have to fulfill my ambition, which is being difficult. Stability. <laughs> Alright, next season. Auction time! A will increase stability. B will increase authority. C will increase military. D will decrease military. Both of those are for the grandees specifically. E will increase farming, and F will decrease stability. Um, the farming is for the patricians specifically. So, let's get ourselves to auction. C is winning with one. Oh, 
There's O, B, and F. Oh my god. You funded with one. And took second spot, apparently. That shouldn't work, and yet it does. It's kind of incredible. go we got an increase in authority and a decrease in stability funded still only the grandees are able to rebel a taxing issue stargazing and my ambition your majesty help us grandee Bruick of the south of the south has been bleeding us dry yes not literally, I hope. No, I'm making use of a common idiom, your majesty. Our taxes are ten times higher than they've ever been. I can't afford to feed me cows. It's true, your majesty. Grandy Bruick has been taxing his peasants at least twice as much as the next highest noble. It's been a hard year, your holiness. I've had barely any gold in my vault. I'm just doing what I can to stay afloat. This is a matter for the council's consideration. So throwing Grandy Bruick in the dungeon will increase defiance, increase authority, and decrease wealth by 750 for uh, Bruick. Allowing Bruick to keep overtaxing his peasants increases wealth by 750, decreases defiance, but also decreases farming. And having a royal tax collector take over the duties increases defiance, increases the treasury by 500, and decreases Bruick's wealth by 300. I'll let you guys just decide what happens here. Any other votes? Nope, oh, there's a vote. Any more? Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Uh,. So we're just allowing him to overtax the peasants. But think of me cows, your honors. Think of me cows. Over the next few months, Grandy Bruick becomes rich once again by jacking up his taxes. The other grandees follow his example gleefully. Defiance went down. Soon enough, the farms of the south are destitute. The cattle are starving and so are the peasants. Only the grandees are fat and wealthy. Not the cows, please. All right, let's see what stargazing has. This simply can't go on, your majesty. These arch boffins think they know everything, but they know nothing of the ninth god's wrath. Please, your majesty, we found a perfect site for an observatory high in the southern hills, but it's on Grandy Snaga's lands, and they refuse to let us build there. Such things are heresy. The stars are just as big and close as the Ninth God intended. Who put you up to this idea, hmm? I bet it was one of those patricians like Warifying. <laughs> uh, not to call anyone out, but apparently calling someone out. Alright. Construct the observatory. 50% chance authority check. Find a different site for the observatory is nothing. Forbid the construction of the observatory. Decreases defiance and increases faith and forbid construction and investigation or investigate the scholar's funding does nothing. Yeah, you guys can have it this one as well.
Are there any further votes? All right. Well, we will be taking that. The construct... I didn't fund it. What the fuck? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, construction and an has been forbidden, and we are investigating the scholar's funding. A thorough investigation quickly unearths the truth. <laughs> the scholar's patron is none other than Lord <laughs> Patrician Florifine. Apparently you did fund it. Hold on a moment. This was never a secret to begin with. All my accounts are public. Snaga is just, a, is just paranoid of a conspiracy. This observatory could advance our knowledge of the stars by hundreds of years. Is it a crime to fund the sciences now? Yes, actually, off with his head? No. No, but you've got to stop infringing on the grandee's religious freedoms. Honestly, I can't really argue with that. Religious freedom? Bah. It's just blatant favoritism, and you know it. Though you've attracted the ire of the patricians, the grandees are at least satisfied. It's safe to say you won't hear any more complaints about observatories. And now, my ambition. Probably not looking too hot. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a peacekeeper. You've succeeded on that front. Oh, shit. The kingdom is peaceful, and you're renowned for your mercy and wisdom. Well done, your majesty. But to shut down your nobles scheming for good, we need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. The common flo folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of a revolution. My advice, on the other hand, would be to infiltrate each region with loyal spies, defeat their schemes with schemes of your own. But the Chancellor has other ideas. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I'm going to go for stability and trade because, uh, <clears throat> look at that trade, yo. A wise decision, your majesty. I'll begin recruiting spies. We'll send them across the kingdom in the guise of traveling bards. But this will require a fine touch. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall trade as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. next season. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached via, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. You hear that? The screams? The sounds of dismay? The crackle of flames? No. All I hear is the sea lapping against the harbor walls. Exactly. It's terrible. The kingdom needs to be in chaos for our plans to work. The king's advisors are happy with his rule. We can't buy their loyalty yet. Believe me, I've tried. The patrician's aim is to lower stability to four or less. Mm. I do think just sticking with the common tax seems to be doing me well. So I'll continue with it. What do we have? What does that say? Can't even see it. Ah, <gasps> a new baby. Always a pleasure, your esteemed highness. Some fine news from my laborers in the coast. A baby has been born on your birthday, bearing a birthmark in the shape of the number nine. A fantastic omen. Perhaps we should mark the occasion. All right. So. The king will send his blessings, does nothing. The king has no time for peasant brats, lower stability. Gift the parents a bounty of jewels and fine wine. Treasury goes down by 500 and stability goes up. And send the inquisition to make sure the birthmark is real. Stability goes down, defiance goes up, and faith goes down. And if you vote for C, you get 500 personal wealth. Just throwing that out there. Wow. 
Wow. Y'all don't want the money. Interesting. But fair. Considering it does kind of... I do believe that hits both of your guys' uh, goals. So, fair enough. Can't be too angry about that one. Actually, I can be just as angry as I damn well please. I'm the king, damn it. <laughs> By sea and storm, your, see, your esteemed highness, I can assure you there is no deception going on here. I'll be the judge of that. When the High Inquisitor returns, she is forced to admit that the birthmark is indeed genuine, but her rude questions and threats have turned the local population against her. A troubling find. It's a quiet day at the castle. Council is not in session, and Vladim has gone to meet some old friends for the irregular game of poker. You're idly rearranging your bookshelf, wondering if you'll ever get to read the old tomes from your father's collection, when you come across something new. What's this? It's a dog-eared book with no title and a broken spine. Extracting it from behind the others without it falling apart is tricky. When you open it, however, you're taken back by what you find. I thought this book was banned. You recognize an old religious text, the very same that once spawned the cult of the undivided and is now considered their most important scripture. You stash it in the secret compartment of your wardrobe as wheels turn feverishly in your mind. Later that night, your spouse Vladim returns. You act as if nothing is the matter, but you can't forget what you saw. Say something. When you mention the book that you found in the back of the bookcase, Vladim freezes up. You found it, did you? Let's work this out. They sigh heavily, quickly making sure the windows and doors are securely shut. Blood and stars, I should have known this would happen. Oh, like this. But my beliefs... <laughs> but my beliefs are one of the few things that are important to me. And believe me, this is tame compared to some of the things my fellow counts are into. You can keep your beliefs, but be subtle about it. Great. I'm glad that you've given me permission to have my own thoughts and beliefs. That... Alright, look here. You know exactly what I meant. I was saying I'm not going to try to stop you. Don't worry. No one will find out about it, alright? You don't speak any more of that night. Indeed, you don't speak much of anything. See how my ambition worked out. All goes according to plan, your majesty. Let me show you. Your spy master takes you through a secret passage in your own private office. You emerge into a hidden chamber where a number of hooded figures are waiting. These are my agents. They can blend into a crowd as effortlessly as they can slip a knife between a traitor's ribs. Why didn't I know about this chamber? Don't worry about it. The, pa the palace is riddled with secret passages and hidden rooms. I'll keep track of them for you. Great. Soon, our spies will infiltrate the courts of all the nobles on your council, disguised as traveling bards. One of the spies tosses aside their cloak, revealing a loot and the colorful costume of a troubadour. With charm and flattery, they'll worm their way into your nobles' hearts and minds. Then we will have a spy network the likes of which the world has never seen. I hope to make even the gaunt of Tavalin look like rank amateurs. This should put a stop to their foolish schemes, and it will keep the kingdom stable for the rest of your reign. A little blackmail is a small price to pay. A week passes before you hear more news. Your spy master arrives in your office with a tiny scroll small as a cherry stem, clutched between two fingertips. This is a message from one of our agents in the field, your majesty. I sent her a count, or I sent her to Count Ponvi's castle, disguised as a bard, with a flute at the ready. Open it. Of course. Wait to hear the success of your fledgling spy. Yes. The spy master studies the scroll for a moment and a smile creeps across her face. 
She holds it over a candle flame, and it vanishes in a puff of cinders. She's been welcomed into Count Ponvi's court with open arms, and is already flattering him with fawning songs. Let's hope our other spies are just as successful. Over the next few weeks, you receive back word from one from more and more of your agents. Almost all of them have successfully wormed their way into your nobles' courts. Now we must hope they can maintain their cover. Wait and see. A few more weeks pass. You wait anxiously for news of your spy's progress. One day, your spy master appears at your desk, her face lit by a triumphant smirk. Good news, your majesty. Our spies have, have uncovered some of your noble's darkest secrets. Did you know Count Ponvi has an irrational fear of lemons? You do now. Interesting. We even have a few illicit romances between our nobles and our generically attractive bards. The blackmail writes itself. Yeah, this has definitely gone better than I expected. You do know the services. You do enjoy the services of an excellent spy master. But we can't get complacent. We must see if our other spies are equally successful. Over the next few weeks, your spies send back more and more positive reports. Soon you've established a spy network throughout the entire kingdom. I think I might have, actually. It's with a sense of smugness that you call your next council session. As the nobles file in, you realize you know all of their secrets, their weaknesses, everything. Listen, your majesty, I was thinking that taxes have been awfully high lately. Why don't we hold a vote on reducing them? Oh, we can call a vote, no problem. But as the nobles walk up to the ballot box, your spy master swoops in and takes them aside. She whispers in their ear, one by one, you watch their expressions turn to horror. By the blood of the dead, how did you know that? Only my mother knows that. And it can stay that way. Just vote the way we tell you to vote. I destroyed the evidence. You can't prove anything. You'd be surprised what I can prove. I know exactly where to dig. But if you vote the way I tell you, maybe I've misplaced my shovel. Hey, care for some lemonade? Ah, leave me alone. I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> sure enough, when the votes come back, it's unanimous. All the nobles, perhaps for the first time, have voted exactly how you wanted them to. I could get used to this. When you leave the council hall, the nobles are quiet. They know a new era has begun. An era of cooperation. Or else. Your spouse meets you back at your chambers. Your heir, Dom II, in their arms. Very clever, Dom. Let's just hope it doesn't all blow up in your face. Mm, we should, yeah, we should teach Dom the second the way. Good idea. After this, I get the feeling she'll be wearing a crown one day. That night, you sleep an untroubled sleep for the first time since you first sat on the throne. No matter their grievances, the nobles will never again dare to defy you. You simply need to mention, offhandedly, that you know what they did last winter, or that you know where they sleep at night. The grandees continued to throw accusations of witchcraft and heresy at their enemies. Everyone gradually learned to ignore them. With their plans in tatters, the counts retreated to their castles to brood. Their olive branch was rejected. The secret of eternity that they had guarded for aeons. They would not be so kind again. The patricians succeeded in turning the palace into a hotbed of bribery and corruption. But what's new about that? They failed to gain the throne and lost money in the process. A bad investment. King Dom ruled from the shadows, getting his way in the council with blackmail and threats. The nobles were terrified, but the peasants considered it a golden age. After 15 years of unquestioned rule, King Dom died peacefully in bed, and the nobles let out a collective sigh of relief. <sighs> yeah, that is the one downside of this victory, is I did die. All right. Well, I think with that, um, I have been going for almost 10 hours, and it is almost 5 in the morning for me. So, <clears throat> I'm going to find somebody to raid. 
Let's see who's online. Mm, top choices for me. We've got Terrain is playing Honkai Star Rail. It's only been going for about an hour. And then we also have Nimzo is playing Inside the Back Rooms. Looks like with Judy Plutie and Stuffed Pineapple. They've been going for about two and a half hours. So they probably got some good time left. And Casual Hoy, thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, no, that was fun. Um, this was actually my first night doing King of the Castle. Absolute blast. Definitely going to have to do it again. <laughs> and take care, Warafine. So, I don't know if either of those sound particularly interesting to you, or if you guys have a recommendation of someone that you would like to raid. By all means, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> That's a cute emote. Holy shit, I like it. I need to get one of those. What can I? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your time. That's honestly what I'm all about. I'm here just to hang out and have a good time and hope whoever's around is also having a good time. Um, so for the raid, um, Inside the Backrooms, Honkai Star Rail, or something that uh, you guys have a recommendation. If you want, I can track down someone else playing King of the Castle and we can move over there. Uh, if you have a recommendation of someone new, totally open to that. And if no one has any preferences at all, I can definitely uh, just pick someone to raid. I'm all about that. I'll give you guys a few moments to think and type an answer if you have one. There's my cursor, found it. <laughs> All right, well, if there is no preference, we will head on over and uh, see how it's going for Nims. I, so this is a current live, stream, a live feed of her stream right now. This is where we will be heading back? over. This is the, this uh, is the thank you all for pool. hanging out. Go the Again, I had a good offer? fucking time. I hope you guys did too. Yeah, these things. I don't, um, don't want to... Uh, think yeah, we should thanks do for the, coming uh, in. Thanks for playing pulling, King of the uh, Castle with me. Fucking great game. Definitely doing this shit again. <laughs> and you too, red. Casual. Thank yeah, you for popping in. Even if it was right at the end... Even if it was right at the end, I do appreciate it. Um... Oh. I have a sub raid message and an unsub raid message if you guys want to cop copy those out. And just above that, I do have a link to my card, which has all of my socials. My Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, my TikTok, my YouTube, uh, my YouTube VOD channel. It's, it's got it all. Uh, if you guys want to pop into the Discord, actually, I'll just throw a Discord link. He's right here. If you guys want to join the Discord, I do have my schedule in there. Come the the Uh, it is... coming here, yeah. Motherfucker, okay, comes cool. to my face. Next I will be streaming will be on Sunday. Hey, thank you for the follow. Next I'm streaming will be Sunday, and it's actually my crowd control enabled RimWorld session. Oh, so you guys can come in, send in a colonist, try to fuck the run over, or try to help the run out. Whatever you choose. Yeah, I will. I will. Um, <laughs> as always, please make sure if you need food, water, whatever it is you need, go take care of yourself. Um, because physical health plays a big part in your mental health, and I am all about mental health. So, take care of yourself, because... That shit's actually <laughs> really important. Look at his grip, his toes, so, his around. Please take the care of yourselves, <laughs> and <laughs> until next time, feet, I'll see Fuck you guys yeah. around. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew what I was gonna do. I'm one here away from death as well. <laughs> How many heals are now? <laughs>